Off the gloves for an in-depth conversation with stars like Taylor Hicks, presented by Red Mod Vodka. Find those podcasts and more by searching The Next Round on Apple, Spotify, and on our website, nextroundlive.com. Precision Sports brings us our injury updates every day. And, of course, you're still watching um, the injuries in Tuscaloosa rolling into, you know, the championship game this weekend. Um, Injury is more of a story for Alabama than Georgia, right, going in? Well, I think Brian Robinson alone, yes. Yeah. I mean, that's the biggest factor in this game of an injury, I would say. Yeah. Precision Sports keeping everybody in the game. Hey, are you suffering from that old sports injury that won't go away? Maybe you tweaked a joint being a weekend warrior. Precision has nine locations in the Birmingham metro area to get your life back on track, including the new Southern Orthopedic Sports Medicine Associates location in Jasper. Your health cannot wait. Call 855-219-6200. Visit them online. Go to PrecisionSportsOrtho.com. Uh, Rockstar QF, uh, cut number seven. You were about to say something? Well, I was just going to say, I go back to what Luganville said. I was thinking about injuries, and it was almost like Alabama lost Jamison Williams for that game to an injury. It was an ejection. He'll be back. I really do think just the fact that Bryce Young showed some faith in Ja'Cory Brooks, you got to account for him now. That's only going to help Alabama's passing game. That's right. It's one extra person. Yeah. yeah one extra person. I mean, the only the, the two concerns for me, and we'll get more into this with Aaron Suttles and Bama and Bourbon coming up, and he, he'll have the insight, the injury to Brian Robinson, and you can't fix, and you ask the question, the offensive line is not getting fixed. No, you can't yeah. fix it. You just have to work yourself your way around, or, or work your way around it or patch it up as much as you can to have some success. Jim Harbaugh, this is back from Saturday after the win over Ohio State at home. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. He's been um, he's been very close to the vest this year. He hasn't said any outrageous things all year long. He beats Ohio State, and he gives you this. You obviously have been building to this all season, but what about this opponent and things that they have done in the past, things that have been said, all that has gone on in this rivalry? How much did that push you guys today in the final game what did i mean there's uh yeah i mean i know the probably things you're thinking of the same as i'm thinking of but i mean let's move on with humble hearts take the high road but uh yeah there's there's definitely stuff that you know people said that spurred us on even more sure sometimes people that standing on third base think they hit a triple you know but they didn't <laughs> that's a ridiculous thing to say is he taking that shot at ryan day he is now ryan day said a lot of stuff with wins over michigan the route you know the the, the long losing streak and but he, you know mm-hmm. you you say stay humble and you know take the high yeah, road and do the exact and before you yeah. before you end the put the period can't, there can't you, do it you, you, put, you can't put the period there you go on and say but, some people hit a triple. I don't even think it's a legitimate conversation about Ryan Day. That guy worked his tail off to get where he is. I mean, I think he – I don't have it in front of me. I know he played at New Hampshire and then was like a tight ends coach for them and then took a bunch of GA jobs yeah. and position jobs. I mean, he worked his way up the ladder. Nobody handed him right. that. Right, and look, and Harbaugh did the same, but, you know, you wonder if Harbaugh gets those, some of those opportunities that he got. If his because last of name Jack Harbaugh? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. And because he played in the NFL. And, That's right. You know, played at Michigan and had a, yeah. a big football name. I, I but, will but say, to his point, it is easier getting your first head coaching job if you're Lincoln Riley at Oklahoma and Ryan Day at Ohio State than being Mark Stoops and, you know, the places Mark spent. I don't disagree with that, but don't discount the work they put into being the offensive coordinator at Ohio State and at Oklahoma at the perfect time. Yeah. Well, and I just wouldn't say anything if I'm Jim. You finally win that game. That's right. That's right. And you got to deal with Ryan Day not only, you know, every year on the field. You got to deal with him in recruiting. That's right. And by the way, Iowa this week, and nothing comes back and slaps you in the face more than being cocky in an interview and then losing and not making the playoffs. They will crush Iowa. Crush Iowa. I smell a steak bet tomorrow. Uh, Probably not. (laughs) I'm locked in on Georgia right now, given the points. We're done here. The Rewind rolls on as soon as we're done here on the app, or you can go watch us again on YouTube. We're back live tomorrow at 9. Come join us at Walk-Ons tonight at 6 o'clock. Watch the selection show. Until next time, God bless you, and God bless America.
Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. Oh, we were just talking about Wimp Sanderson's blue plate. Another winner. Another winner this past week. Wimp will be with us in the next segment as we get going. Uh, am I right? He's 13-1 and one on the year? <laughs> you are correct. Well, he's only got a handful of favorites he can play this week. Yeah. <laughs> a handful of favorites. Games. If I was him, I'd say I'm not doing one this week. I did one in week zero. I'm 13-1. and one. Thank you, guys. I'm cashing out. Getting my chips. I guarantee you. Um, I would buy, I would bet the old right testicle right when we start the uh, the show here, or left testicle, whichever way you want to go. I'm really not interested. That he wants to play Georgia, but I don't think he will because it's Alabama. I guarantee you he loves Georgia. Well, what if Wim goes underdog on us? Just out of the blue goes underdog for he the first time this year. He won't do it. Uh, his blue play coming up at 925. I have a feeling he'll play Michigan against Iowa. I don't think he will. I mean, he's going to play a favorite. I think he's going to play Oklahoma State. You don't think he'll keep riding Cincinnati? He's uh, it could Oklahoma. be Cincinnati. I've got his past picks. He's played Oklahoma State and Cincinnati a, a good bit. I, I don't think he's going to love Cincinnati here. I think he's going to play Oak State. Oklahoma State. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk to Wimp in a little bit. Hey, we're back live with you now all the way until 1 o'clock Central today, getting ready for our trip to Atlanta. We head over there after the show tomorrow. A lot of you making the trip over to the SEC championship game this weekend. Alabama playing for a spot in the playoffs. They did the college football rankings last night. As we get going today, Let's start with what we were discussing last night in our specialty show from walk-ons down 280, and it was the crowd, what we think it's going to be like in Atlanta at Mercedes-Benz Stadium when we get there. Brown was taken aback that you and I think it's going to be a 70-30 split. I mean, ridiculous. It is going to be a 70-30 split. It is not 70-30 split. Man, I keep hearing that Alabama fans are selling their tickets to Georgia You know, you talk about my absolutes. Brown on his Stoops contract, his his crowd at at Mercedes-Benz. Well, mine are correct, Lance. Your absolutes (laughs) happen to miss some. (laughs) I'm just saying, Alabama fans aren't selling directly to Georgia fans. They're selling to, you know, the the middleman who's turning around and selling it to the highest They're selling to whoever they can. They don't care because they don't think they're going to win this game you think alabama fans don't think they're going to win no this game. i i i think if you truly polled alabama fans they do not believe they're going to win this game brandon who who is a, a big alabama fan on twitter and listens and watches the show brandon says hey um will you guys keep count hey uh <laughs> uh will you guys keep count of all your guests this week on how many picks georgia and how many picks alabama well it's gonna be all of them bigger georgia brandon's an easy count right now here are all the people that have picked Alabama so far. <laughs> you got them on the board there. Right here. None. None. And by the time we get to Atlanta on Friday, that's how many people will be picking Alabama. Yeah, you None. might have somebody on this panel that's picking Alabama. To cover or to no, win? To win. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Let, me, let me change the map here. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I said might. He said might. It's not Friday yet, Jim. But I feel much like the 70-30 crowd. I think if you truly polled Alabama fans. <laughs> Here's how many people that are picking yeah. <laughs> Truly poll Alabama fans, completely sober, 70%, much like the crowd at uh, Mercedes-Benz on Saturday, would say they're going to lose this game. 70-30. Alabama plays road games in Knoxville that are 70-30. In favor of Alabama. 30% Alabama fans on road games in Knoxville that aren't even 50-50 games. Because they know they're going to win those games. They play road games in Baton Rouge that are 70-30. Because they know they're going to win those games. I think y'all are crazy thinking... So, by your math, roughly 25% of the Alabama fans are going to sell their tickets, so they're going to end up with Georgia fans. That's what you guys are saying. Uh, 20% of them, yeah. 20% of Alabama yeah. fans. So, if it's a 50-50 split, it is a – I mean, these Georgia fans, this is this is their year. They're buying everything. I remember – I think there will be more than 50,000 Georgia fans in the Dome. I mean, I really, honest to goodness, we should have had a Georgia-themed – t-shirt already in our next round store just so we could make a little cash off the drunk georgia fans because they've been there all year all year this is 1980 for them brown there's people read the lifetimes board. read the board read the board um let's see from folio chat room boards what we're speaking of charles uh too many weaknesses i love the tide i don't see it happening yeah that's an auburn fan it seems so obvious i guess the better team makes me weary they will win see he's playing the opposite side of that 
Chris, huge Bama fan since the seventies. No path to victory. No, <laughs> no path to victory. You missed all. Jay Pear too. Said the same thing. Big what? Bama fan. Hope to win. It just went yeah. off. Somebody Shit. right there at the top. I can't see that. Well, it's going too fast now. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's, it's oh, all Bama fans say we're not going to win the game. Lunch for rolling. <laughs> it is. Lunch for rolling back. Right. Uh, we're not winning this game. I will watch and hope, but I will bet f- uh, the farm on the Georgia money line. Mm, funny, Jay Pear from Dallas went with the farm on it, but he's uh-huh. not putting up one of his ranches or one of his testicles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Parker I'd says. Farm on it, to be honest with you. Parker says, everybody's picking Georgia money all over Georgia. Screams Bama win. This is normally the way you think, Lance. Uh, screams, um, screams Bama cover. The game has come down to QB play in the past, Parker says. Advantage Alabama. Uh, Eddie says, hope is a dangerous thing. <laughs> Brett, y'all know me. Bama wins by 10. Michael, I'm a huge fan. Prefer more and more people to count us out. See? Yeah. There you go. Alabama, I mean... Historically, Lance, Alabama's an underdog. Probably, if I had to guess, exceptionally good historically as an underdog. Um, okay, here's the thing. As a dog under Nick Saban, well, that, I mean, nine times. Gosh. Nine times. That's whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, nine whoa, whoa, whoa. times. How yeah. many games has he coached at Alabama? A ton. Now, Probably two. He's not at 200 yet, is he? Now, only five no. of those have been since that first seven. But nine times an outright dog, they're five and four. Since two thousand outright, yeah. Since two thousand and seven, which if you want to take that first season and just erase it, because four of those games they were underdogs. He's four and one outright as a dog. Mm, that's but, a trend and our angle right but, there. But here is the scary thing: we've What's had that? now twenty eight SEC championships. Do you know how many times the dog has won outright? Twenty eight SEC championships. The dog has won outright very few times. Four times. times. Four and twenty-four. The dog is. That's a lucky guess by me. Yeah. It, usually, it's the favorites. That game. That ain't a good number, man. It's a favorites game in Atlanta. But, but man. typically, the SEC championship should be an evenly matched game. How about this is game two hundred one for Nick Saban? He won game two hundred Saturday. Maybe somebody told me that was game two hundred for him at Alabama, uh, in the Iron Bowl. This is game two hundred one at Alabama, and he has been an underdog nine times. Two hundred one games, guys, and he's been an underdog nine times. What a what a great two hundred game run. Do you, th- you think? Yeah, well, I mean, what a great <laughs> Jim, run. He's 176 and 24. I can't, he's, I can't, he's lost that fastball, though, right? <laughs> I can't blame the Georgia fans for being drunk on this year. I mean, just think of the intoxication we've had for the 200 let, days. Let me give you this one. Let me give you this one. Saturday. Games. Will this count? I guess this counts towards your conference record. No, I don't guess it does in this one. Uh, no, it does not. This is only regular season. So Saturday at Jordan Hare was his 119th SEC game at Alabama. How many do you think he's won? 119th SEC game at Alabama. Uh, 102. Uh, I would say ca- no, counting 2007. 108. Counting one. Th- I'm going to say he's won 110. 103. Guys, I thought I was going to impress you guys. I mean, he's 103 and 16. That's pretty yeah. good. So uh, I mean, Vanderbilt's lost 20 straight SEC games. <laughs> no. So we start off with our uh, right testicle bet from LT on the crowd <laughs> split. If, well, let's go ahead and just no, 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 no. My my testicle bet was that Wimp wants to play Georgia. Okay, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, well. But I do feel I feel even better about the Georgia 70-30. I really do. It's going to be 55,000 well, Georgia fans we're not make in a, that. We're not going to make a bet on that because you cannot – you can't look at it and say, oh, it's 70-30. I mean, so there's no bet on that one. Yeah. Uh, all I will tell you is if we're betting those to start off, we got to start off, as everyone is saying in the Farm Folio chat room, with our friends at Nut Dust. <laughs> uh, redefining the use and feel of body powder, our friends at Nut Dust. Great stocking stuffer for the holiday season. Go to officialnutdust.com. Nut Dust redefining the use and feel of body powder. As I said, Nut Dust talc-free, all-natural body powder. Four great scents, naked, void, your laddie, wildling, all day, every day, Nut Dust has got you covered, go to officialnutdust.com. Jason in the Farmfolio chat room, my fear is Bama wins this weekend but loses the rematch in the Natty. Well, if, if you, you don't win this weekend, there's a chance you don't get the rematch. So. Uh, I would say don't worry about that. Just if you're going to win this weekend, you're SEC champions and you, you made it to the national championship game again. And who knows, maybe Cincinnati would knock Georgia off or somebody else before you got back to the national championship. All right, in all seriousness, as we get rolling this morning, the college football playoff rankings come out last night exactly the way everybody thought it would. Georgia, Michigan, Alabama, Cincinnati, your top four. Oklahoma State sitting there ready to move in. Notre Dame's at six. Brandon Marcello keeps Ohio State at seven in the mix of being in the playoffs if there is chaos, if something could happen there. So here we go in the college football playoff rankings. 
We'll do scenarios later on, but as you look at them on the screen, if you're watching us on YouTube and such, there was no surprises there. That's exactly the way it is, and and there are insert check box results on the games on Saturday on who the four teams will be. It's a pretty easy path, like for Alabama. When you're in, lose, and almost 100% you're out. Georgia's in regardless. Michigan win, you're in. Cincinnati is the only one that I think can win and be left out. Well, I think that's the only drama if those teams win. If Alabama does, in fact, pull the upset, Michigan beats Iowa, Cincinnati wins, Oklahoma State wins, then I, the only thing is going to be who's the number one seed? More than likely, it's going to be Alabama. Yep. You could make Michigan that number one seed, but I think it will be Alabama. And then it's going to be who's number four? Will so it be you, Oklahoma State or will it be Cincinnati? You said Marcelo says everybody threw Ohio State's alive. Is that what you said? Uh, Marcelo says Ohio State is the cutoff line number seven. So every everyone's short of Ohio. So Ohio State's not alive is what he's saying. No, he's saying Ohio State is. If there's a lot of chaos, they would be in the conversation. Okay. He leaves seven teams still in the mix. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard for me to envision a path for Ohio State, but maybe uh, so. Let me back off. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm reading too much into a headline. He may be mentioning Baylor over Ohio State as yeah, a two-loss so. pack. Yeah. He says seven teams. I just yeah. assumed he meant the That's top true. seven. Okay, I got, I got what you're saying now. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's probably seven going in, and I think Lance is right. The only team, uh, the only team that can win <laughs> – this is crazy to say – win and fall out of Cincinnati. That's right. That's it. I mean, that's, that's right. the only team. Any other team that wins – you, you buy the plane ticket. Look, I didn't know anything about this all-state playoff predictor. Yeah, I don't know how good it is. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it's no good because okay. well, well, the interesting thing that I read, if, if Oklahoma State wins, they've got a 49% chance to reach the playoff. It says if Cincinnati wins, they have an 89% chance of reaching the playoff. So they believe Cincinnati over Oak State. And, you know, I was like, okay, well, may, maybe they've got something that we don't know. But then I read – if Michigan wins, it's got a 90% chance to reach the playoff. In what world does Michigan win yeah. and they're not in? Yeah. So that Zero thing, world. That thing is a computer that yeah, is so not I, talking to reality. I, I throw well, it over my shoulder. I, I yeah. can tell you what that is. Um, because this happens to us, it happens to us way more in radio than it does here, is, hey, we've got a really big client and they want to be part of your guy's show. Can you all create something for them? And we're like, well, you know, we're not into creating segments. Well, they're going to spend this much. So could you really, could you create something? We're like, okay, well, we'll create this. So, you, so you're saying Allstate went yeah. to them and said, hey, we need yeah. something for yeah. ESPN.com. Let's but do we, a playoff predictor. I, I, we try that. to create something, Brown. We try to make it credible and, and it makes fun. sense. We try to make it fun. Allstate yes. could have said if Michigan wins, they've got a 100% chance of which reaching is, Which is accurate. So my point is, I think that's more about Allstate wanted to sponsor something big. And ESPN's like, hey, what about a playoff predictor? Well, how are we going to predict the numbers? And they're going to say... Uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't think anybody's going to take it seriously. We just need the Allstate name. No, it, it is interesting, though, that they believe Allstate, if Oak State and Cincinnati both win, that Cincinnati's in, Oak State's out. The, so they think Cincinnati's in over Oak State? Yeah. yeah, I would disagree with that. People are starting to send links to to us in case you ever lose of um, oh boy. Th these, these uh, they're called nudicles <laughs> that dogs get when they've been fixed. <laughs> That just in case you lose one of these yeah. bets, since you bet them a lot more now no, over I, in I, this I, format. I, I, I don't. I said I would be willing to. It was, yeah. it was obviously a hypothetical. Yeah. Mark, Mark though, sending you the link okay, in case good. you need Great. it. Mark's yeah. got you dialed That's in. exactly what I need. Part of our show today being brought to you by our friends at the Storm Restoration Roofing Company. That means Greg in Pell City is ready to get on your roof today. He does it in all kinds of temperatures, whether it's hot in the summertime or cold in the winter times. He is there mm. for you. Oh, you've got it pulled up? The nudicle? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Lunsford's pulled that one up <laughs> sign for me in, Sign me up for a second from the yeah. front row. <laughs> Wait, is that a teacup chihuahua, the one you're uh, – you're, uh, you're, yeah, right there. Yeah. 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 Sign me up for front row, second from the left. That's the one I want. Straight up. <laughs> Coonhound right there. <laughs> That's why Smokey's already walking around. Look at around. this St. Bernard in the left corner, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Uh, storm restoration roofing. Uh, <laughs> Greg's got all of his, and he'll get on the roof for you. Uh, he doesn't need the nudicles there. He'll take care of your roofing needs. Uh, Greg from Pell City, locally owned for, for what now, 20 years, A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. Just a great guy right there, and he's willing um, to give you a free, no-cost inspection on that roof. Absolutely no cost at all. You call this number, 205-542-3531, 542-3531. This is a great time of year to get your roof inspected before the rains come in the spring and you're having to deal with leaks and some damage to your house, Greg from Pell City on Facebook will help you get that peace of mind. 
303-542-3531. Greg from Pell City on Facebook and Storm Restoration Roofing. Coaching Carousel, we'll talk later after we talk to Wimp about Brian Kelly and how he's getting beat up for a, a, fo- a, a photo from 2013 and how long his goodbye speech to his players were and all that. But one name that hasn't been talked about enough on who could be the next coach at Notre Dame is a guy you guys love. Why not Pat Fitzgerald to Notre Dame? I think it'd be a great hire. I think he's an excellent football coach. Yeah. You know, I think it comes down, does Pat want to leave his alma mater? When we first started doing radio t- together, like in 2010, I remember making the point, I think Pat Fitzgerald will be the next Joe Paterno, a guy that never leaves his alma mater. He'll be there for 35, 40 years, and he'll go down as one of the greatest um, builders of a program because – they go up and down like this, which you understand. But for him to have some of the seasons he's had, oh, amazing. incredible. And I think he would do a great job there. You just wonder if he's content. He's making really good money. Um, he loves that area. Again, he's he's a Northwestern Wildcat. Yeah, yeah but that area is also Notre Dame's hotbed, too. Chicago, right? And the type of athlete he recruits at Northwestern Brown is the same type of athlete you recruit at Notre Dame academically. But a better player. But the better player. Yeah, like, yeah. he gets the guys notre dame doesn't want but the same the same report card okay, so is that more or less difficult you think um is it more difficult to find a great athlete that meets that high academic standard or an athlete that'll pass at northwestern i think it's probably easier to find that guy at northwestern i, I do too and i think he's easy it's easy for him to sell the underdog yeah and these guys that are going to be there for four or five years so yeah. if you if you're if you've got a choice at notre dame between pat fitzgerald luke fickle who do you take i think i take fitzgerald if i could get him i think he's more pr- i don't know man i think i take fickle i uh, that's a tough Fickles, one i mean if I, you you were very fickle on that answer yeah, very much was yes. i, I kind of am too so who do you think's younger I'd go Fitzgerald. Uh, I'd go Luke Fickle. Fitzgerald's younger. Yeah, is he really still? Yeah. Wow, that guy's been there forever. He's, he's forty six, and he has been. Well, there he's got. I mean, forever. Would, would you not think um, Fitzgerald? And I don't know how important this is to some of these coaches, but like I think Mark Stoops now, regardless of what he makes and how it affects our bet, Mark Stoops, I think probably has a lifetime at Kentucky right now. Would you guys say that? I you, don't. I don't. You don't think he ever leaves? I no, don't no, think no, so. No, now, I think, no, 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 no. Listen to me. I'm saying I don't think. I think he's established to the point that he's not going to get fired at Kentucky. I would agree with that. And, yeah, you're saying that he's got a, a so-called lifetime I, I, pass. I'm saying if he wants to coach at Kentucky the rest of his career, I think Mark Stoops will be able to yeah, do and that. And if he gets that contract that I think he's going to get done away, I think he probably yeah. will be at Kentucky for but, the rest of his but life. Yeah, pro- but, but, but keep in mind that in a day where they're handing out 10-year guaranteed contracts left and right, uh-huh. that the extension that we're all – you know, up jumping up and down about as a Kentucky fan today for Mark Stoops last night was just through the 2027 season. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I just, but I, I, I don't know if there's Kentucky laws that limit them. Like in Mississippi, right. they can't throw out 10 year contracts. Yeah. But I just, I think he could coach there the rest of his career if he wants to. Um, and, and I was reading like Lance's good buddy, Matt Jones up there. That was his, his assessment of it is like basically Kentucky has locked in Stoops as long as he wants to be here. So I think that's the way the people there view Mark Stoops. And the point I was getting to, that may or may not be true about Stoops. I would say it's a thousand percent true about Pat Fitzgerald. Oh, yeah. If Pat Fitzgerald wants to coach at Northwestern until he dies. I mean, if he if he went to Northwestern and said, look, I I literally my my life's goal is that they have to call a TV timeout to roll my dead body off the sideline because I passed late in the second quarter. I think Northwestern would say, well, we'll give you the contract. Well, how, about, how about Jim Harbaugh is coaching in his first ever Big Ten championship game? And Pat Fitzgerald's coached in two of the last three. Yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a lifer at Northwestern. So I don't know how important that is to these guys, don't we? Do you want to chase it and, and, and always answer that question? What would have been like if I'd have had a primo job like Notre Dame, as primo as it is anymore, which is, I don't know, Notre Dame's a top 20 job right they, now. And get you to a college football player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, or are you just willing to say, you know what? I've reached a pretty high level and I'm set for life. Which one? Yeah, different different strokes That's for right. different folks, I, I don't, right? I, yeah, I don't know what the answer is. Uh, he's passed up opportunities, obviously, to go to the NFL as well, Pat Fitzgerald. Just thought it was one name you had not heard a lot of that fits geographically and mentally into that Notre Dame plan. just pull that out yourself? Well, I was just thinking last night, who are you going to yeah. go get? If Luke Fickle says no, who are you going to go That's get? That's a good idea. No, I mean, I, I, I'd like that direction. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, maybe they've had those conversations in long, many times, and Pat Fitzgerald has told him no, so maybe he will not even be on the radar. I just thought that was an interesting name we had not heard a lot of. All right, we're uh, through our first segment here. Wimp's coming up. I'll tell you more what's in the show after LT tells us about our great friends at Gutter Cap. I mean, we've already had Greg up on the roof in this first segment fixing the roof. Might as well improve your home with those gutters. You see Stu up there. Hey, patent <laughs> and aluminum cover system fits over most existing gutters. It will keep out the debris. Eliminate the gutter cleaning forever. It's back with a lifetime warranty. Chris Stewart and the guys, 20-year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off the dangerous ladder forever. 45% off the retail price right now for the month of December, the December installs. Go to guttercapbirmingham.com or call Chris Stewart today, 823-2212. Uh, Rocky's not here yet. Can we can we get a camera shot on who's, who's playing the keyboard this morning? Lunsford's on the black and whites. Yeah, He's playing the keys. He hey, Lunsford. He's hitting all the, all the C notes and the E right. notes. And all of that. Tickle those ivories. Good job there. You know, we almost, we almost have to reframe you there. You're a little taller than Rockstar. You sit, <laughs> you sit higher in the seat than Rocky. He does hunch over a lot. All right, well, when we come back, Wimp Sanderson later on, Barrett Jones and Todd Furman, this is the next round. On Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Next Round Live. This is for the men who never settle, the ones who miss the fairway all day and still pull out the big stick. The type of guys who will always prefer to be behind the grill than in front of the camera. And the men who never let their friends forget about a high school nickname. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Who wants to settle for a single TV? With more TVs, bigger screens, plus our fabulous scenic views, there's more to watch at Twin Peaks. At ERA King Real Estate, they're empowered by technology and driven by community. I'm Jim Denaway, and my friends at ERA King have the most extensive training and the most innovative tools in the business. And they're opening their 10th office location in Central Alabama this month. To find your agent, text the word MOVE, M-O-V-E, to 35260. That's MOVE to 35260. ERA King Real Estate, growing to serve you. Are you sick of leasing your life away? Ryan Brown here from the next round. Mortgage Right has the cure. With locations nationwide, our friends at Mortgage Right are dedicated to making the home buying process easy. They are eager to offer tips, tools, and a staff of industry professionals to move you in with confidence. So if you're ready to let go of the leasing life and start living life, Mortgage Right can help. Visit mortgageright.com slash TNR to get started. NMLS 2239 Equal Housing Lender. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Hydrolive Therapy. Boost your immune system today with Hydrolive Therapy. IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. Mention next round at checkout. Save 20% off any service at the Birmingham and Tuscaloosa locations. If you're unable to make it to Hydrolive, a nurse can actually come to your home or office. You can visit them online today, hydrolivetherapy.com. Hydrolive Therapy open seven days a week, Homewood 9 to 6 in Tuscaloosa. Lusa 10 to 6. Banking isn't just about your money. It's about you. It's about getting help with what you need when you need it. AmFirst was founded for members just like you, and they've been putting those members first since 1936. Putting you first means services that grow and change with the times to serve you better. Now, every bank has their own app, but that's just it. It's theirs, not yours. The AmFirst app was made for you, so it's easy to pay bills, deposit checks, or transfer money to friends and family from anywhere. You can even customize the app, which means you can personalize your dashboard, create usage alerts, and redeem points for rewards that will make you feel like the number one priority you are. And you can do it all on your own time. So what are you waiting for? Get the app made for you from AmFirst. Visit any AmFirst location or AmFirst.org today. That's AmFirst.org. America's first federal credit union, federally insured by the NCUA. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Farmfolio. If you're concerned about market volatility or inflation, Farmfolio can help you diversify your portfolio into cash flowing farmland property. We all know about rental real estate, cash flow and appreciation are the name of the game. With Farmfolio's productive farmland lots, your trees act as the tenants and they pay you in fruit which is sold by Farmfolio's international sales team to the likes of Walmart and Costco, ultimately generating cash flow for you. 
As your cash flow increases, your property value also increases. Just like tenant-occupied real estate, the best part is you don't have to be a farmer. You own, they farm, and you earn. This is the way it works at Farmfolio. For more information, you can go online, check everything out today. Go to farmfolio.net. That's farmfolio.net. Check it out today. If you're concerned about that market volatility or inflation, Farmfolio is your best friend. Go online today, farmfolio.net. It's that time of year again. Don't miss Bromberg's store-wide free Christmas sale. Get 20% off throughout the store on diamonds and gemstones, designer jewelry, fine timepieces, fabulous giftware, and more. Find gifts from Bromberg's increased inventory of beautiful, timeless jewelry she will adore for a lifetime. And get 20% off during Bromberg's pre-Christmas sale, Wednesday, December 1st, and Thursday, December 2nd, at Mountain Brook and the Summit. Make Christmas wishes come true with a silver Bromberg's box under the tree. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. On Twitter, Lance Taylor's neighbor says, Ole Miss jumping Baylor, not a small thing in regards to a two-loss Alabama being considered for the playoffs if there's chaos. The question there becomes, though, if Baylor is part of that chaos, they are then a conference champion, which would give them one thing that a two-loss Bama wouldn't have. Wimp in a second to talk about everything going on, not just with football, but basketball as well. Part of the show being brought to you by our friends at Michelson. Hey, to find out if LASIK is right for you, call today. Ask for Amy. Call Michelson Laser Vision, UAB Highlands. Tell them the next round sent you. They're going to hook you up with a hassle-free consultation. If you've wasted the money each and every year on contacts and solutions and you've been procrastinating, now is the time to pull the trigger. I did the same thing. I finally went in, got the procedure done, found out LASIK was right for me. I had 2200 vision. I was legally blind without the aid of contacts. I now have 2015 vision, better than 2020. Still got it two decades later. Call today, 969-8100 or online, michelsonlaservision.com. Wimp told us how it would be. He told us how it would be. Fresno State's Jake Hayner is the quarterback. On the day that his coach from Fresno State, Kalen DeBoer, leaves Fresno and is introduced at Washington, Hayner announces he's in the transfer portal. And before you can even type, Hayner is in the transfer portal. He has announced he's going to follow his coach to Washington. You can now leave and take almost your entire roster with you to your next job, Brownie. That's the world we're in. It is, and I greatly appreciate you setting Coach up for that. He is on the Pepsi hotline, the Coach Wim Sanderson, presented by the Rental Works Division of Crane Works. How are you, Coach? Doing fine. Things are a little bit different for me today. First of all, I want to say this. For those people that don't understand anything at all about football, the ball's on the two-yard line. Uh, you're at Auburn at Jordan Hare. You go fourth down and got to make it to to go any further three or four times. Mm-hmm. You go 98 yards with, by the way, the offensive coordinator calling the plays. Bill O'Brien. And the quarterback doing the job. Yep. You go in and you break a two-game losing streak at Jordan Jordan Hare. With a team, with a with a crowd against you totally, and you don't think that this is one of the great runs or one of the great 100 yard dashes or whatever you want to call it that Alabama has ever made? It was. You mean drives? Unbelievable. Yeah. It was unbelievable. And for anybody to stay there, open their mouth, and say a word about the offensive coordinator about anything, to break a, a losing streak down there with a coach three and seven, and win a game like that in a game that they probably shouldn't have won. Is quite un- unbelievable to me. Well, I can't wait to talk to John Mechie tomorrow, Coach, but we've been told that a, a lot of uh, the plays they ran in that drive um, was called by the young quarterback. Oh, I don't think so. But what, what, it doesn't matter. Okay, what, it doesn't matter. okay give him credit. That's well, fine. I, I think he, a lot he, of people would say the reason you were in that position, and this is, may not be fair, is a poor job by your offensive coordinator. Oh, you're so st- you're, you're so stupid. I it didn't say that, Wimp. I said <laughs> others have said that. You, 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 got, you take stupid pills all the time. You take the bottle of them. I do, yes. But, I, I mean, yeah. and, and you can't <laughs> – the point I was going to make is you can't entirely hold it against him. Brian Robinson went out hurt. Jamison Williams okay, that's got ejected. Give, that's don't give him any credit for the run. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Uh, you were right. You were right on Brian Kelly. You know, uh, It is bad for coaches to go in and – where a team that might be able to go to the playoffs probably won't to tell their team 15 minutes that they're leaving. It all comes down to a personal thing by everybody. It's a personal thing about the kids transferring, which I don't think is good. I think that started it. 
it's certainly you're absolutely correct, and I was wrong. I wasn't wrong, but I was. It, it wasn't right for that to happen. But uh, he's either got to make uh, ninety-five million or, or nothing because they want to know something real quick. Uh, I think that was tough, awfully tough on 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 the team, uh, you know, to to have to have, go through that. So I would agree with parts of it that you have said. So you get a little bit of credit from me today. Well, thank and you, by coach. the way, but, but Wimp, as a, as a former coach for ninety five million, would you even have put your seatbelt on? <laughs> well, I understand. Yeah, I, I, I understand. <laughs> That's what, what I said it was a per, it was a personal it was a personal deal, but it was very hard. But I think uh, transfer portals have done it, and I think they'll continue. I think uh, football is is a great sport, and a lot of people follow it, and I follow it too. And it's it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I had prefer would prefer what I'm talking. To not do the blue play today and to do two of them on Friday. Well, oh, I want so you want to come back on the show I Friday? I want to be able do... to call in the show and you take me when I call in to John or, or whoever's doing the show, a rock star. I would I would like to just simply give the two blue. So plays. you've got two that you're going to do Friday. I'm going to do both of them because that'll be the end of it. Okay, I'm fine with that. If you'll give us two, I mean, at this point, I think the fans. Have made so much money off your blue plates. They they would be happy to get two. So I'm fine. I I, I only get one. Well, you can on either show. take both. You can take one. Are you but guys okay with decide. that? Oh, I, yeah. Can't decide, yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. decide about one of them, and I'm not going to decide mm-hmm. to Friday. And I want to do it the right way. Well, I already had my pick uh-huh. on who you're going to go with. Oh, okay. Congratulations. Yeah, you, know, you were right. I know. Yeah. I, I would. No um, It'll still be there. Friday. Uh, I'll leave it on the board. Don't worry. We, we will be in Atlanta. I got all y'all talking to each other now. We'll we'll be in Atlanta <laughs> um, on Friday, so we'll um, we'll call you. Well, the, we'll call the you. Phone doesn't work to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't know how your flip phone flip phone works. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll call. We'll, we'll call we'll you. you we'll call you on this Friday. Not, hey, this is not Stalin. Stalin's got the flip phone. Hey, yeah. and and, and that, let me say this too. What I'm just talking about everything in the world. Sure. If you're gonna fire Mike Bobo, that's fine. You can fire Mike Bobo if you want to. But what you do in order to make it a little bit better on people that work for you, that are looking their heads left and right as to whether you're gonna get fired next is that you wait three or four days, five, six days, or a week, or ten days, and you tell him, I think I'm going to make a change. But, but, but why, why wait three or four days, Wimp? I, that gives me an opportunity to go to – the sooner I know, it gives me an opportunity to go get a job. I don't agree. He's making $3.2 million. Yeah, by the, yeah, he got a nice golden parachute. What was it, and two, he, a, two and a half? Is he, that what he got to go Yeah, and he didn't yeah. do a good job. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll tell me as soon as you as as, as you've decided I, no, I'm not going to be back. I, I, tell me I, I, as I quick just, as you can. All I am saying, all I'm saying, Jimbo, is for the people that work there that are looking left and right or worried about things that might happen to them. Because he fires a guy after the first game, fires a guy after the last game. I think I think you, I, I'm just making a statement about the atmosphere there, not knowing what's going on recruiting wise and the whole ball of wax. I think it's a pretty good point, but you don't catch it. Well, no, I'm just saying I would like to know as soon as possible oh, that you okay. don't want me back so I can go get my next job. Okay. He's uh, not going to leave out of Auburn. Okay. Well, I, I think we've established you believe Nick Saban is the greatest coach of all time, right? I think he's awfully good. Yeah. Uh, well, this is, I mean, would you say pretty good situation where you go into a game where – you're an underdog, and nobody believes you can win this game. And Nick Saban is one of the ultimate motivators. Do you find sure this? Do you find this a good spot for Alabama? Everything is based on expectations. I use the word expectations every day in your show, because that's what everything is expectation. And you're exactly right. The expectations there that Alabama doesn't have much of a chance to win. That, you know, let me tell you something. You have to have players to win. And they don't have any. And they don't have any running backs, and so that that's the problem. It's not you know. I have, I have a guy call in the other day and said, you know, if, if they'll just play their A game, but their A game, crap, they got to have players to play. They don't have any players. They don't have any. They don't have any running back. Your A game. What do you mean your A game? You mean you got to. It, it, it's going to be a, a darn tough game for Alabama. Yeah, but but you would understand the rest of the country. Hearing Alabama complain about not having players, they're going to say, yeah, yeah, cry me a well, river. Sure. Well, sure. They just have to know. They have to know the personnel and where they are, and they got all those guys hurt, and they got, you know. They, and of course, it all it all goes back to the offensive line, which we don't talk about much. The offensive line's got to play better. They they changed the offensive line during the game. They made some adjustments. It, look, fellas, if you're playing a, a football game and the first half things are not going well, 
you do everything you can at the halftime to change some things. You mean you change the offensive line, you tell the quarterback to get rid of the football a little bit quicker, you try to change your play. That's what coaching's all about, trying to make a change at a time that you can in order to make your team better in the second half. The, and that's what you do, and that's what Alabama did. The coach, Rem Sanderson, joins us each week, courtesy of the Rental Works Division of Crane Works, like all of our guest coaches on the Pepsi Hotline. Uh, Saban said after the game that he told his team at halftime, just go have fun. Uh, yeah. that, that's an interesting – my wife even brought yeah. this up. My wife heard that. I was at the game. She was watching at home, and she was like, "That that's just – it seems contrary to what Nick Saban would normally uh, say to a I, team. I would doubt he said that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he did. That's what he told CBS he said, right? Oh, I would doubt, I would doubt that he I, – I would doubt that he said I guarantee you. That sounds really good to you. Right. And to, and to the, and to the uh, uh, parents. To my wife. My uh, wife I'll liked it. She liked it. I, I'll, guarantee, I'll guarantee you he didn't say go have fun. No, he got them by the, by the coattails and got after their fannies on both. You, you guys said y'all were in the, in the dressing room one time and listened to all that crap. Yeah, we were. They, they, well, that was more they assistance, nailed, They made them know which way they could go. It's a, it's a, you know, it's, it's going to be a disappointing loss for either team. And, neither, and, and Auburn did a good job, you know, defending them. And Alabama got some people hurt. And Alabama did a good job of hanging in there. So it was – a heck of a game. So hey, Ed, tell me this one: why, why, why is this offensive line at Alabama not as physical? It looks like as they have been. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's all in personnel and being really wanting to play. Let me tell you something: you're sitting there at home. I'm telling y'all every day about mental stuff. Uh-huh. You're sitting there at home with 150 kids. I mean, kids, you are going to play, and not that many, of course, but a lot of guys you're going to play, and they're saying we're going down to play Auburn. And they don't have their starting quarterback. Oh, and by the way, the guy that kicks the 50-yard field goals, he's not playing either. So I'm saying to myself, well, well you know, it's Alabama-Auburn. We've got to get ready for the game. But this is Alabama-Auburn, and they, got, they don't have anybody that can play? Are you saying they're playing a one-legged quarterback that can't play dead cowboy movie? Uh, you, you just you, – you can't get yourself as ready to play. Now, I'm not saying Alabama wasn't ready to play. Um, but they weren't as ready to play. Now, on the other hand, you got to give Auburn a lot of credit. They can say to themselves, "We you know we've lost a kicker and a quarterback, and we ain't got much." But instead, as the game starts, and Auburn it sh- looks like they're in the game to start with in the first ten minutes of the game, you're saying to yourself, and those kids are saying to themselves now, "Crap, we got a chance to win this game." But truthfully, if Nick Saban wasn't the coach at Alabama, and we were talking about another team, you would say the team wasn't ready to play. Well, I would say that they weren't. No, no, I would not. They weren't as ready to play as you normally are when you get ready to play a, a team. Uh, you know, I had some teams, and I know basketball's not involved in football, but I had some teams where I wasn't sure sometimes. Are we ready to play Auburn the way I think that we, we better be? Uh, if not, we'll practice when the game's over. Uh, so uh, I, I just think I just think they weren't quite as ready to play. But, I, but you got to give Auburn all the world of the credit in the world because they got to, you know, if Auburn goes for two after they sk- score, they win the game. I thought they would have yeah. to. Yeah, no, we all agree with you. Yeah. yeah. Hey, on I something I found one thing I'll agree with. Yeah, I know. Hey, something smart. totally different. Lincoln Riley reports where he could have had the LSU job. Obviously, if he stays yeah. at Oklahoma, he's coming to the SEC. If he takes LSU, he's in the SEC. Some people will call him a coward. Uh, reports are he's getting $11 million a year. They bought him a $6 million house. He can use the private jet 24-7. I don't know if all of that is real. It's out there. With that said, though, um, you look at LSU just fired a coach that won a national championship two years ago. Florida just fired a coach that won the SEC East last year. Do you really blame Lincoln Riley for going to the Pac-12 to take on uh, what it was once a great program in USC and having the ability to dominate that conference year in, year out while still making SEC money? No, I don't. I think that's a smart thing for the move. Let me tell you something. There is a percentage, and I don't know what that percentage is, whether it's 25% or 50, that because Oklahoma went to the SEC, that was one reason he left. That's the one reason he decided he didn't want to go to the SEC. Now, I don't know if that's a big percentage. And all the money you talked about, you know, if you walk into your assistant coaches and say, let's go fishing, I got a plane, we ain't got a recruit today, we got a free plane. Yeah. Got a free plane, do everything. That's a pretty good deal. That is a good deal. Yeah, that ain't bad. Yeah. yeah, you go down there and there's nobody to play except Oregon, and, and UCLA's got a passing coach that can't pass, can't, they can't catch it. So there's nobody down there that Arizona's can't play. So you're going to dominate that thing. And the, guess what? 
All these guys that you worked for and spent money on to recruit a five-star quarterback and spent all, and flew everywhere they could fly on Oklahoma's money. Guess where he's going? Yeah, he's going to USC with you. Thank you very much. Yeah, he lives. He so lives you close. Spent, you spent all their money. You spent all their money recruiting because a five-star quarterback's not hard, not easy to recruit. Nope. I mean, you got to spend a lot of cotton picking time that book bear. Yeah. Hey, and before you go they're, though, they're, hey, this weekend Alabama and Gonzaga, we won't get a chance. <laughs> well, I guess we'll talk to you Friday now. We will. Uh, yeah. So give us more on, on Alabama Gonzaga on Friday. But does Gonzaga's Bama have a, got a good team? Does Bama have a chance? Yeah, sure they do. Alabama's got a good chance if they if they, if they I say a good chance they've got a chance. Uh, uh, Gonzaga's good. They're not maybe not. Because they were last year, yeah. Alabama just needs to make the free throws, not turn the ball over quite so much. Okay. If they do that and defend, that was a very Sonny defend. Smith answer, by the way. Well, is that a Sonny Smith answer? Well, I don't care whether it's not. That's the right answer. <laughs> they got to they gotta, they gotta make the free throws, and and uh, I was smarter than Sonny. Uh, they got to make the free throws, and and they got they got to you know got to cut the turnovers down a little bit and still play fast, shoot it the way they want to shoot it, and play the way they want to play, and um, you know it just. That's just the way you got to play, and they got they got a chance. And then, then they play Baylor, and by the way, they're honoring one of my teams at the Baylor game. They they got a great chance to beat Baylor at home. So they're they're they playing some good teams. They played some some teams that they've beaten. So they're very good. So anyway, I don't know how it will work Friday. Will we'll I call in? Uh, Rockstar will Rockstar will coordinate with you. Okay, congratulations, right. Rockstar. Congratulations, John. Thanks, man. Did a good job. Uh, all right. Uh, the coach, even when he comes over this Friday, is presented by our great friends at the Rental Works Division of Crane Works. Well, Crane Works is an outstanding company, and I appreciate David up to having me on. It's a, they have an expert team of salesmen. they got great equipment operators. They know exactly what they're doing. Their projects are the rental works. is absolutely a great division of Crane Works. And everything from chainsaws to skid stirs, anything that you want, uh, just – Look on the internet for craneworks.com and you'll have it all. Thank you, Wimp. Well, enjoyed it. Love you. Thank you. Uh, I don't I love y'all. Uh, you don't. Well, we'll talk to you Friday, though. Bye. Stupid pills. Stupid, Stupid pills. pills is what I take. As Jeffrey said, it was very touching that Wimp is so concerned about Auburn's atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. Hey, when we come back, developing news. What? Uh, with Notre Dame and the college football playoff expansion, what's going on as we speak is next on the next round. Follow LT on Twitter at the Lance Taylor. There's nothing I like more than a unique, delicious meal. And that's what you get at Champy's World Famous Fried Chicken right on Highway 119 in Alabaster. Those great full fried chicken plates, the tenders, the poor boys. But I love the southern staple chicken on a stick. It's perfect for a tailgate or watching the big game. And then the authentic Mississippi Delta recipe, homemade tamales, the best I've ever tasted. See the whole menu or order online at champyschicken.com. For blues, brews, and bird, it's Champy's Chicken, Highway 119, Alabaster. Hey, if you're looking for a local agent to handle all of your insurance needs, you need to call my good friend James Anthony at the James Anthony Agency, 205-985-7717. Hoover, Birmingham, Northport, and Tuscaloosa has been in business over 20 years. The James Anthony Agency. Hey, do you want to become more flexible and more active? Our friends at Stretch Zone Birmingham can help, and they're offering two Black Friday deals you don't want to miss. Visit StretchZoneBham.com or call 205-509-2349 to learn more or book an appointment. You demand a durable machine to withstand extreme worksite conditions. Volvo Construction Equipment assures it with their industry-leading lifetime frame boom and arm warranty. Offering this through their full range of powerful and fuel-efficient excavators, wheel loaders, articulated haulers, road and compact equipment, you can rest assured quality will exceed expectations. Contact Cowan Equipment to experience this firsthand on your job site. From short and long-term rental options, flexible rent-to-own, or straight purchase options, parts and stock and service you can depend on. Let Cowan show you what it means to have a trusted partner who will keep you ahead of the game. Give them a call, 800-239-2694, or visit Cowan.com. Again, where you can always expect extra effort when it comes to your heavy equipment needs, call our friends at Cowan, the name you have trusted for decades. 1-800-239-2694. Or again, you can always visit them online. Go to Cowan.com. 
Being a boot fanatic, I have found the perfect place to shop for the greatest selection of boots with brands like Lucchese, Ariat, Dan Post, Twisted X, Justin, and more. Hey, Tom Luganville here telling you Jack's Western and Outdoor Wear in Coleman is the place to go. Western boots, fashion boots, and work boots. Jack's has them all. Plus, a great selection of apparel and boots for the entire family. Jack's Western and Outdoor Wear is a one-stop shop for all your holiday gift-giving needs. Jack's Western and Outdoor Wear, I-65, exit 304. Just look for the big red building and follow Jack's on Facebook and Instagram. I've been a Shelby County deputy since 2019, but I've been a beach bum for as long as I can remember. My folks took us down to the Gulf every summer, and even now, I can't wait to get back. Thanks to the freedom and flexibility of my new job, I know my next beach trip is never far away. In the meantime, I'm making great money, get paid to work out, and even have a take-home car to save miles on mine. Best of all, I spend my days helping people, sometimes on the worst days of their lives. That's a job that makes a difference. (laughs) Not bad for a beach bum, huh? If a flexible work schedule, a take-home car, paid vacations, a gym at work, and $51,000 plus a year to start sounds good to you, maybe you should think about a career as a deputy in Shelby County, Alabama. Change your life. Change your world. Look us up on Indeed.com and on Insta. The best food with the best sports is at Walk On Sports Bistro, and they're now hiring for the Stadium Trace location near the Hoover Met. Walk On's has top pay for experienced kitchen staff, servers, bartenders, bussers, hostesses, and to-go cashiers. And yes, health benefits are available. Go by the new Walk On's location at Stadium Trace in Hoover and apply today. Hiring is happening on site 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. This is your chance to join the championship team at Walk On's. Sports Bistro in Hoover. Anytime you use the phrase world famous, it means something. Gus's Fried Chicken is, in fact, world famous. It's been featured in GQ, Forbes, The Washington Post, on the Food Network, and the Travel Channel. And Gus's recipe has been around since 1953. It's routinely ranked the top spot for the best fried chicken in multiple U.S. publications. Visit 2201 Second Avenue South or online GusFriedChicken.com. Gus's is a great catering option for office and holiday parties, and they even cook on site. Get the family meal on the drive home at 2201 Second Avenue South or visit online Gus. FriedChicken.com. Back with you on the next round. By the way, Brian Kelly being introduced at LSU today, um, right around 12 noon Central Time. And we've got Todd Furman on at that time. And when we're done with Furman, we'll uh, listen in to some of the questions that Brian Kelly is doing as he uh, continues to do. Um, Things down in beautiful Baton Rouge, Louisiana. A lot going on with him as well. Uh, the developing story around Notre Dame and the college football playoffs after I tell you about the great folks at the Penn Store. Holiday game day needs for Alabama and Auburn right now. Choose from polos, button downs, uh, quarter zips, Brown, at the Penn Store. Sweatshirts, hats, all that. Love them, Jimmy. Uh, choose from famous name brands like Wrangler, Carhartt, Carhartt. Um, if you can't say it, you can't wear it, Jim. Dolce, am I right about that? The Dolce brand right there is there. Hoka, Vintage Havana, Levi, Southern Marsh, and many, many more. Pan Store has gift cards as well for that perfect gift item. Ladies brands and a lot more. Five locations. Leeds, Crestline, Trustful, Tuscaloosa, Huntsville, and Pantstore.com. Free shipping, by the way. Pantstore.com on all orders over $100. Lance, tell Jim to emphasize this, okay? Choose from famous name brands like Wrangler and Carhartt and Dolce. We got, we got Joe Biden on the mic. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How long was that read? Give him a minute, Jim. Yeah. 15. Always, always uh, a minute or two. Our yeah. man Michael G is loving it. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Did you emphasize that? <laughs> I was just making fun of an old cold worker. Uh, I remember. That would squeeze in the... Uh, Hard sell here. <laughs> squeeze you in the You responded cube. to the text. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's what's happening at Notre Dame. Uh, LT's favorite reporter, Heather Denich. I, I said one thing yesterday. I'm just saying okay. she, she covers the college football yeah. playoffs and the expansion meetings are going on starting today. One person who isn't there. It is Notre Dame athletic director Jack Swarbrick. A little, he's getting a little tied up right now. <laughs> he's got yeah. some knives in the air. Uh, reports have him staying back at Notre Dame, meeting with defensive coordinator Marcus Freeman today. If you're paying attention to what Brian Kelly is doing at Baton Rouge, 
He is offering Marcus Freeman and Tommy Reese jobs at LSU. He wants to bring his offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator, and here's the twist. He wants to make them the highest paid coordinators in college football. The, the checkbooks are open in Baton Rouge, and he wants to make these two guys the highest paid coordinators in college football, which right now? Brent Venables. Brent Venables at? 2.15. 2.5 million. So we're talking about 2.55 or more for Marcus Freeman and Tommy Reese to leave South Bend and go to Baton Rouge. Feeling is Jack Swarbrick's trying to hold the team together there and may offer Marcus Freeman the job today and keep Tommy there Boy, as well. Boy, such a roll of the dice. I think Marcus Freeman, you talk about a quick ascension, you know, named co-defense coordinator in 2017 at Cincinnati. Kid's only 35 years old. And I'm not saying he's not worthy of the job because he did a great job at Cincinnati. He did a great job in year one at Notre Dame as their D.C. Um, the only way you're going to keep him is if you give him that that – if you give him the job, that's the only way you're going to yeah. keep Marcus Freeman now. And boy, you're putting a corner if you're Jack Swarbrick, because I think I would rather have a more proven commodity than Marcus Freeman. So it's almost, you got to let Marcus I, Freeman fly here. I think by and large, ADs and boosters panic in these situations though, because I think what you're saying being in the corner is you're in the corner because you feel like, and I'm going to try to think of a good analogy here. Um, I mean, it's almost FOMO, right? Like, everybody is going to Baton Rouge now. And if you're Jack Swarbrick, you're like, I can't lose them all. I can't let everybody leave the party. Right. I need somebody to stay and have fun with me, right? Well, I mean, but, part of it's recruiting too, right? Well, there, there is some of that. But when you lose a coach, at some point you just got to say, I may have to sacrifice a recruiting class to get the best guy here. Like, I have – what's one of my pet peeves? You guys know I have pet peeves about these coaching searches. One of them is – and Lance, I always ask this question. If he didn't play at your school, would you be considering him for this job? How many times do we have to say that, right? Uh, it's almost every other search. It's almost every other search. So that's one of my pet peeves. And Dunaway, the other one is, I got to hurry up and get a coach in here for recruiting. No, you don't. You go get the best coach you can get. If you have to sacrifice a recruiting class to get let, – let, let me. If you have to sacrifice a recruiting class to get Luke Fickle, is it worth it? If Luke Fickle tells you, hey, I'll take the job, but I can't bolt right But see, now. I don't know if Luke, Freakman, uh, Luke Fickle's going to be better than Marcus okay, Freeman. Well, give me a guy that you think will be. Just give me an I don't, I don't know if there's one out there anymore. You think Marcus Freeman's the best option? I don't know. I don't know. I just know that I'm looking at the 24-7 composite rankings, and we're days away from signing day, and Notre Dame is number four in the country behind only Georgia, Alabama, and Texas A&M. That's pretty, pretty high yeah, that's, that's high it's, ground. It's, it's high ground. So give me a give me a guy, Lance. Give me a guy you think's better than Marcus Freeman for this job. Any guy, just pick oh, a guy. I mean, Mark Stoops. All right, Mark Stoops. <laughs> and, we, and, we, and we know you're Bra bound to determine to get him. <laughs> but, but we I'm know Brian saying. Kelly's personality. He's a proven commodity. Yeah, okay. We know Brian Kelly's personality. So a lot of that is Notre Dame recruiting itself, but a lot of it is Marcus Freeman and Tommy Reese. Yeah. But if I call Mark Stoops today and it's the first time I had talked to him and it's going to take me some time to work this out, is it worth that? Do you sacrifice a recruiting class to get Mark Stoops? I'll tell you who's in the best spot. Swarbrick's in a terrible spot now. Well, he's in a tough one. Joe Castelloni is in a terrible spot at Oklahoma. Marcus Freeman is in a great spot. There's no doubt. Either you're going to be the highest paid defense coordinator in football or you're going to be the head coach, the coach at Notre, Notre Dame. Dame. Probably yeah. make it 6 to $8 million. And I guarantee you he'll have success at LSU if he goes to defense coordinator. He's going to get another job in another year or two anyway. What was that? That was, yeah, he oh. is, yeah. It's like you got tickled. Yeah. <laughs> Tickle me, LSU. What's under that table? Uh, Dolce. <laughs> Dol <laughs> Dolce. I'm emphasizing, by the way. Georgia, Alabama, Texas A&M, Notre Dame, and Penn State right now, the composite rankings um, as National Signing Day approaches and coaching change there at Notre Dame, and that is why Swarbrick isn't there. Uh, we'll let, let you know if they decide anything from the college football playoff expansion meetings as well. Part of our show being brought to you by the great folks at Ship Happens. Uh, yes, Dunaway, in today's ever-changing market, your supply chain major factor in maintaining and growing relationships with your customers. Safe, on-time, and affordable shipments, they are crucial. With over 20 years combined experience and relationships, Jeff and Griffin at Ship Happens, they've got the ability to get ship done. From LTL, van, flatbed, heavy haul, and expedited, Ship Happens, ready to bring a solution to all of your transportation problems. Don't have an accident and ship yourself. 
Call the guys. It ship happens. 205-605-8101. On Twitter, Drake says, if nothing else, Jimmy Mudpuddle got Wrangler and Levi's correct. Dang right. <laughs> I'm familiar with those brands. <laughs> right there. By the way, Lincoln Riley playing catch up at USC and recruiting. Yeah, boy, he's getting after it. Though. Right, he is. I mean, he's got five stars and Oklahoma transfers coming. Uh, all over the place. I was looking to see where the Trojans were. Well, you know the, that there's that big DB that I think is the number three player in the country that I saw this morning is down to Alabama and Southern Cal. Yeah, and Southern Cal is a late ad there, yeah. Brown. It was Alabama and Michigan, and he visited Michigan this past week and took them off the list. Uh, so now it's down to... <laughs> I mean, that's a tough break for Harbaugh. Biggest win he's ever had at Michigan. Yeah. The kid takes him off the list. Well, maybe he doesn't like people rushing the field or something because they did that. I'm having a hard time finding USC... In the well, I'm going to say it's here. pretty low. They've been without a coach for what, Lance? Three months, two I, months I now? I think two months? USC had four commitments before Lincoln Riley came on board. Yeah. So I just haven't gone far enough down. Yeah, yeah. Enough yeah. Enough down. No, Lincoln serious? Riley's got I'm, his hands I'm full. down past Appalachian State. I'm uh, telling you, I think they had four commitments. I think you oh, there they are, 91. They're I had, 91. I had to go past Georgia State, Kansas, and UNLV to get USC. They've got five commitments. Uh, buy stock, Brown. Buy stock. That thing will be in the, <laughs> uh, about the top, top 15 before you can believe it. It's about the all-time low. Uh, yes, it is. All right, top of the hour. Uh, when we come back, uh, we will uh, continue our college football conversation, and you'll hear a little bit from two of the folks who are part of the SEC championship game, a little Georgia, a little Alabama flavor uh, when we come back. And the show is being brought to you by the great folks at the Standifer Insurance Agency. Get that insurance checkup right now with the Standifer Insurance Group. Auto rates have lowered four times in the past 12 months. So call this number, have your coverages ready and what you pay each month, and let them compare and see if they can save for you like they did me. 664-3200-664-3200 or standiferinsurancegroup.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. I'm absolutely loving my Alfa Romeo Stelvio that I've been in for months now. And right now, you can get up to $3,500 bonus cash plus 1.9% financing for 72 months on the all-new 2021 Alfa Romeo Julia's and the Stelvio's at Alfa Romeo of Birmingham. Come experience the passion and performance of Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo USA of Birmingham.com, 1837 Grants Mill Road, exit 27, right off of I-459. Holly Mack Wilson wants you to have a safe and enjoyable holiday season. To protect your home and keep it safe, Holly suggests the following tips. Water your tree daily. Use candles with care and caution. Keep your packages out of sight from doors and windows. If you travel, secure your home before leaving. Check all electrical circuits and don't overload them. Consider smart technology to protect your home. And for more information, always check out her website, hollymackhomes.com. Happy holidays to all. Holly Mack Wilson, a Tuscaloosa Keller Williams agent. Golf is hard enough as it is. It should be fun and enjoyable. That's why you should check out my friends with Golf Tees, the place to go for punny golf apparel. Quality golf apparel with a sense of humor. To check out the fun, go to officialgolftees.com for the latest in golf t-shirts and hats. Quality and fun apparel priced for everyone, no matter your budget. Again, check them out on their website, officialgolftees.com or on all social media platforms at Official Golf Tees. Relax and swing hard in case you hit it. Officialgolftees.com. All the gifts and gear you need for the holidays are all at one place. Academy Sports and Outdoors. Find the season's best savings on top brands for every sports fan, athlete, angler, griller, hunter, and outdoor lover. Both in-store and at academy.com. You know that sound anywhere. It's the crisp crunch of that first nacho chip. With its perfect cheese to sour cream ratio sitting atop a layer of delicious beans, it's a sip away from perfection. That's what we're looking for. Add a delicious, refreshing Pepsi and we've achieved absolute nacho nirvana. Because while you can pile those nachos high with every spicy, cheesy, savory topping, there's no topping a cool Pepsi finish. Nachos, better with Pepsi. That's what I like. I want my lawn to look better than anybody else's on my street. Ryan Brown here for the next round. Here's one problem. I play a lot of golf, but I'm not a greenskeeper. It's why I depend on my friends at Wayne's. And now is the time to make sure your lawn is properly prepared to grow healthy and lush when spring rolls around. Let the lawn professionals at Wayne's set you up for success as your lawn enters dormancy for the winter season. I depend on them for my lawn. You should too. Get Wayne's treating your lawn now so it looks great in the spring. 866-WAYNES-1. That's 866-WAYNES-1. 
The best food with the best sports is at Walk-On Sports Bistro, and they're now hiring for the Stadium Trace location near the Hoover Met. Walk-On's has top pay for experienced kitchen staff, servers, bartenders, bussers, hostesses, and to-go cashiers. And yes, health benefits are available. Go by the new Walk-On's location at Stadium Trace in Hoover and apply today. Hiring is happening on-site 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. This is your chance to join the championship team at Walk-On's Sports Bistro in Hoover. Greystone Chiropractic and their brand new facility in Tattersall Park is the premier family wellness office in Birmingham. Dr. Lee Goldenberg is committed to helping families unleash their unlimited healing potential naturally in a beautiful and stress-free environment. Voted best in Birmingham three years in a row. Nominated for Shelby County Healthcare Provider of the Year. What sets Dr. Goldenberg and Greystone Chiropractic apart? Their attention to detail, their thorough approach with patients, and their excellent customer service. I trust my family with Dr. Goldenberg. You can too. Visit GreystoneChiropractor.com or call 981-8090. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com, for the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. It's that time of year again. Don't miss Bromberg's store-wide free Christmas sale. Get 20% off throughout the store on diamonds and gemstones, designer jewelry, fine timepieces, fabulous giftware, and more. Find gifts from Bromberg's increased inventory of beautiful, timeless jewelry she will adore for a lifetime. And get 20% off during Bromberg's free Christmas sale Wednesday, December 1st, and Thursday, December 2nd at Mount Brook and the Summit. Make Christmas wishes come true with a silver Bromberg's box under the tree. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. Another hour of the show. Hey, thank you to the Jonathan, excuse me, Johnston RV Center. Uh, they brought the SEC Roadshow to you last night from Walk-Ons, and they'll be with us over in Atlanta. The fine folks at the Johnston RV Center will tell you more about that in our specialty shows coming up 4 to 6 Central Time on Friday and then 10 to 12 Central Time on Saturday morning around our normal programming. And we appreciate the fine folks at John- Johnston RV Center. Let's get to the headlines quickly before we get back into our college football talk. Uh, The college football playoffs, the rankings last night, Georgia, Michigan, Alabama, Cincinnati, the top four, Oklahoma State, Notre Dame, five and six. Mark Stoop gets a contract extension. Uh, There's an S at the end, Jim. Mark Stoops gets a contract extension at Kentucky through 2027, waiting for details on how much money he'll end up making there. Urban Meyer says no interest at all. In a college football job, Manny Diaz likely to keep his job right there at Miami. Sonny Cumbie leaving Texas Tech to become the head coach at La Tech, according to reports. And then there was yesterday at Jacksonville State, where Rich Rodriguez was introduced as the head coach there. You could almost close your eyes and go back to 2007 and see that guy, 2006, see that guy being introduced in Tuscaloosa, but it didn't happen. So there's been a lot of talk, LT and Brown, about why Rich Rod did not take the Alabama job. And a lot of it pointed to you and Feinbaum. Well, I don't, I don't know how much that had to play into it. You know, we had a little bit of fun. There was a picture of Rich Rod and his wife, and I just made a comment about the hair. What was that comment? Do you remember? Um, I really don't remember because I was doing the show with Tony Curry then. So you tell me how long ago that was. That was 16, 17 years ago. Right. No, I mean, what was it? Was it 2007? Would have been after the 2006 season. Yeah, so six. Before, so 15 years ago. Yeah. But something about um, something about the hair. I don't know. And then Tony said something, and then I think Feinbaum picked up on it, and then it exploded. Mm. But I don't – I mean, do you – Was it something about the hair and coal mines or something like that? No, nah, I don't think we brought up coal mines. Maybe a stripper pole. I really don't remember. Oh, that was out of bounds oh. by you. I didn't say that I said that. Yeah. I think maybe a stripper pole came up. Anyway, do you really believe that Rich Rodriguez is going to say, you know what, Reed, I know that there was a comment made, but we're not going to take this Alabama job because of well, this. Can I say – why? I, maybe it's better after we hear what yeah, Rich Rod let's said. do that. Yeah. So, so Rich Rod yesterday gets asked by Mark Edwards of the Aniston Star, right? That is right. Mark uh, does a fantastic job over there with the Star. So Mark Edwards, Aniston Star, who covered that coaching search for Alabama back then for the Aniston Star and was there yesterday when Rich Rod was introduced. And he asked Rich Rod, hey, a lot of rumors 
about why you didn't take the Alabama job back in the day. There was some thought that you'd come to Alabama a few years ago. Yeah. How do you view your career now differently maybe than, than you did then? It is. It, that's a, it's, um, yeah, it's been an interesting 14 years, to say the least. Uh, it worked out great for them. They got the greatest coach of all time. But it, uh, um, so many things have happened. And I don't want to say that, you know, like this past year was a reboot, but in a way it kind of was. They said I would like to think that uh, I'm a better coach now, I think, than I was a year ago, and certainly I was even 15 years ago. But back then, um, it wasn't those mega contracts like we got these days, but it was it was still just a tremendous opportunity. And I'm still grateful to even have the opportunity to have to talk to Alabama at the time. But we at West Virginia, our program was in such a great place then that I decide to uh, to stay there. But this is there. This is. You know, I don't want to say it's a twilight because then it looks like you're, you know, just kind of riding off into the sunset. I I view that in the exact opposite way. Like I'm trying to burst through the door and and uh, with a whole bunch of excitement and a new kind of vigor. Well, that's Rich Rod yesterday saying it wasn't any comments, nothing negative that take him that kept him from taking the Alabama job. This is such an impressive hire to me from Jacksonville state. Oh, I mean, name value wise. And I'm assuming, yeah. I'm assuming he still got some gas in the tank. Uh, um, the guy is a great play caller. I think I, I think he I, calls I, really good plays. You know, look, I think I, I, we said this on the show uh, the other day when the story broke is I think in hindsight, he did a much better job at Arizona than we initially thought. Oh yeah. I mean, look how bad Arizona has been. Yeah, getting out of in the new year six in 2014, where they played for the conference championship. By the way, if I did have anything to do with that, I think, there should be a GoFundMe page where Alabama fans each should send me a hundred bucks. I agree completely with you. Did Alabama the best favor ever? Yeah, and I'll cut fine mom a little bit of that. What I was going to say was <laughs> he I didn't need it. He does. I had to take my car in this morning to Vulcan Tire and Automotive, and my wife picked me up and brought me back here to the uh, to the studio. And I was sitting in there in the waiting room, waiting for my wife to get there, and they had Fox Six on the morning show, and Janice Rogers and Mike Dubberly were interviewing Feinbaum and brought this up you know that rich rodriguez has been hired at jacksonville state and paul said you know me and some of my radio co-workers back in the day there was a rumor we cost him the job so i was glad to hear him dispel that rumor he said because i didn't really want that on my head and doubly was like paul they got nick saban <laughs> i think you did alabama a favor so he said the same thing yeah you said. I, I i don't think that that was the cause i really don't i mean i think you don't turn down a job like that because of some stupid radio comment and that was not that I'm mature now. I was a lot more immature then. Um, I really don't remember what I said at all. Um, but it did start to gain a little traction. And ultimately, I think some people were really upset too. Because initially, a week after the comments, there were people, you guys cost Alabama not getting Rich Rodriguez. That's right. Yeah, because a lot of people had given up. On, uh, not Mal Moore, but a lot of people had given up on Nick Saban. Yep. A lot of people look, had given but up I on think, Nick Saban. Look, this is great for Jack State, but I think it shows you in whatever – arena you're in you got to stay humble because it is amazing that he went from West Virginia really a play away from playing for a national championship to now he's coaching Jack State I know I mean it, it is it is crazy the fall and he took you know that Michigan job and I will never forget Dunaway and I were doing Dunaway and Brown back in the day AM radio this is how long this goes before we were even together and I will never forget I think we carried his introductory press conference at Michigan and I'll never forget looking at Dunaway and saying that does not look right. Rich Rodriguez standing in front you of that said Michigan. That? Are you kidding me? I think that was unbelievable. <laughs> I think Blake guy, said it. I was not the first person that said that doesn't fit. You're saying that was you. This guy thinks he's part of our show everything. being brought no, to you by our friends he, at Mortgage Right. When Maggie preaches and reads Genesis, do you stand up and say, wait a minute, God said that? <laughs> no. That no, wasn't me? Uh, I, I promise you, Brown. I promise okay, you. Yeah, there, Jim said there's that. There's so many things that I used to say first, and now he does it. His aneurysms, yeah. his attitude, his aneurysms. personality. Yeah. Uh, hey, mortgage so right. <laughs> the holidays are approaching. You might be wondering how you can make some extra money. Well, our friends at Mortgage Right, they've got a great solution for you. If your home's equity is the size of Santa's waist belt, then Mortgage Right can help you turn that equity into cash in your pocket with a cash out refi. Reach out today for a free home health check to see how, if a cash out refinance is right for you. You can go online, mortgageright.com slash TNR NMLS 2239 equal housing lender. By the way, Rich Rod was a great coach with Pat White and Steve Slayton. Outside of those guys. Who was his quarterback at Arizona? Was it Khalil Tate? No, no. that was uh, Kevin Sumlin. 
Yeah, Kevin Sumlin had Khalil Tate, right? Uh, I'll look it up. No, no, no. It started, he had it, a good quarterback. It started with Rich Rod. I, I remember you and I were watching that Pac-12 championship game. You at, sure it wasn't done away? At a hotel bar. I'm positive it was me and you in 2014 against Oregon. <laughs> Listen, I'm glad Jen. I just wasn't invited. <laughs> I'm glad Jen brought you to work this morning. I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad she loaned you the quarter zip. <laughs> this is coral. You don't like the color of coral? It's like hey. salmon. <laughs> My wife said it was coral. Do you guys not like this? No, it's, it's, it's pretty good. loud. Uh -huh. It's pretty loud. Yeah, I can hear you over my shirt. Can, yeah. can I ask you? Sure, Jim. Do they uh, make you hit from the back tees on the LPGA? <laughs> he did Keep not going. like that you stole his thunder. Uh, he did not, did he? Yeah, Jim's better. Jim gets better about that You stuff. just got denimed. Well, <laughs> I am sure there's an old school Dunaway and Brown listener out there that probably remembers it, oh, right? I, I cannot well, tell you how many times I said that was such a bad fit. Yeah, just personally said wise. that. We only had four listeners, and if you were under an overpass after dark, you were not do, one do of Do you them. wonder, though, sometimes you, you should just stay where you are, and that was a Rich Rodriguez situation at West well, Virginia? Maybe so, but how no, do you No, it was a great fit at West Virginia. You're exactly really right. But how do you say no to Michigan? I mean, that was just – he replaced Lloyd Carr, right? Yeah. How do you say no to Michigan after you've said no to Alabama? Alabama, that's right. I mean, because don't you think that – when Nick Saban took the Alabama job, don't you think he was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. How did I say no to that? Nick Saban left the Dolphins. is going to leave the Miami Dolphins, having already won a national championship in college, to take this job? So the next time a blue chip comes, you're like, God, if I say no to this one, nobody's going to ask me yeah, to do so anything Bill, again. Bill Belichick's going to Other examples, because the there was a time Rich Rod was a top 10 coach when he was at West Virginia. I don't yeah, think yeah, you can deny agree. that. I yeah. mean, he had that three- or four-year window where they were going to Sugar Bowls and they were almost playing for national championships. Can you give me a, another example of a coach that left that had the fall that Rich Rod has had? Well, again, I want to say this is a great day for Jacksonville I State. Agree. It's a tremendous well, day. Yeah, I think Jacksonville I mean, State fans realize that, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Jack State knows they could not have hired Rich Rodriguez if he had made it work at Michigan. No, he yeah, no doubt. No yeah. But, but yeah. who are and other listen, coaches that a, have taken the wrong job? We have a lot of great music festivals in our state, and some of them are not you know, uh, as headliners as Rock the South, right? There right. are some, some music festivals that have bands that were really popular in the 80s or 90s that – that roll through and play the the prime Saturday night gig, who wouldn't be at Coachella, right? Right. Or rock this out. Well, I've got it. I've got one for you. Okay. I mean, Chip Kelly should have never left Oregon. Yeah. I know he went to the NFL. No, 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 yeah. he, no, no, no. he went to Philadelphia yeah. first. Yeah. Right? Rich Rod yep. in West Virginia he may still be there. Who knows? Yeah, I I I feel really confident that Chip Kelly would have been in multiple college football playoffs and would be dominating the Pac-12 right yep. now. Yeah, had it rolling, had it rolling, and he did. He lost his fastball when he, when he left, and I think that's happened. I mean, there's also a few you could say um, that were better the second time around when well, they left somewhere yeah. and, and, and went somewhere else. I mean, Nick Saban, if he had never left LSU, would have been uber successful at LSU. He would have built what he had in Alabama. I don't know if it had been as many national titles, but there had been a handful of them. Um, the greatest example of all time is Howard Schnellenberger, no doubt. I mean, he oh. won that first national championship at Miami, took a USFL job that never even played a game. It was the Orlando franchise, I believe, right? Or the Miami franchise that never played a game. And the league folded, and he never recovered. Yeah, I mean, he coached again at Louisville. That was about as high he, as it ever got for you're him. You're right. I'll go another Miami coach, Butch Davis. You know, the year he leaves. Mm. And he went to Cleveland, right? Yeah, yeah. Larry Coker wins back-to-back national yeah, championships. Yeah, but you look at Schnellenberger or Davis, Jim, and if they stay at Miami, those guys are among the best ever. Yeah. That's right. And, and almost in Jacksonville be... State situation, Butch Davis just got run from Florida International. Yeah. Would not even wear his – I don't. we didn't talk about this. Did you guys see this? Last game of the season would not even wear his team gear on the sideline. Yeah. Refused, I did not see that. Refused to go out in the FIU gear on the sidelines. I mean, Spurrier had a lot of good football left in him at Florida if he had not left Florida to go with Washington. I agree. Yeah. And they pushed him out. Florida probably doesn't fall off like they fell off. No, you're right. I mean, there, there are examples. And Rodriguez is probably one of those. He, he ended up chasing it the rest of his career after it didn't work out in Michigan. Yeah. I mean, you can almost close your eyes, though, and see Sean Shivers playing his one more year at Jacksonville State and being dynamic in a Rich Rod offense. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? No, you're absolutely right. I mean, he made – was his, was Steve Slayton the running back with Pat yep. White? Yeah, he made Steve Slayton into a near Heisman finalist. Yeah, so really exciting for Jacksonville State and Rich Rod, who's in town. Part of our show today being brought to you um, by the great folks at Redmond Vodka and Vulcan 
Vulcan Gin. Red Mine Vodka and Vulcan Gin. Yeah, locally owned and operated. Great product. Stop into your local ABC store or package store, including Pink Package and the Beverage Place. Uh, their aim, clarity, and taste, color, and smell. It's Vodka Perfection. Red Mine Vodka made from corn, which not only makes it gluten-free, also provides that smooth finish. Doesn't have a harsh aftertaste. Also, don't forget about your new favorite simple classic gin. Vulcan Gin, also gluten-free and eight times distilled. Boy, Farm Folio chat room. Be Foshi. Will we say this of Dan Mullen? Well, you know what Dan Mullen's doing this weekend? He's going to be on the SEC Nation set helping with the coverage of the SEC Championship as an analyst uh, since he played both Alabama and Georgia. He'll be given some insight to how to game plan against both of them. Boy, well, and how uncomfortable is that conversation? You were here last yeah, year. Yeah, you were in this game last year. What happened? It'll be interesting to see what Dan does with his future. It doesn't look like there's going to be a job he'll take in this coaching cycle. Yeah, but, I mean, you could look back on him and say, boy, he had a kick in a Mississippi State if he'd have just stayed there. If he'd have just stayed there. Is this Mechie who'll be with us live tomorrow? This is John Mechie. No, that's not no, Mechie. No, I didn't think so either. Do we need uh, Who is that? That is John Mechie. He cut his hair? He cut his hair? I think his hair is pulled back. back. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, that's why I was, what I, was, I, th- I thought it was a haircut. Uh, John Mechie talking about, I mean, nobody's given his team, Alabama, a chance going over to Atlanta. Let's listen to Mech talk about uh, the confidence. I'm extremely confident. Um, I think we're concerned about ourselves more and playing our best brand of football. Um, knowing that we're going against a really good defense. But um, also, I think um, we go up against one of the best defenses every day. Um, so uh, I think just like I said on offense, it's just playing our best brand of football. Well, I, I mean, he's had a lot of good games. I don't think he – it's hard to find one better than the one he had at Jordan-Hare Stadium the other night when it was on the line. Oh, he's an Iron Bowl hero, and I don't know that you will – I don't know that he's ever had a game where he had to have a better game. Yeah, right. No, we're once, more once dependent on him. Jameson went out, but you know, early and Brian on, Robinson. You, you know, people were talking about alligator arms on match. Yep. Just a couple of plays, but he made huge plays at the end. Um, that two point conversion, um, you know, it was such a great matchup with him and McCreary. Yeah, but he that two point conversion, he gives credit to Bryce Young, right? Yeah, I thought, you know, I went back and watched it, and it'll be interesting to tell Tim tomorrow to ask this because the. I think what was said in the post game is that the play was called from the sideline and Bryce basically told him, run this route, it's coming to you. Yeah. And so it wasn't a play that was called from the sideline. I, he says, you've got that. If you've got the one-on-one boy, run this he route. he ran it because McCreary was, was, oh, was shook. But, I mean, Danielson, and I went back and watched it because I was standing on the field at the time just to get a better view of it. And Danielson said it best. He's like, How, you, you don't defend that one. I mean, like, Deion Sanders doesn't defend that. Yeah, no. I mean, how do you defend it? You, you have to cut him off from going to you slant. Know, you got to know where he's going. Well, Lance, the one thing you cannot allow there is him to get inside. You yep. cannot allow that. You cannot allow him to get inside and let Bryce Young throw a slant to him. So, I mean, that's what McCreary, he's got to take that away and just hope that the pass gets batted down or Bryce Young makes a bad throw. Uh, Kirby Smart uh, gets asked this week about, you know, getting that Nick Saban jinx off his back. And this is how Kirby responds to that. You got really good players. <laughs> I mean, that, isn't that what it about? That's what it's about. I, I always defer to the players in terms of games. I mean, people have just talked about our defense a lot this year, but it's really about the players. It's not about Coach Lanning or or myself. Or it's about the players. And uh, I've got an immense amount of respect for uh, Nick and the job he's done and, and what he's done in Alabama the time I was there and, and since I've left. <clears throat> but he'll be the first to admit it's it's the phone calls Monday through Thursday and the official visits uh, Saturday and Sunday that, that, that get the job done in terms of the players. But it does take um, a complete organization and great leadership, and he's provided that. Did he take some funk off that podium? Yeah, it's like he got the dust <laughs> off, didn't he? <laughs> A little something, a little booger there. He looked at it too. It's their last national championship. Pull trophy. that back, Rocky. Yeah, this is, they're going to have such the best podium after they win this national championship. <laughs> That's what he's thinking. He's like, we are never going to have this kind of dust build up again. That's right. How, how is yeah. this happening in Georgia? We're going to be able to afford all the pledge. Uh huh. Lemon scented, even here he at sees Georgia. It right here, here we go. He sees it. Picks it off. What is that yeah, on my uh, finger? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Brown disagrees. They won the no, national why? championship. Oh, Highest paid coach in football. Lance, oh, it's got to be. Not, even, not even close. I wish we had never done this draft. All Lance cares about now is, is how much Mark Stoops and Kirby Smart are going to get paid. Don't forget about Pat Narduzzi. Uh, still uh, in Pat that Notre Dame mix. What guest? Who was the guest yesterday that mentioned Pat Narduzzi to Notre Marcella. Dame? Marcella. Marcelo, you should have. Marcelo was up on the screen. I wish the viewers could have seen Lance's face <laughs> when he did it. Well, it was a brilliant call on his part. I mean, Narduzzi's <laughs> been buried at that crap program that's pit. He really has, but he's a good coach. Uh, Troy says, I saw reports where Mullen is meeting with Brian Harson. I will you, give you Lance's right testicle if Dan Mullen <laughs> is the OC down at Auburn. You're offering that up. <laughs> to go back to the first So what do you think today. Mullen's next move is? Uh, it is not to be the OC at no. Auburn. No. I mean, what do you think it is? I don't would, know. It would be a bigger OC job. It's going to be a year off. Uh, if yeah. if he if he is be smart, you think he thinks he can be a head coach again immediately? Almost uh, take it, take a year uh, off and then wait and see probably. what happens. Maybe maybe I think maybe. I can sell he's, that. He's a pretty confident give, guy. Give me the type of job you see him getting as a head coach next. Uh, well, I I would have said like Arizona if we're going back to Rich Rod. You yeah, know, it's a weird fix. It's West Coast, but Chip Kelly did it. Yeah. Listen, I think I think it was self inflicted. In Gainesville, right? I don't think it was anything football wise. Mm -hmm. I think it was all personality wise. So that is a fis a fixable trait. The guy can coach, um, and he if he surrounds himself with the right recruiters. Oh, I don't know if I agree with you, Jim. Yeah. Now I think he can coach, but I don't. Sometimes, for how old is Dan Mullen? Mm -hmm. I don't know that that's a fixable trait at that point. Yeah. You say that. Well, sometimes I, I do believe people can change, Brown. I think that. You can be humbled that you just yeah. lost this job because of your personality. Like, can I give you a compliment that you will not take as a compliment? Oh, if, <laughs> sure, go ahead. I have changed my personality a lot. You over have. The, yes, tremendously. That's my point. Yeah, your personality yeah. is different than it was. And you've changed a lot, too. <laughs> See, I, I knew he couldn't take the compliment. I knew he couldn't do it. <laughs> I mean, you used, to, you used to be very happy going through drive throughs and now it's only five-star restaurants for you. So, so hard to find a place for you to eat on game days now. Uh, it's got to. It's got to. It's got to come. It's got to come. Yelp recommended, or we can't right. eat there anymore. So let me give you the backstory. Here. <laughs> it's, really okay. it's okay. It's okay. No, we no, walked we across have Auburn to go to Acre. I just don't believe. Like, if you're in a town where you don't normally go, and I'm not in Auburn a ton, I believe you find the best restaurant in that town. You don't eat at a chain that you can get anywhere else. And I said I agreed with you. I walked across from, Auburn. We walked we, from the stadium to Acre. My only problem was because I love Marty Smith to death. But we finish doing our this, commitment to OutKick. This is on me. Right? Yeah. And we're at Sky Bar. For right. For those that, you know, downtown Auburn. Right. Ba basically Tumor's Corner. Correct. Marty Smith is on SEC Nation. Other side. Of Jordan Hare. Of Jordan Hare. Over near Beard Eves. Right? Right. And Marty had texted me and said, I would like for you guys to come by and see me after the show. And I said, yeah, Dunaway and I have a commitment. We'll come by there. So we walk from Sky Bar to the other side of... Jordan Hare Stadium to where Beard Eves is. That is right. Hefty walk. Mm -hmm. um, and we're parked downtown, so we, yep. we, were, we knew we were going to walk that anyway. So we get on the other side, and Brown's like, oh, you know what? He's talking Eastern time. <laughs> it's Central time. He's already left. <laughs> I 100% did this. Yeah. That is and totally I'm like, Well, here we are on this side of the stadium. There's no food or anything. We were just by all the restaurants. Where do you want to eat? And he says, I've always wanted to eat at Acre. I want to go back to Acre. And yeah. I was like, I've always wanted to eat at Acre. Yeah. Let's go eat at Acre. Um, where's Acre? Um, it's back, back where, where we, were. we parked. <laughs> yeah, it's back where we were. Yeah. And they closed yeah. an hour ago. Yeah. yeah, no, it doesn't open till 11. But oh. is it impossible to get an Uber? Um, oh, on a game day, yeah. yeah. And a lot of streets are blocked, especially yeah. where we are. So we got, we walk, you know, 23 minutes to back Acre. To Acre yeah. Back to Acre. Was me, it worth me, it, Jim? Me and Boots. Yeah, was no, it, worth it was it? Worth, yeah. worth it. Okay. But then at that point, Rockstar, I got to finish and then be back over at Beard Eves, where SEC Nation was for CBS 42. So I was at Sky Bar, walked to where I needed to be, walked back to Acre, and then back to do two hours of television yeah. without sunscreen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. A couple of things. I mean, do they not have the golf carts rolling around? Uh, uh, not really. No, no, not like in Tuscaloosa, no. no. And why wouldn't Marty still meet you somewhere? Because he had already gone. He had Marty, already left. What Marty said was, hey, I, I'd love to see you guys. Like I'm, left campus? Yeah. yeah he, he was, was on a jet. But he had told me 10.15. We were done with OutKick at 10. And I said, can we be to the other side of Jordan here by 10.15? Dunaway said, yeah. I said, well, Marty said he wanted us to come see him. And then literally as we're walking up, I said, hey, you know what, Jim? I bet he was talking Eastern time. He's already going. He was. Yeah. 88, out the gate. All right. Uh, when we come back, uh, Rockstar is viewing me and you in a lot more college football and stories from the past. I love them. Yeah. It's all right here on the next round.
Follow Brownie on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan Brown Live. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about my friends at Michelson Laser Vision, located conveniently UAB Highlands. Almost 20 years ago, I went in for the procedure. Only took 12 minutes for both eyes. When I went in, I had 2200 vision. I was legally blind. Now I have 2015 vision, still 19 years later. Make the call today. Schedule a hassle-free consultation. 969-8100. Dr. Mark Michelson, Dr. Jen Michelson, Michelson Laser Vision. Make sure you tell them the next round sent you. 969-8100 or Michael laservision.com banking is not just about your money it's about you it's about getting help with what you need when you need it ryan brown here for the next round am first was founded for members like you and they've been putting those members first since 1936 putting you first means service that grows and changes with the times to serve you better now every bank has their own app but that's just it it's theirs not yours the am first app was made for you so it's easy to pay bills, deposit checks, or transfer money to friends and family from anywhere. It's even customizable, which means you can personalize your dashboard, create usage alerts, and redeem points for rewards that will make you feel like the number one priority you are. And you can do it all on your own time. So what are you waiting for? Get the app made for you from AmFirst. Visit any AmFirst location or AmFirst.org today. America's First Federal Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Vulcan Tire and Automotive. Four great locations right here in Birmingham. The team at Vulcan Tire and Automotive, they feel it's important for you to know they don't employ any salespeople or technicians that are incentivized with your commissions. When you are getting your vehicle service, the team is only incentivized to take care of you and your vehicle. That doesn't happen everywhere, but it does happen at Vulcan Tire and Automotive. Again, four locations right here in Birmingham, Hoover, Moody, Trustful, and Gardendale. For more information, Vulcan Tire and Auto.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. As you guys know, the team at Hempel Services are my go-to guys for all things heating and cooling. Recently, a unit went out in the house. Of course, Hempel were the guys I called. Always professional, always courteous. Hempel Services, they've been serving Birmingham since 1954. They're who Birmingham trusts. They're who I trust to do the job right and at a fair price. Hempel Services, independent train dealer, and they service all makes and models for all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs. Do what I do. Call Hempel Services. It's hard to stop a train. Do it now. 205 229 2090 that's 229 2090 what are some signs that you may have a low testosterone problem is your energy down have your workouts not been the same do you have problems sleeping all of these or one of these could be a sign of a low testosterone issue whatever the challenge the alabama men's clinic has a solution for you i'd invite you to come by the homewood location get a medical consultation and some blood work and if you're medically advised and you start your low t treatments that day in the office your visit is free. Well, the next question would be this. How do I set up the appointment? You can do it two ways. One, by calling 205-598-7000. That's 205-598-7000. Or you can go to the website, alabamamensclinic.com. There's other signs that you could have a low testosterone problem, like a change in your libido, or maybe you're suffering from depression. Whatever is keeping you from feeling 100%, it's time you find out the answer. Again, call the number 205-598-7000 or go online to alabamamensclinic.com. Stop by the New York Butcher Shop and pick up the finest in certified Angus Prime Beef steaks and burgers, premium pork chops, ribs, and all-natural chicken cut to order just for you. Their chef-prepared entrees and side dishes are the perfect dinner-to-go choice for your family and are ready to heat at home. With a great selection of fine wines and desserts, the New York Butcher Shop is your one-stop dinner shop. Two locations to serve you, Cahaba Heights and on Highway 119 in Greystone, the New York Butcher Shop. Rare quality, well-done service. Hey, for the best pizza in Birmingham for lunch or dinner, make it sliced. Go see the Bajaya brothers, Jeff, Jason, and Chris. Slice pizza and brew is as local as you can get from the ingredients that go into every pizza to the beer on tap. Two great locations, Lakeview and Vestavia. This hour of the next round is presented by Excalibur Services, a name you can now trust for all your plumbing needs. Call 205-718-8688 for all your residential HVAC, electrical, and now plumbing needs. Excalibur Services, Alabama License 15214. 
The real estate market is crazier than it's ever been before. I'm Jim Dunaway, and my friends at ERA King have 52 years of experience, over 200 agents, and they're opening new offices right now in Homewood, Vestavia, and Huntsville. ERA King has state-of-the-art offices and the most innovative tools in the business to help you. Text the word MOVE to 35260 to get started. That's the word MOVE, M-O-V-E, to 35260. ERA King Real Estate, growing to serve you. Appreciate all the comments in the Farm Folio chat room. Uh, Bama JT2 with the compliments on the show. T. Ciatello uh, likes being able to see us. And JW7175 says, Always heard about JD's awkwardness for years, but having the visual is fire. I assume that's fire. That's an explosion. It's fireworks. <laughs> So my nose power <laughs> You're more awkward viewing wise. Oh, absolutely. Okay. You get to see the mannerisms. I sound professional, just my voice, but right. you actually see how awkward I look talking. That's it, that's what people tell me, man. They're like, he sounds professional. Is he awkward when you see him in person? <laughs> yeah, yes. very much so. Yeah, yeah Shit, just man, maybe one day you'll see for yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just doing things with my fingers when I get nervous. It happens all the time. Um, Rockstar's viewing menu is brought to you by our friends at New Life Art. Yes, bringing you memorable sports moments by Daniel A. Moore. For over 40 years, call for more information, 1-800-735-2787, or you can view his incredible work. Go to danielmoreart.com. It's a music theme tonight, uh, 6 p.m. on Reels. You've got a documentary on Axl Rose, Guns N' Roses' frontman. I could watch that. I didn't realize... You know, when I saw Axel, um, you know, as a kid growing up and loving Appetite for Destruction, saw them open for Motley Crue, and I've had the opportunity to see him multiple times, he always struck me as the guy you heard they had drug problems. I didn't know he was the sober one. Axel really? Rose was? Oh, yeah. That's and, surprising. And it was Slash that had the major, major heroin problems. Yeah, he, uh, well, also the thing with Axel is if you have an interview scheduled with him, how long would y'all wait for him? If, y'all, if I said, hey, Axel's going to be on in person at. 9 a.m. tonight, today. How long would you wait for him? Because he's notoriously like sometimes people have waited uh, for him for five hours. No. It's I just when, I, when now, I Now that come, you bring I'm that coming. up, I had a story told to me yesterday about one of our former, we'll call them colleagues. And you got to come in here and break it. I got to tell you guys this story. Uh, you guys are going to die. Former colleague? You guys okay. are going to Cannot die. Cannot wait. All right. And then. But by the way, Axel was like abused by his father and stuff. Kind yeah. of a sad story. Yeah. He's from Indiana. Well, this, this sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah it'd be yeah. a good documentary. He, he's, got, he's had a life, man. Then 8.30 on E, you got a new episode of Clash of the Cover Bands. Tonight, the two cover bands are Depeche Mode and Poison. Ooh. Poison, you could replicate that. Depeche Mode would be difficult, well, I, I think. Well, I think a lot of people don't. I can hear you. I've never seen Depeche Mode. Like the guy doesn't do anything that's like, wow, it's like he's that's hard to emulate to do this guy. But Such I can understand Poison sound. with Brett Michaels to have long blonde hair. And a, yeah, you and think a, he's going to be hard yeah. to pull off the look? CC DeVille. Yeah, well, CC talks like this now. <laughs> and Ricky Rocket. That's King of Alex like. says on your viewing menu, he watched Beatles Get Back and gives it a 10 of 10. Really? Yep. When I, We tried to watch it Friday night. The first, I mean, the first episode is like two and a half hours long. And it's really interesting, the beginning. But the thing is, it is essentially, if you've ever been in a band practice, what a band practice is or a rehearsal is there's always somebody playing something. Like if I'm talking to Donnie about something and Lance is over there banging on drums. And it's like, yeah. hey, Lance, for a second. And then Brown starts just <laughs> wailing on his guitar. Brown, just for a second. <laughs> Jim and I are trying to figure this last line out. And then it's just, oh, I'm sorry. Then the bassist just starts. Bang. That's what it is. Like it's, it's, just, it's chaos. Like yeah. I, so my junior year in college, one of my roommates was in a band. And they decided to practice at our house a couple of times. Oh, wow. Yeah, you think I like that? Not at all. A lot uh, of, it's a lot did of the lock hit? Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, it was just racket, and there was, a, there was like no like no format, no organization. No, like if you'll go through a song and like whoa, 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 right there. I don't, I didn't hear it right there. Well, right there, we need it. We need we really need to hit this part because this is one of the most important parts of the song. That's how just, bands break up. Oh, because it's our argument constantly. Well, like you always have to be right, don't you? It's not. It's not an E. I swear. <laughs> Nothing. You're on thin ice today, buddy. <laughs> uh, anything else, Rocky? Oh, no, that's it. Oh, that's you got the 7 p.m. on NBC. You got the 89th annual Christmas in Rockefeller Center, which Dunaway thinks is too small. Yeah, they'll like the very small tree, yeah. relatively speaking, to the it's tall buildings. Switch, right? yeah. Yeah. That's just a high a, kick, though, man. Yeah. 
It is a high kick. Yeah. It is a high kick. All right. So that's what the Rockstar is watching, brought to you by our friends at New Life. We appreciate them uh, so much being with us this college football season. Um, I wanted to bring up the exit from Notre Dame from Brian Kelly because he is getting slammed. Um, I don't know if he's getting slammed for one thing that we'll talk about, but one, he's getting slammed from what is reported to be a two-minute to four-minute goodbye to his team. Now, the guy went all the way back from Baton Rouge to South Bend, and I know he didn't do it in a covered wagon, but he went back to meet his team face-to-face after sending him a text the night before, say, hey, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, let's all meet. And there were people blasting him that it was a two-minute goodbye speech, and he didn't take questions and left. Some say it was four minutes. It's 3.38. The video has now leaked. Okay. Ross Dellinger of SI has the video, and it's timed it at 3.38 because nothing is sacred anymore. Yeah, so a player shot the video. Right. It's Well, the video is shot at the floor, so you don't see yeah. Kelly, but you can hear him. Yeah, so, so I read the transcript, and there's nothing more the guy could say. You know, wishes them well, hopes they go on and win the national championship, thinks they're one of the four best teams. Um, I'm paraphrasing here, not word for word, but he says, you know, I've been here 12 years. You come to a point in your life, you want to do a new challenge. We felt like this was an opportunity for me and my family to go to do a new challenge. I mean, how can you blame him for that? I mean, you're not you're you're not committed to a school forever when you take it. That is right. And there is no win in this, by the way. No. Like if Kelly just zoomed him, he would have gotten killed for doing that. He got killed for sending the text when the story started to break. He got killed for not taking questions, making it too short of a speech. You're going to get killed no matter what. Yeah. And and I I think you just can't, Lance, if you're one of these coaches, you just can't expect that you're going to leave on good terms. It's just not going to happen that way. Yeah, I mean, I mean there's it's, always going to be hurt feelings. What, what more could this guy do except nothing. do what he did? I mean, you saw what happened with Lincoln Riley, where Trader was was put up on like monuments exactly. throughout the campus in Norman. The so, guy yeah, did nothing right. but win games for you. You're just Jim. You're just if you're Brian Kelly, and, and I guess you think, boy, I'm going to be able to leave on good terms. I did so much for this university. Yep. These people actually like me. I recruited all these kids. I coached my tail off for them. I did everything I could for them. And that's what he says, Brown. They're going to get pissed, man. That's just the only way it's going to go. I recruited virtually everybody in this room. I want to be able to tell you face-to-face while we're at where we're at. That is very simply that the past 12 years have been the most incredible 12 years of my life for me and my family being here at Notre Dame. It's magical what we've been able to build with the most incredible student athletes, the ones that I'm looking at right now. Doesn't matter. You could have said, and by the way, on the way out the door, you're getting stacks of $100,000 each, and everybody would have still gotten upset. It's yep. just the way these things are going to go. Jack's going to hire you an unbelievable coach. You yep. guys are one of the four best teams. I hope you get in the playoffs. You you deserve it to be a national champion. But me and my family but just it, felt like it was time for us to go there. And then, and listen, we never really consider ourselves journalists. For sure, no. We are, we're Inter- on, we're on the fringe of being media members or not media media members. We're certainly entertainers, or at least yeah, we, try we, to be. we claim to be entertainers. That's what we try for. For a guy, and I didn't even know this had happened until Brown pointed it out this morning. For a guy to have a photo, Brown, tell me that story again, and for our viewers and listeners. So this was the um, sports photographer at the South Bend Tribune. Do we have the picture? Um, I can. Forrester s- has the picture. It's okay. It, okay. Yeah. 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 So we, this we is the photo. for those that are on video with us. This is the photo. This is the sports photographer of the South Bend Tribune. Can you tell what Brian Kelly is about to say? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this guy says, "I have been holding this photo for eight years. I've been sitting on this photo, and now that he's going, I'm going to release it." This was Brian Kelly on the sideline after a Tommy Reese fumble in the red zone. And this guy, <laughs> I mean, he positions this like he's releasing. Yeah, like uh, t- Donald Trump making out with Kim Kardashian in yeah. a nightclub. Yes. I mean, if I was not going to go there, but if, yeah, if that's you're what this sitting on an eight-year yeah. photo of something like that, okay, yeah. you've got a bombshell. What in the hell is yeah, this? I, yeah. I mean, if he's skinny if, dipping with a mascot, maybe you've said on that since 2013. If you can lip read, which most of us can, when you're watching a game. This guy is nonstop. Yeah. Yeah. And he's flipping a bird. Well, the, the most iconic rock and roll picture of all time is Johnny Cash flipping double birds. That's right. Two Eli Manning did double on Monday Night Football he did. this year. T-Bob mm-hmm. Bear did it to us, and you guys loved it. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, this is, first of all, you just assume that's what that is. I mean, he could have been doing, you know, it could have been mid-motion or something like that. I mean, I don't know that he's even firing a bird off at Tommy Reese. Well, the fact that he's about to drop the F-bomb, too, at the same time. I mean, I've stubbed my toe and shot a bird at the... 
at the coffee table before. No, don't you feel like an idiot, though, yeah. when you react that way? And you're like, why am I hitting an uh, inanimate uh, object? Yeah, nothing to do. Cuss it all the time. I do, too. I do. I do. I feel, I feel really awkward no, he thought talking he had a, to the dogs like they understand me. This guy thought he had a complete gotcha photo. Let me see if I can find the tweet to read you the tweet, the way the guy positioned it. Oh, I mean, please, guy. GTF. It's going to be in Time, Time uh, Magazine, right? Yeah. I mean, you would have thought. I mean, like, that's going to... He's just... Oh. I mean, there are no words for this. So, and listen, I am not a Brian Kelly fan, and now he's going to LSU, where he's going to play Alabama yeah. every year and Auburn every year, unless they potted okay. up something differently. Here he is. Brian Kelly photo I shot on the sidelines during the November 2, 2013 Notre Dame Navy football game. Yes, it's real. <laughs> No, really? The gesture was made on his own sideline immediately following a Tommy Reese turnover in the red zone. I've kept it under wraps for eight years now. Yes, it's real. Is that a tweet? Yes. What were his? What were the comments to that? Oh, there's Lance. There are uh, quote tw- just the quote tweets. Just give us a few. 2019 quote tweets. Um, here are a few. Uh, so we've now reached a point where journalists brag about censoring news until it's no longer inconvenient for them to publish That's it, which right. is my big takeaway here, by the way. You're kind of telling on yourself. Um, <laughs> uh, when he was our coach, I'm going to uh, cover it up for him. Yeah. But now he's not our coach. Here you go. Here's him flipping a bird. Uh, one guy said, my six-year-old saw this photo. Now he's hooked on heroin. Thank you for tweeting. <laughs> 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 um, some guy from down in Louisiana says, I'm glad Mr. Kelly's middle finger works. He'll need it on I-10 and I-12. <laughs> Josh says, if anything, this will make LSU fans love him more. Thanks. Uh, yeah, that, was, that was our Go timeline Tigers. this morning when we were talking about it. They were like, is there, a fa- is there a fan base that's going to embrace a guy who flips the bird more? t Bob Bear, that's my coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, that's I, I mean, what a dummy. Welcome to the SEC. It's ridiculous. Hey, by the way, Brian Kelly's going to see a lot of those walking past the student section in Tuscaloosa and Auburn. I'll let him lose a few games at Tiger Stadium and he'll see it from his own fans. <laughs> he'll see it from that 80-year-old grandmother <laughs> yes. that moons the visiting team no at Tiger Stadium. No doubt. Please, give me a break. Yeah, that's why a, Notre Dame's not in the conference. The, the photographer at the South Beach oh, Review? They're soft. They're soft, I man. love the guy. He thought he had the ultimate gotcha photo. People are just roasting this guy on Twitter now. Yeah, I mean, really, his boss should come to him and say, listen, how many other photos are you are fired? Yeah. How I mean, many why, other photos are you holding back? If you thought this was damning to the coach, why were you sitting on it? Your job should be to publish this. Yeah, I should know that you have a, a photo you think now, is, is newsworthy. Now, now, I'm going to tell you, you're going to look like an idiot thinking this is a damning photo. You yeah. could get a picture on any sideline on any Saturday of that. Oh, well, yeah. It's ridiculous. Yep. I mean, thank God they don't have an audio. Must have been a boring game. Was it 2013 Navy Notre Dame? Yeah. Yeah, that's the photo. Do you guys, I mean, you guys remember the reaction to the Bo Davis audio? I can't believe he talked to his players like that. Like, you've never even been on a sideline, much less a locker room. In the SEC, everybody's like, yeah. 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 You saw our timeline that day. Everyone was like, oh, but we need him at Auburn right now to get our guys fired up. Yeah. Or in Tuscaloosa to get our guys fired up. Coach O-Line in Tuscaloosa. Yeah. All right. Uh, Part of our show today being brought to you by Rockstar's guy. Adam Mestre, who was by the office yesterday. It was good to see Adam. Talk to him about how his his uh, business cranked up. Rockstar, tell us more about Adam. We saw him yesterday. <laughs> Mestre. Adam is a third-generation realtor born and raised in Birmingham, so he knows the area. You want a guy like Adam to find a house for you? Why rent when you can buy? Thinking of selling your house in the spring? You need to act now because January is one of the busiest months when it comes to listing homes. Call Adam Mestre for a free home evaluation at 205-422-0589 or visit mdrealtyllc.com. At MD Realty, we make house calls. It was a tight game. 38-34, Notre Dame survived. Well, that's that why he's shooting there. birds at Tommy Reese. He that's almost right. lost the game. And you know, it really impacted Tommy's life. He and Coach haven't spoken. Oh, wait. It's his athletic director. I mean, his uh, offensive, offensive coordinator. coordinator. And he's trying to get Tommy to go with him to Baton Rouge. On the promise that what? He'll make him the <laughs> highest paid offensive coordinator in college football. Yes. So that bird impacted his life. It's a middle finger. Get a life. Back in a moment. Follow Dunaway on Twitter and Instagram at Jim Dunaway. 
Sometimes it's not just losing the weight, but keeping the weight off. I'm Jim Dunaway, and I told you how Weight of Wellness helped save my life. They helped me lose 45 pounds. They got my blood pressure and cholesterol in check. And now they're helping me keep that weight off throughout the football and holiday season. You can see more online at aplanforme.com, aplanforme.com. Every plan is individually designed. No contracts, no sign-up fees, and you get a free consultation. See it all on the website, aplanforme.com. Weight of Wellness, your journey to healthy living. This is for the men who never settle, the ones who miss the fairway all day and still pull out the big stick, the type of guys who will always prefer to be behind the grill than in front of the camera, and the men who never let their friends forget about a high school nickname. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Who wants to settle for a single TV? With more TVs, bigger screens, plus our fabulous scenic views, there's more to watch at Twin Peaks. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Hydrolive Therapy. Boost your immune system today with Hydrolive Therapy. IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. Mention next round at checkout. Save 20% off any service at the Birmingham and Tuscaloosa locations. If you're unable to make it to Hydrolive, a nurse can actually come to your home or office. You can visit them online today. Hydrolivetherapy.com. Hydrolive Therapy open seven days a week. Homewood 9 to 6 in Tuscaloosa. Lusa 10 to 6. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Vulcan Tire and Automotive. Four great locations right here in Birmingham. The next time you need one or a set of new tires, do yourself a favor. Stop by, see the guys at Vulcan Tire and Auto. Locally owned and operated with a wide selection of the top tire brands available. The guys there can get you set and get you safely back out on the road. Again, four locations in Birmingham, Hoover, Moody, Trustful, and Gardendale. For more information, you can always visit them online. Check them out today, VulcanTireAndAuto.com. Banking isn't just about your money. It's about you. It's about getting help with what you need when you need it. AmFirst was founded for members just like you, and they've been putting those members first since 1936. Putting you first means services that grow and change with the times to serve you better. Now, every bank has their own app, but that's just it. It's theirs, not yours. The AmFirst app was made for you, so it's easy to pay bills, deposit checks, or transfer money to friends and family from anywhere. You can even customize the app, which means you can personalize your dashboard, create usage alerts, and redeem points for rewards that will make you feel like the number one priority you are. And you can do it all on your own time. So what are you waiting for? Get the app made for you from AmFirst. Visit any AmFirst location or AmFirst.org today. That's AmFirst.org, America's first federal credit union. Federally insured by the NCUA. The best food with the best sports is at Walk-On Sports Bistro, and they're now hiring for the Stadium Trace location near the Hoover Met. Walk-Ons has top pay for experienced kitchen staff, servers, bartenders, bussers, hostesses, and to-go cashiers. And yes, health benefits are available. Go by the new Walk-Ons location at Stadium Trace in Hoover and apply today. Hiring is happening on-site 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. This is your chance to join the championship team at Walk-Ons Sports Bistro in Hoover. Hey, if you're looking for a local agent to handle all of your insurance needs, you need to call my good friend James Anthony at the James Anthony Agency, 205-985-7717. Hoover, Birmingham, Northport, and Tuscaloosa has been in business over 20 years. The James Anthony Agency. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Gutter Cap. Gutter Cap's that patented aluminum cover system that fits over most existing gutters to keep out debris and eliminate that gutter cleaning. It's back with a lifetime warranty. Almost 20-year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off that dangerous ladder forever. 45% off the retail price now if you call. GutterCapBirmingham.com. Call my good friend Chris Stewart now, 205-823-2212. Cap it, don't snap it, it's Gutter Cap. This hour of the next round is presented by Excalibur Services, a name you can now trust for all your plumbing needs. Call 205-718-8688 for all your residential HVAC, electrical, and now plumbing needs. Excalibur Services, Alabama License 15214. She's a good-hearted woman love with a good time and man does it match it sort of sounds like that is this an original by you this is an original what's Maybe the name of that song that's for some reason i named it butter churn you know what when we came butter over butter churns 
When we left radio, down. when we left radio to do this, I really thought I would miss the bumper music. That is the one thing I have not even missed. For those that don't know, copyright issues prevent us from using commercial music. So Rockstar has done a ton of originals. Yeah, but it would be nice if we were able to. Well, it would be, it. but I have not even thought one time well, about it. Well, what I do miss, not necessarily the bumpers, the fact that we could listen to the new Adele song and right. comment about it. Or so, when okay. we're making fun of an old yes. song, you can bring it yeah, up. Yeah, because we had a, a fun segment that we did years ago, Rocky, where you would play like the top five songs from different genres yeah. on the, on the, oh, yeah. the, the charts. The Billboard Talk, I could yeah. find like the top ten in South Korea. Yep. Other things we can't do in just a second, but first, our uh, Precision Sports update um, brought to you by Precision Sports. We'll give you an update on some injuries for the NFL coming this weekend. Uh, yeah, so are you suffering from that old sports injury that won't go away? Maybe you tweaked a joint. Being a weekend warrior, Precision has nine locations in the Birmingham metro area to get your life back on track, including the new Southern Orthopedic Sports Medicine Associates location in Jasper. Your health can't wait. Call 855-219-6200 or visit them online Precision Sports Ortho. First, first of all, Baylor in the Big 12 championship game, before we get to NFL, Bohannon hamstring, a little concern for him going into that game for Baylor. Yeah, backups look pretty good. And not that Bohannon's a great quarterback. It's more about Abram Smith running the football, playing great defense. Kirby Smart says Kyrus Jackson likely to play for Georgia against Alabama. Of course, Brian Robinson's the big story for Alabama, muscular problems, the way it's officially being called. And we'll see how he's treated up and see if it's a game-time decision, if he's a go on Saturday. In the NFL, some big injuries. Uh, Debo Samuels, groin, limited, may not play this weekend for the 49ers. They've been red hot. Yeah, and I brought up the fact that I think he's one of the most underrated players in the league yesterday. He does everything in Shanahan's offense. And Randall Cobb, same injury, groin injury, and he has been just tremendous this year when they've needed him in Green Bay. Good pickup. Um, Valdez Scantling and now Lazard are going to have to step it up. Obviously, you've still got Devontae Adams. Great news about Darren Waller. It's only an IT band strain, nothing serious there, so he may be limited this week but they don't expect him to miss much if any time at all and Dalvin Cook not as bad as expected with his shoulder at most he's going to miss two weeks could not miss anything depending on how he's treated this week Minnesota right in the playoff mix though bad loss this past weekend to San Francisco but that's that's a good team but back to Waller everybody in that division is in the thick of it. I mean, yeah. that whole division is separated by one game. Yeah. So having him back, it's huge for the, if they can get him back for the and He's so big, uh, so it's such a big part of what they yeah. do offensively. And we got a good one on Thursday night to kick off the week. We got uh, seven and four Dallas, five and six New Orleans in New Orleans. Well, nobody's playing for Dallas, though, are they? Uh, to or start coaching. on Thursday, well, nobody's coaching. Yeah. We'll see who's playing. Well, a lot of people say McCarthy doesn't do that anyway. Yeah. It's a great opportunity for Kellen or more there. So that's our precision sports uh, injury update there today. Okay. We've talked a little bit about uh, Brian Kelly, and we'll hear from him a little bit coming up just after 12 noon after we talk to Todd Furman. Barrett Jones on the SEC Championship coming up at the top of the hour. Um, Yesterday, Mark Stoops gets the contract extension at Kentucky, which eliminates him from conversation at Oklahoma. Where is Oklahoma's search right now? Uh, Mario Cristobal is a name I'm seeing talked about in – in Norman right now if he's a guy that you you believe one day wants to be back in the SEC is Oklahoma a big enough job to get him back to the SEC seems like a weird fit look I believe I believe Utah is the best team in the Pac-12 I've got a feeling though that Mario Cristobal is about to win another Pac-12 championship they're only a three-point underdog on Friday night. I think they're probably going to win that game for whatever reason in the rematch. To to close the gap, have, as bad as Utah beat them down, you think Oregon's got a chance this week? I wow. Think, I think Oregon probably wins this game. Yeah. Um, With that said, I, I don't know the love for Mario Cristobal. I think he's a good coach. I don't think he's a great I, coach. I would lance on this one. I but I think Oklahoma's in a bad spot, Brown. I don't know who you actually go out and get. So there was some story I didn't have the energy to dig deep enough into Twitter to figure it out. But Brent Venables, have you seen this? Brent Venables and Dabo Swinney were at a school, I think it was in Kansas, to visit a player that they were recruiting, right? And they have a photo with the player, Dabo, the head coach, the principal, and Brent Venables. And Venables is on the end, and he's got his arm around the guy, and the other arm's hanging down, the arm with his watch on it. And supposedly there are these reports that he was in Norman at a certain time, so all these fans zoomed in on his watch, and they said the school was covering for him or something. There was like some sort of conspiracy based on what time was on his actual watch in this photo. I don't know why Venables would be lying about it. He's an assistant coach. Yeah. A lot more fun would be 
um, if it was an Apple Watch and they zoomed in, it was like a call coming in from <laughs> Castiglione. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you, um, do you roll the dice with Venables, though, over Cristobal? I don't if know. I could get Cristobal, I think I would get him for the recruiting. Venables, oh, I don't Venables know what kind of head coach he's going to be. He's got to be a good recruiter, though, right? He's been with Dabo. I yeah. would think with Clemson, yeah. yeah. Um, interesting. Interesting where Oklahoma goes. Right now, Oklahoma and Notre Dame are the big jobs that are, are out there looking and, uh, and searching. We'll see if Miami comes open, but according to reports – Manny Diaz is going to keep his job. Basketball tonight down at Bartow, ETSU, East Tennessee State and UAB, 630 down there. Auburn tonight, a good team. UCF's in town. This is when I wish Auburn Arena was about an hour and 10 minutes closer to where we are than, than where it is. Right. Because I'd go watch this game tonight, UCF and Auburn. That would make it Silicaga Arena. Yeah, it would. But 7 o'clock tonight down at Auburn Arena, if you are down in the area and want to go to that. You know, this you Auburn, can go early and go to Acre again. This this <laughs> Auburn team, man, I, I can't do it. It'd be worth too, a drive. I mean, it is such good food. It I is. eat too much. This Auburn team's doing this without Alan Flanagan, yeah. who's not back from the Achilles injury, still targeting mid of this month. Uh, but Bruce Pearl yesterday hinted it may just be a little bit later, but they expect to have him back for SEC and tournament play. And this team is really good, and they don't even have Allen and Flanagan. It's going to be a beast when they get Flanagan back. I forgot back. who it was, but it was a college basketball well-respected analyst said when they're hitting on all cylinders this year, they've got a really good opportunity of being back in a Final Four three years removed. Yeah. Jabari Smith is the SEC freshman of the week, and that guy's a stud. Real deal. I mean, probably, well, I mean, there's a couple of guys in the mix, but some people believe he will be the top SEC guy in the NBA draft. But let me tell you, highest – Taken SEC player. Yeah, I watched him the other night, though, and um, Kessler is going to be a handful for a lot of teams. Walker Kessler changes the game for Auburn. He I may mean, not be their best player. To, to, to get a North Carolina guy like that, I yeah. mean, that, that's impressive. But, I mean, he's a legit 6'11", uh, he 7 is, feet. and he's an eraser on the inside. Uh, Sanford wins last night. Bucky's got them 6-1. and one. Uh, Right now, Alabama doesn't play again until they get Gonzaga, number three in the country. Uh, 7 o'clock out in Seattle coming up this Saturday night. So that's your your basketball update. Can't wait to talk to Barry coming up here. Part of our show today being brought to you by the great folks at Greystone Chiropractic. Greystone Chiropractic, Jimmy D, is the place I went to try to get my golf swing looking good, and Lee Goldenberg just got me looking good. Don't you agree? I agree. I look a lot better. You got that uh, spine aligned, which gets the nervous system properly aligned, which affects every cell, tissue, and organ in your body. Go see Dr. Lee Goldenberg at Greystone Chiropractic. Tell him, Brownie said you can help my golf swing and get my back straight. Enjoy a healthier life today. GreystoneChiropractor.com. 205-981-8090. 205-981-8090. GreystoneChiropractor.com, 205-981-8090. Always sunny in Philadelphia. Have you ever watched that show? I do not like it. I've seen it four or five times. We had on the uh, blonde chick. I forgot her name. She yeah. was on years ago. I just personally don't find it funny. Starts year 15 tonight. Always sunny in Philadelphia. A lot of people do find it funny, though. On I've FXX. Never, I never have seen an episode. I do love Danny DeVito. I think he's supposed to be the one oh, who makes awesome. the show. But uh, I've never seen it. I know it's supposed to be really, really good. Never give it a try. Who was the blonde, though, that we had on from the show? Ooh. The blonde actress. I know yeah. who, I knew who you're talking about. We had her on. I don't remember. I've watched one or two episodes, and it seemed like one of them was funny and one of them was really the, weird. They make their – they're showing – during games, they're showing some promos for it. During yeah. one of the – I think it might be the Fox NFL games. Right. And I'll tell you what, man, their promos make it look like a heck of a funny show. Yeah, a lot of improv in yeah. it, I'm told. I like that. Yeah, all right. When we come back, Barrett talks SEC championship in Atlanta. We'll do that next on the uh, next round. Follow the next round on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Next Round Live. Did you tweak your shoulder pulling down the attic ladder? Feel a pop in your elbow working out? Or feeling pain in your knees getting up from the couch at halftime? Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics has nine locations in the Birmingham metro area, affiliated with Brookwood Baptist Health, to get your life back on track. Your health can't wait. Call Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics at 855-219-6200 or visit precisionsportsortho.com. Hey, Vulcan here. A century of reaching for the stars has taught me a lot. For one, your arm gets really stiff, but it is cast iron. For two, the stars not only fell on Alabama, they opened a first bank branch in Homewood with local banking stars and community banking with a five-star rating. Big banks, (laughs) first bank outshines them hands down. (laughs) Hands down, that would be a relief. First bank, now open at 404 Hollywood Boulevard. Member FDIC. 
We've told you about the excellent service you get from Excalibur Services for residential heating, cooling, and electrical problems. Now, you can also depend on Excalibur for all your plumbing needs. Excalibur will perform plumbing services in the same excellent manner as our heating, cooling, and electrical services. Highly trained plumbers now teaming up with highly trained HVAC and electrical service experts. At Excalibur, we have you covered. 205-718-8688. Excalibur Services, Alabama license number 15214. The best food with the best sports is at Walk-On Sports Bistro, and they're now hiring for the Stadium Trace location near the Hoover Met. Walk-On's has top pay for experienced kitchen staff, servers, bartenders, bussers, hostesses, and to-go cashiers. And yes, health benefits are available. Go by the new Walk-On's location at Stadium Trace in Hoover and apply today. Hiring is happening on-site 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. This is your chance to join the championship team at Walk-On's Sports Bistro in Hoover. Sometimes it's not just losing the weight, but keeping the weight off. I'm Jim Dunaway, and I told you how Weight of Wellness helped save my life. They helped me lose 45 pounds. They got my blood pressure and cholesterol in check. And now they're helping me keep that weight off throughout the football and holiday season. You can see more online at aplanforme.com, aplanforme.com. Every plan is individually designed. No contracts, no sign-up fees, and you get a free consultation. See it all on the website, aplanforme.com. Weight of Wellness, your journey to healthy living. Stop by the New York Butcher Shop and pick up the finest in certified Angus Prime Beef steaks and burgers, premium pork chops, ribs, and all-natural chicken cut to order just for you. Their chef-prepared entrees and side dishes are the perfect dinner-to-go choice for your family and are ready to heat at home. With a great selection of fine wines and desserts, the New York Butcher Shop is your one-stop dinner shop. Two locations to serve you, Cahaba Heights and on Highway 119 in Greystone, the New York Butcher Shop. Rare quality, well-done service. The seasons have switched to fall, and it's time for you to change your game day wardrobe with our friends at the Pants Store. For the ladies, all the game day fashion, including body suits and those booties, plus a wide variety of clear purses that you need for every stadium. For the guys, all the game day accessories, Yeti coolers, Yeti cups, sunglasses, plus your game day wear from Cutter and Buck, Antigua, Taylor and Mick, and the perfect game day hat. It's all at the Pants Store, five locations, Crestline, Leeds, Trustville, Tuscaloosa, or Huntsville, and always online at pantsstore.com. Did you know there are many different causes to erectile dysfunction? Causes like a heart condition, diabetes, a reaction to medication, or simply low testosterone. I'm Jim Dunaway, and I'm so glad the Alabama Men's Clinic is right here in Birmingham. They've treated thousands of Alabama men for ED. And listen, men, this is one game you never want to be out of. And that's why the Alabama Men's Clinic staff will find the problem, and some of you will be back in the game the day after your first appointment. Set up that appointment by calling 205-598-7000, 205-598-7000, or go to the website, alabamamensclinic.com. As I told you, there are many reasons you could be having an ED problem, and you want to find out the answer. Most men wait years before they even address the issue with a doctor. Get rid of depression get rid of anxiety, make a new connection with that special person in your life. Again, the number 205-598-7000 or get back in the game at alabamamensclinic.com. ERA King Real Estate is on the move. They've just opened their new state-of-the-art office in Homewood, and they'll be opening new offices in Vestavia and Huntsville in the next few weeks. My friends at ERA King have 52 years of experience. ERA King Real Estate is growing to serve you. Text the word MOVE to 35260. That's M-O-V-E to 35260. ERA King Real Estate, growing to serve you. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. Headlines this hour being brought to you by the University of Montevallo. Montevallo Montevallo.edu to schedule their in-person tour of college of distinction for over a decade now in a 2020 best value school, according to U.S. News and World Report. My school, where I graduated back in the 80s, so to the great Chris Stewart. You hear him on the Alabama broadcast. You can find your dreams at the University of Montevallo. 75 majors, and that list is growing. 21 Division II NCAA scholarship sports there, fully funded, great facilities, including the state's first esports team right there at the University of Montevallo. 
Schedule an in-person tour right now, Montevallo.edu, Montevallo.edu. College football playoff rankings last night, Georgia, Michigan, Alabama, Cincinnati, one through four. Oklahoma State and Notre Dame trying to get into the playoffs. Uh, Mark Stoops' contract extended at Kentucky. He's staying with Big Blue up there. Kyrus Jackson expected to play, according to Kirby Smart, for the Georgia Bulldogs. We'll talk to Barrett about that SEC championship game in a second. And Urban Meyer says he has no interest in Notre Dame or a college job. He's committed to the Jacksonville Jaguars. We just gave you the basketball schedule that includes home games for Auburn and UAB tonight and Samford with a win last night. Those are your headlines. Barrett Jones joins us now, the former Alabama great now with ESPN Radio. He'll be at that Big 12 championship game, 11 o'clock ABC kick. He'll have it on ESPN Radio, Oklahoma State at Baylor. He's on the Pepsi hotline and presented each week by our friends at Gus's World Famous Fried Chicken. What's up, Barrett? How are you? How are we doing, guys? Doing awesome. Doing awesome. Anything happened this week that y'all, you know, got to talk about? I mean, not much news. Uh, Rich Rodriguez took the Jacksonville State job. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, new you, Peanuts Christmas uh, I love how you constantly try to work Jacksonville State into your feed. You're a, you're a loyal fan. Uh, the Jacksonville State University to you, Barrett. Um, Excuse me, I didn't mean to disrespect a yeah. program like that. You were, you were involved in – you know, a drive to win an Iron Bowl at Jordan Hare Stadium. And you saw what Bryce Young had to do Saturday night and the other 10 guys on the field with him. In a, in a hostile environment, in a game with that kind of pressure on it, can you explain to us in layman terms how hard it is to pull something like that off? That was unbelievable. I mean, it was uh, so quick story. I was actually calling the game. Uh, I, I had LSU a and And so – you know, like the the game ended, uh, or really that that last drive started like right during the first quarter, like as as my game was starting. So there was a TV in the booth next to me, and I'm over there calling the game the whole time, like between plays, just over here watching Bryce Young trying to be focused in both worlds. It was very stressful. My pits were sweating. <laughs> uh, a lot going on, but I, I was. Uh, it was unbelievable. I, I just I think the improbability of it to me was. Not just that it was a 98-yard drive, not just, by the way, that there should have never been that much time on the clock because Auburn should have never run out of bounds, uh, but also just because of what had happened earlier in the game. I mean, there was nothing that had happened previously that made you think a 98-yard drive was at all possible. And, you know, even on first and second down, it, it certainly didn't look good. And then finally you get that first first down there on third and 10. Uh, it was it was amazing. It really was. It was uh, uh, the guys that stepped up. I mean, honestly, like, I'm like, who the heck is Brooks? I mean, he's kept me as two two huge catches there, uh, you know, like uh, on that drive. But I, I, you got to give Bryce Young credit. You got to give the offensive line on that drive alone a little bit of credit. Um, I'm not going to give him much credit otherwise. But on that on that drive, I'm going to give him a little bit of credit. It was uh, it was unbelievable that it didn't matter what had happened previously. <laughs> In those moments, uh, those guys stepped up and made plays. And, uh, yeah, I think that drive was probably just because of the situation, because of what, you know, earlier in the game, how they – couldn't move the ball for three quarters. I, I think that was probably an even more improbable drive than the one we pulled off in 2009. Look, I mean, the injuries were, were a story, but the offensive line, mm-hmm. which we've talked to you about, a bigger story. I mean, giving up the seven sacks, five in the first half, they've been awful. I mean, 22 sacks over the last eight games. And, look, you played the position. You played it at a high level. Um, Doug Marone obviously can coach. I know there's a lot of Alabama fans that are upset with him. Nick Saban can recruit. Um, I mean, what do, you, what do you chalk this up to? I mean – we're talking about going into the SEC championship game, and it seems like it's getting worse, not getting better. You're, you're, you're playing around, you're plugging guys in, and nothing's working to this point. Well, it was a low point for sure <laughs> in the first half. I mean, I, my eyes were bleeding. It was uh, it was hard to watch. Uh, there was miscommunication. I mean, the inability to run the football, uh, I mean, just – there's, there's plenty of blame to go around. I mean, I, I thought some of the play calling, to be honest with you, was uh, it, it's you, you got to be aware that you literally can't block anyone at the right tackle position. So, like, let's not just drop back and just expect that it's going to happen. You know what I mean? And that there were a lot of times where I think we put those guys in situations where they had to block man-to-man. I say those guys because I know we had several guys over there. Uh, and, and it, you know, eventually if somebody tells you who they are enough times, <clears throat> you got to believe them. And so I, I thought that just continuing to go empty and and not really have any help, a chip back, whatever over there was an interesting strategy. Um, 
I thought it got better as the game went. I thought Chris Owens was much better. I, I would be shocked if he doesn't start, um, you know, the, the, the SC championship game. But, look, it, it's it, it's everything. It's um, the cohesiveness of the unit. It's not just the right tackle, by the way. There's been mistakes all over the field. Um, it's, uh, you know, just the communication. Uh, and certainly just there are times where guys are just getting whipped, which is not something you're used to seeing where just routinely – in one-on-one uh, guys getting dominated. So, and look, it's, I mean, those, those guys from Auburn are good players, but it's not like they're, uh, are they're Will Anderson or, by the way, I, 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 uh, I, I was thinking as I was watching that Michigan game, I was like, if Alabama plays Michigan in the college ball playoff, I just, I don't, I'm not even sure I want to watch Aiden Hutchinson and we'll do it <laughs> against any of the right tackles for Alabama. That would be, that'd be hard to watch. So yeah, I, it's going to have to find a way to magically get better. I think, Hopefully the the scheme and the play calling around it um, against Georgia uh, will be better, and and we'll figure out well, how to they will figure out how to combat it because it was it was horrible. I mean, it, it just almost. I mean, yeah, like let's let's put things in perspective. This is an offense I've criticized a lot this year, and rightfully so, I think. But I mean, statistically going to the game, they're still like one of the top five offenses in the country. You know, yeah. I mean that's that's the crazy thing is as bad as it's been at times, like they're still putting up some huge numbers and points. Um, so, you know, let's take a zoom out a little bit. It, it hasn't been a complete disaster all year. Uh, there, there are some things that make you think that, Hey, maybe possibly it could peak at the right time. Yeah. But, but let's put feet on the ground. Let's be realistic. It's not good right now. And no, a lot not. of it is because of the offensive line. You can only do so much. So you, 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 there are things you can do to cover it up, right? To mask it. What, what do you do? Tell us, what do you do if you just assume that the right tackle cannot block the Georgia defense? How do you, in football terms, you know, scheme up and help protect the quarterback in that situation? What are some things to do? One less guy in a route, a running back over there, a tight end, extra big. So tell me what you do. Well, I will say too. I mean, you know, look, coaches are smart. I mean, they they uh, defensive coaches are very smart in that. If you do those kind of things, they can make it really difficult on you. You know, like for example, if they know there's a running back on that side that's there to chip, well, they they can they can blitz the guy who the running back has, and all of a sudden he's gone. You know, uh, and, and so there there certainly are ways to do it. You can chip. You know, the other thing that we never did during my time, and it, it, I know that uh, we did it in the NFL quite a bit. Um, was essentially, you know, you're saying, hey, it's a four down line, which a lot of times it is. You have two D tackles and two DNs. Uh, then you're going to slide it to the right, you know, if, it, if all else is equal. And you're just going to say, hey, we're going to leave the left tackle on the island all day and we're going to slide the center that direction so that, you know, at least the right tackle knows he's got some help on the inside, uh, you know, should that guy make an inside move. Uh, you know, I, I think putting a tight end over there formationally, traditionally that makes it a little bit easier when you have a tight end there. Uh, who can maybe chip on his way out, you know, into a route combination. Um, you know, th- there's certainly other things you can do. And then I would say uh, probably the biggest help to any pass protection is just find a way to run the ball. I mean, that's the thing is that that's exacerbated the situation because the inability to run the ball, there's there's not a whole lot of respect for the run game right now. And so those defensive ends are just getting up field really quickly and, and making it really difficult. So I, I think all, all those things you can, you, you can try and, uh, you know, obviously you want to get as many uh, screens and uh, as many, uh, you know, quick, quick game as you can just to try to get that going. But at some point you're going to have to, you're going to have to block those guys. So, yeah, I think uh, it'll be, it'll be interesting. Barry Jones is with us, former Alabama great now with ESPN Radio. He is on the Pepsi hotline and joins us each week courtesy of Gus's World Famous Fried Chicken, 2201 Second Avenue South. Order right now and uh, grab it. For the family on the way home today, 2201 Second Avenue South in Birmingham, online GusFriedChicken.com. That's GusFriedChicken.com. You've been around Nick Saban a lot. You've played for him. You played for him as a very young player. For him to have Kool-Aid McKinstry on the field as much as he has right now, what does that tell you about how much he thinks this guy can help? Yeah, I, I think, uh, I think look, you know Coach Saban. He, he does not care about how old you are how much play in time the guy ahead of him has, has had. He wants, he wants to win now. That's always been his mentality. He's not afraid to play freshman. So the fact that he has him on the field, you know, means that he feels like he's improved a lot. And he, look, he thought that was on a, on the bright side, some of the, the best defense that uh, Alabama has played maybe all year. And uh, I think he was part of that. So, yeah, I think, I think it's a huge testament and uh, you know, to his confidence in him. And look, I think that the, the messaging to me, 
has been interesting all year from Coach Saban. I, I, I uh, just watching him, I think it's funny. Like that rant he went on the other night, like that to me, that was so anti Saban in so many ways. Uh, but, but continually, everything he says, it seems like he's trying to like build confidence in this team, uh, which, hey, I've always said he's half psychologist, half coach. So he, he clearly knows what the guys need and knows what they need to hear. I certainly didn't hear any of those speeches when we were there uh, that, you know, tell, telling everyone to kind of back off of the players. Um, if he was telling us to pay no attention to what people were saying, you know, the, the opposite essentially of what he said. So, yeah, I, I think uh, his messaging to me has been very interesting all year and I think indicative of what he feels like this team needs. And that's some confidence. And, uh, you know, the defense played with a lot more confidence, uh, at least against Auburn. Uh, Barrett, there's a lot of people that believe Brian Robinson will not be able to go in this, in this matchup on Saturday. And if that's the case, one healthy scholarship running back, and that's Trey Sanders. Um, Andy Reid is one of the best play callers in football, former offensive lineman. So let's make you an offensive coordinator in this situation. If you're going against the Georgia defense, giving up less than seven points per game, you've got a bad offensive line, you've got Trey Sanders. I mean, how do you even call this game? Yeah, it's a major problem. Uh, it, it's absolutely a huge issue, and uh, that that might be the biggest issue really uh, going into the game. You know, I'll let me let me just back up and I'll say if if I feel like I'm being doom and gloom here, I, there I think there there could be some silver linings. Um, you know, I, I I still have it stuck in my head as great as Georgia is, and as much as I've watched them play this year, you know, against other teams, uh, the reality is first of all, let me just say, complete respect for Georgia. They're obviously the best team in the country right now, most consistent, deserve to be number one. I don't think anyone's arguing that. Uh, but, you know, their best win this year is over Clemson, right? And, and they haven't really played a team that's really tested them. Uh, and, and in that Clemson game, which I called, it was essentially a three-to-three -three game, right? I mean, it was it, they had a pick six there in the second half that made it 10-3. to three. And so I still have that image a little bit stuck in my head. Uh, and I guess what I'm saying is I'm not sure that Georgia is quite as – uh, I think they're definitely the best team in the country. I'm just not sure they're like, you know, we, we've had some like all time great teams over the past decade. Like I think Alabama last year, 2019 LSU, like I'm not ready to say Georgia is like unbeatable, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and, and I, you know, going into the year, like I, they're one of the big concerns for Georgia was their secondary. And if you look back at their schedule, they really haven't played a team that has challenged them uh, in the secondary. They haven't really played an off passing offense or really a wide receiver group, anything resembling, what they're going to face against Alabama. So I think there is silver lining. I, I think it's going to be hard to run the ball against Georgia anyway. Uh, and so uh, I, I think they're going to have to come out and find a way to protect. Yes, you got to mix in some run game, but I, I think we're going to see them throw it a bunch and uh, try to find uh, some matchups in the secondary that are favorable. Now, the, the trick to all this uh, is that you got to find a way to protect, and that's the problem. And that's been the problem for everyone, by the way, is that I, I can't even get to see how other their secondary really is when I watch tape because – you know, by the time the quarterback's third foot hits the ground, one of those animals are back in the backfield, you know, just uh, tear that front seven is unbelievable. Uh, they're, they're so dominant, as dominant as I've seen in college football in a long time. So, you know, that's a silver lining. And then I, I think offensively, and I'm, I'm just going off into a question you didn't even ask me here, but, you know, that's what great analysts do. Is <laughs> the, uh, I think offensively, you know, it, it's a pretty good matchup for Alabama, I guess defensively for Alabama, because I think what they, what they really – have done well. And I thought there was some great interior play from the defensive lineman of Alabama in that in the iron bowl game. So I do think that it's, it's a, it's the strength for what, uh, what they do well for Alabama against the strength of what Georgia does well in running the football. So there are some silver linings of how potentially could they win and it could be a low scoring game where the defense plays really well, stops the run of Georgia. I still don't fully believe in the playmakers that Georgia they had some good players, but no, no, just game wreckers. Uh, which typically is is what Alabama struggles against, kind of those really good man-to-man -man coverage type receivers that are hard to cover. Um, so it could be a good matchup, low-scoring game. You get a few, few big plays from wide receivers. Who knows? Now, if I was a gambling man, which I'm not, I'm not saying I would certainly back that up with any money. I'm just trying to paint a silver line. And you asked what the game plan was. Maybe that's the game plan. Yeah. Well, let me, let me recap, if you just joined us, what Barry just said. He said, basically, the boat is sinking. There's a fire in the engine room. There are no lifeboats. There are sharks in the water, but Alabama's pretty good swimmers. <laughs> That's basically what he just said. There's a chance we can outswim swim the sharks. That's a good recap. Wow. Well, no, no one knows how to describe a, a glass half empty better than you, Tim. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's what good analysts do. Hey, but, yeah, but, but, that's right. Barry, you're not that's a gambler, right. but gun to head, would you play Georgia minus six and a half or Bama plus six and a half? 
I play Georgia gun to head. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I still think just based on what this team has done to all the teams, I mean, they've destroyed everyone that's been on the field. Like the, uh, I looked, I saw a stat the other day. It was, I think, no, I'm, I'm trying to remember the exact numbers. I think it was Georgia has given up 83 points this year. And the next closest team is Clemson with 180. So more than double, uh, you know, the, the next opponent as far as what they've allowed. I mean, it's, it's crazy how good this defense has been all year. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard for me. And, I mean, there's not a whole lot that when you go back and turn on that Iron Bowl tape that gives you, you know, a, a ton of confidence. But, hey, go turn on the Arkansas tape offensively and then go turn on the Iron Bowl tape defensively and maybe you can piece together some confidence. How about that? I, I did want to ask you this. So LSU and USC got their guys. So did Florida and Billy Napier. Nobody's talking about Billy Napier. He was an offensive analyst when you were there. He didn't take a full-time coaching position on field until the year after you were gone. How well do you know Billy Napier, and how well of a job do you think he'll do at Florida? First of all, LT, I compliment your research for for knowing that. Impressive. Um, the uh, I, I love Billy Napier. I think he's fantastic. Uh, the players always really liked him and connected with him. He, he always did a good job, and I always knew. You know, there's some analysts that come through, and you're kind of like, eh, that guy probably will never amount to much. Somebody probably just got him this job. And those other guys were like, oh, that, that guy's legit. Like, he's going to be a good coach one day. And Coach Napier was always one of those guys that I always really liked. And so I think he's going to be fantastic. Um, you know, I think he's going to bring a lot of energy. Uh, I think he understands recruiting, which, which is going to be a big change from Dan Mullen, who I think had really grown tired of recruiting. I talked about that a little bit before it even happened on here, uh, just of how, how I, I, know, I think he never liked recruiting. And it's just become more important where now you have to re-recruit every year. And so uh, I think he'll be a good fit. You know, Brian Kelly, that was uh, – I was a little bit of a surprise to me. I didn't see that coming. Uh, but I, I think he'll be really successful. I think LSU is the best job of the whole bunch. I think it's – I mean, you're talking about three coaches in the last 20 years who found a way to win a national championship. I think that's outstanding. Uh, I, I I was shocked by Lincoln Riley uh, that he went to uh, USC. That one – I thought he was going to go to LSU. When I was there, they were telling us it was almost a done deal. You know, I, I've tried to make sense over that one. I, I always say, I, I tweeted this out, I don't really buy the whole narrative that Lincoln's scared of the SEC, doesn't want to compete against the SEC. I, I My best guess is that Lincoln just said, hey, I'm 30-something years old. My wife is too. We got young kids. Let's go live in Manhattan Beach for the next 10 years instead of living in Oklahoma. Um, so it, it's definitely been interesting. And, and, and unlike other cycles, other than Billy Napier, who obviously is coming from a small school to a big school, the other moves have all been, you know, somewhat lateral. So now we have these other behemoth jobs available, you know, in Oklahoma and in Notre Dame. And uh, I have no idea how this is going to pan out. I've had no idea from the start. You know, there's Luke Fickle is a name you're still hearing a lot. And um, I, I don't know how it's going to pan out, but it's going to be wild. And then I mean, we don't have enough time to talk about all this, but the domino effect from the players to me is going to be so interesting to watch. It's going to be open season on all these schools and, guys transferring and moving around and figuring out where they want to be. It's, it's going to be just nuts to me. Uh, you know, NIL deals getting lined up for Caleb Williams. I'm already hearing, you know, rumors of that. And uh, it's, it's the wild, wild west right now. And we're kind of, this is our first full cycle of having NIL transfer rule, you know, all lined up with these coaches leaving. And I think it's going to be a major ripple effect throughout college football. All right, he is Barry Jones, the former Alabama great presented each week by our friends at Gus's Fried Chicken. Don't forget GusFriedChicken.com, GusFriedChicken.com, or 2201 2nd Avenue South. Great idea for holiday parties, office parties. Just take some home for dinner tonight for the family. Barrett, enjoy the Big 12 Championship, Oklahoma State Baylor, 11 o'clock ESPN Radio. We'll talk to you next week. Will do, guys. Thanks a lot. All right, buddy. Thank you. Barry Jones with us on the Pepsi Hotline. All right. Trash is just around the corner. Part of our show being brought to you by our friends at Hemphill Services. Yes. When something is not running right, flowing right, draining right, or flushing right, disaster can strike at any moment. Recently experienced that a few months ago. Rocky did the same. First thing we did was call Hemphill Services. Adam, Chad, Andrew, the team at Hemphill, the ones we trust to fix it right, fix it the first time, always at a fair price for all of your plumbing, cooling, and heating needs. Trust the name. Birmingham has trusted since 1954. That is Hemphill Services. Call now, 205-229-2090. Congratulations to UAB defensive end Alex Wright. He's the Conference USA Defensive Player of the Year, according to Pro Football Focus. Seven sacks, a lot of tackles for losses, dominating performance there. UAB, of course, going to a bowl game. Some people projecting them in Orlando for the Cure Bowl, some to the Camellia Bowl in Montgomery, other bowl projections out there. Can't wait till Sunday to find out where UAB goes bowling. We'll go to trash on the next round.
Follow LT on Twitter at the Lance Taylor. What are some signs that you may have a low testosterone problem? Is your energy down? Have your workouts not been the same? Do you have problems sleeping? All of these or one of these could be a sign of a low testosterone issue. Whatever the challenge, the Alabama Men's Clinic has a solution for you. I'd invite you to come by the Homewood location, get a medical consultation and some blood work. And if you're medically advised and you start your low T treatments that day in the office, your visit is free. Well, the next question would be this. How do I set up the appointment? You can do it two ways. One, by calling 205-598-7000. That's 205-598-7000. Or you can go to the website, alabamamensclinic.com. There's other signs that you could have a low testosterone problem, like a change in your libido, or maybe you're suffering from depression. Whatever is keeping you from feeling 100%, it's time you find out the answer. Again, call the number, 205 598 7000 or go online to alabamamensclinic.com. Banking is not just about your money. It's about you. It's about getting help with what you need when you need it. Brian Brown here for the next round. AmFirst was founded for members like you, and they've been putting those members first since 1936. Putting you first means service that grows and changes with the times to serve you better. Now every bank has their own app, but that's just it. It's theirs, not yours. The AmFirst app was made for you. So it's easy to pay bills, deposit checks, or transfer money to friends and family from anywhere. It's even customizable, which means you can personalize your dashboard, create usage alerts, and redeem points for rewards that will make you feel like the number one priority you are. And you can do it all on your own time. So what are you waiting for? Get the app made for you from AmFirst. Visit any AmFirst location or AmFirst.org today. America's first federal credit union is federally insured by the NCUA. The holidays are here and so is the chance to put some extra money in your pocket by getting a cash out refinance with Mortgage Right. Whether it's college tuition, home improvement, or a one-way ticket to the North Pole, the refinance experts at Mortgage Right can help you use your home equity to get cash fast. They are committed to bringing you an easier and faster cash out refinance experience. So visit MortgageRight.com slash TNR to cash out before the holidays end. NMLS 2239 Equal Housing Lender. Iron Mountain Construction is an industrial services company with over 500 people available for your situation and needs. They are committed to safely supporting the operations of your facility through their execution of quality-driven maintenance services and on-time, on-budget small capital construction work. And they offer support with plumbers, pipe fitters, millwrights, iron workers, laborers, operators, and more. Call the office of Iron Mountain Construction, 205 781 one 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 seven zero for Jeremy Purvis and Iron Mountain Construction. The tradition of giving fine art continues with the Daniel A. Moore Alabama Christmas Gift Pack, including the new 2022 Crimson and White Fine Art Calendar, featuring some of the most honored former Alabama players. One collegiate classic fine art print signed by the artist, and your choice of four Daniel A. Moore beverage mugs, all for only $79, a $115 value. Order now at DanielMoreArt.com or by calling 1-800-735-2787. Takauchi is a world leader in innovation for compact mini excavators, track loaders, and skid steers, and they continue to dominate the market today in design, capability, and power with so many attachment possibilities ranging from milling heads to heavy-duty brush grapples to landscape buckets. Versatility is unmatched. Contact Cowan Equipment today to experience this firsthand on your job site. From short and long-term rental options, flexible rent-to-own or straight purchase options, parts and stock and service you can depend on, let Cowan show you what it means to have a trusted partner who will keep you ahead of the game. Give them a call today, 1-800-239-2694, or visit them online, go to Cowan.com. Again, where you can always expect extra effort when it comes to your heavy equipment needs, call our friends at Cowan, the name you have trusted for decades. That phone number, 1-800-239-2694, or visit them online, Cowan.com. On the field or in the office, you need a solid team and a strong game plan if you want to beat the competition. Xerox Business Solutions Southeast offers everything from printers to managed IT services, as well as hybrid work hardware solutions through our titanium partnership with Dell. 
For championship level office solutions, get Xerox Business Solutions Southeast into your starting lineup. Visit xbssoutheast.com slash win. Touchdown! A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. LTDMB, Rockstar, Forrester, and Lunsford all with you today as we continue to roll on. Don't forget, we're live in Atlanta on Friday, the show that will go on the road with your teams forever and ever. Friday, we're there in Atlanta for the SEC Championship. And then we got specialty shows uh, Friday night and Saturday morning. We're over at Twin Peaks in Buckhead. So come by and see us 9 to 1 Central. So that's 10 to 2 Eastern. And then 4 to 6 Central or 5 to 7 Eastern. Come by and uh, have some great food and uh, great cocktails with our friends at Twin Peaks. And we'll uh, enjoy some SEC football talk happening over there this weekend. The point spread still around 6.5? Uh, yeah. Six and a half. Last, last check I saw. Seven and a half on our state bet. We're about to do uh, trash in a second. Part of our show being brought to you by the wonderful folks at Champy's World Famous Chicken right there on 119 in Alabaster. They bring you this hour every, every day on the show. And we appreciate Sterling and his crew so much. Whether you got a big bus of people or just you by yourself, great place for lunch or dinner. They'll take care of you. They'll do your catering for you. They'll handle your tailgates. They'll handle your basketball, football parties, holiday parties, whatever. Uh, those wonderful Mississippi recipe, Delta recipe, tamales, the chicken on a stick, the great fried chicken plates with all the southern sides, the poor boys, and a lot more. It's Champy's World Famous Chicken, champyschicken.com, right there on Highway 119 in Alabaster. Tonight's the start of the state high school playoffs down at Protective Stadium. You get Central Phoenix City 13-0 against 12-1 Thompson for the 7A state championship. Uh, Rockstar, look at Lunsford real quick. Is that 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock for that kick tonight? That got an affirmative. Yeah, affirmative there. 7 o'clock tonight for that one down there at Protective Stadium if you want to see some great high school football this evening. All right, trash time. LT's ready to go. Hit the big button, Rockstar. The big one, Rocky. There you go. The big one. After the break, we're going to interview Eric Wyhenmayer, who climbed the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. But he's gay. I mean, he's gay. Excuse me. He's blind. LT's trash is presented by Mortgage Right. Mortgages done the right way. This is such a weird mistake. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not gay. He's blind. My uh, bad. I, honest to goodness, right tackle of Alabama had a horrible day. Right. And when I sat and watched them try to block uh, on Saturday, I thought of that open right there. Seriously? Yeah, it's like every every which way he turned was the wrong mistake. And it kept getting <laughs> oh, worse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, so no, I was supposed no, to block He's blind. I don't want to work here anymore. I can't. Oh, sorry. Uh, trash brought to you by our friends at Mortgage Right. If you're ready to make some major money moves, but your bank account is at a standstill, well, our friends at Mortgage Right, they can help you keep the ball rolling with a cash out refinance, pay off debt, renovate your home, or even buy yourself that pinball machine that's been sitting in your eBay cart. Whatever needs funding in your future, if you have the home equity aid to back it up with refinancing experts nationwide, Mortgage Right will guide you through the process with ease. Make your home work for you by visiting mortgageright.com slash TNR today. NMLS 2239 Equal Housing Lender. So it is December. I don't know if everyone listening and watching realizes that we're in the month of December. December 1, man. My uh, youngest daughter's birthday is December 20th. She came downstairs today after she woke up and announced to the entire family, welcome to my birthday month. Oh, okay, good uh, for her. I wanted to say it's Jesus's too. All right. Yeah. That's uh, also my daughter's birthday month as well. Okay. And it's yours. my birthday month right. as well. Yeah. well. A lot of people were born in December. A lot of yeah. Sagittarius's. I wouldn't want to have a December birthday. I had no choice. Yeah, I know you don't have a choice. <laughs> they didn't ask me. Here's the second choice, though. I, I'm not. I'm not going out. <laughs> so, no. I'll wait till January. <laughs> Offbeat holidays in December. All right. December fifth is bathtub party day. Oh, all right. Sneaks up on you every year, but it is worth it. Boy, I've not been at a bathtub in quite a while. Party? Yeah. yeah. I had that conversation the other day. You know why? Because we were. Uh, I had the kids in the car, and Ryan Seacrest. We had it on uh, Kiss FM or whatever. 
and uh, or kiss um, whatever it is on XM Sirius. Right, right. Eleven, maybe. Yeah. yeah. You listen to it's, a little it's bit. It's now twelve. Is they it 12? they okay. change it every now and then, just so you have to reset. He was talking about his bath bombs. Yeah. And I'm oh, like, my little one loves those things. Well, I, yeah, I get that, but I'm like, but I he's can't a grown man. Remember the That's last time I was I sitting in a tub with a bath bomb. So kind of went around the car and asked, and yeah. it'd been a long time since people had taken baths. Well, I'll be. I have not been in a bathtub with someone else since <clears throat> the infamous okay. Butterfly Gap trip. Yeah. yeah. When we first started our what show, Jim's it, wife for yeah, those. Was it the it. chocolate, the razor? The movie selection. What went wrong in Butterfly? Well, you Gap? gave me one of the movies that yeah. we watched. What um, was it? It, it was, was the um, game, right? The game with Michael Douglas. And he accidentally did the crying game rather than the game. No, no, no. <laughs> but no, you actually gave me. You own it, don't you? Did I you do. give yeah, it to yeah, me? Yeah. yeah, you gave it to me to take. David Fincher, great film. Brown yeah, hated. It really was. A, I did. It, I did not like it. Yeah. It was a great film. No, I had a shaving accident where did I ended she, up an was ingrown. She, was she shaving you? No, I, I pre-shaved oh, okay. and I ended up with an ingrown hair. Did you oil up too? No, no, not on that show. Not for the tub. <laughs> we may have lotioned oh, up afterwards. It's oil uh, and water, Lance. But I mean, that was that was early. That was 2010 or 11. Sure, it's been that long since yeah. I've shared a bathtub. Back when you had the swimmer body, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, here's more offbeat holidays in December. December 8th is National Brownie Day. I love brownies. I, did, I never eat them, though, but I like My them. My wife made some when we were at the Iron Ball. I came home at the Iron Ball, and there were brownies sitting on the table. Uh, perfect relationship. Everybody in my house liked the gooey center. I only like the edges, oh, so it's, it is heaven in my I, house. I'm the opposite. I'm the gooey center, and everybody else likes the edges. Oh, uh, see. That's why Jen and I would have been a horrible pair. Yeah, yeah. that's that's yeah. the reason. The that's brownie. among the reasons, yeah. yes. And that she's married to Ryan. Hey, back to Butterfly Gap, December 16th, National Chocolate Covered Anything Day. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> 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 well, we got some chocolate. One of our great sponsors uh, brought us some chocolate-covered peanut brittle. I've never our done that before. Our friends at Xerox. Yeah, yeah it's Xerox. Very folks. good, yeah. It is delicious. Yeah, shout down. out to Ben. Uh, December 18th, Roast a Suckling Pig Day. You know what a suckling pig is, right? Uh, it's a baby pig? Yeah. Well, why are we roasting the baby pigs? Well, most of the day for it. Yeah. December 23rd, Festivus. For the rest of us. That's right. Festivus for the rest of us. And December 26th, I'm not going to celebrate National Candy Cane Day. I hate them. You don't like candy canes? You know the candy canes I like are the ones that have the different colors. They're like, fruit, like fruit candy Like yeah. fruit stripe. Like, I don't yeah. mind that because that's candy. just like a piece of hard yeah, candy. Yeah, but the peppermint candy canes, oh, not yeah. a big fan. Mm-mm. Yeah. They made a, made a fortune Those over the Those other ones though. taste like uh, fruit stripe, though. You like the gum? Yeah. But, but the flavor lasts a lot longer. It does. Uh, we got eight people in Ireland have been arrested in connection with a violent brawl at a cemetery. Mm. Now, seven men, one woman. I bet, boy, I bet she's rough as a corn cob. Were detained on suspicion of violent disorder during the fight, which broke out during a funeral on September 22nd. Mm. Wow. It is understood the violence stemmed from an ongoing dispute between two families in the area. Members of both families have been attending separate funerals in the cemetery before the violence. Now, five men, two women were injured during the incident, taken to the university hospital. One was even airlifted. Now, several attendees received apparent stab injuries. Who brings a knife to a funeral? And how was it an apparent stab? Yeah, well, that's apparent. Yeah, it's, I don't know. And at least one man was struck by a wooden cross that had been taken from the grave. Wow. Ooh, boy, you are Yeah, messing. I got a little carried away. <laughs> yeah. Is you're that mad. site religious? Yeah. yeah, you're messing yeah. with it right there, my friend. Yeah. You're lucky you're not in the grave. Unless Re- that's Dracula, right? <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace indeed, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, you're right. Who brings a knife to the funeral? Do you pack heat at a funeral? Well, Multiple a lot of people, people. Yeah, did. a lot of people keep knives in their pockets at all times. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. I've got a couple of. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're, they're kind I don't of, know. Yeah, I don't hard chargers, but they ca- they carry the knife. It's the kind of blade or whatever. What's the kind where all you see is the little clip on the outside of their pocket? Yeah. I don't know what knives those are. A uh, bizarre video shows a Cambodian woman living in marital bliss with a cow, which she is convinced is her dead husband reincarnated. This oh. makes sense. Yeah, some of you believe in that stuff. Mm-hmm. Kim Hong, 74, who lives in the northeast province of Cambodia, said she married it because it kissed her, following her upstairs as well, as had the same character as her dead spouse. Wait a minute. You're Fred <laughs> down the street. He, You're not always, he always followed me upstairs. Yep. Yep. Now, the marriage ceremony is not shown on the video, but villagers who attended it claimed it took place. Now, Hong can be seen leading the cow to her one-storied house. She then gives it a proper bath, makes a comfy bed for it with pillows, the same ones used by her late husband, Toll, who died the previous year. The grieving wife said her husband's soul came to her when the calf licked her hair 
neck, and then kissed her, and then followed her upstairs. How in the hell can a cow get upstairs? Well, How can a big get upstairs stairwell. when she lives in a one bed, a one story house? Mm, that's a great question right there, too. Now, hang one on to say, quote, I believe the calf is my husband because whatever he does, it is exactly the same way as my husband did when he was alive. Including Lord. pooping? <laughs> Lays on his Lord. ass. <laughs> Will you uh, wash them dishes? Yeah. Must gonna rain. My hubby's out in the yard laying on his stomach. Now the lay there? woman yeah. has forbidden her children from selling the cow after her death and instead has to take care of their father. Boy, they're going to have that thing cut to pieces. Yeah. Have you guys ever studied reincarnation? No. I mean, I don't personally believe in it, but I'm just curious. Do you ever get out of the cycle? Like, are you limited? Do Only you if that guy tries? stabs you with a wooden cross. Yeah, something like that. I just wonder, like, but are you I just you find it my... would be really interesting that our first cycle of reincarnation is... An animal. Yeah, well, no. as an animal, and then would be as a human. Yeah. And then if we're reincarnated as a coyote, the yeah, inability but... to communicate. Yeah, and then am I a fly? Does it just keep going? Yeah, I don't and think... Do you really it... want to yeah. be a fly? Yeah, no. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I'd rather just have lights out. Yeah. Yeah, you I'd say be... that now. I don't want to be a fly down away. That fly sucks. Yeah. yeah, but maybe you're a fly that time. You're, maybe you cycle back around and finally uh, you're Eagle. Ariana Grande's husband. Not everybody can be Jeff Goldberg in the fly. Did you ever see that? Gold one? Blue. Yes. Gold Seth Rundle. Yes. Gold Seth. Blue. Jeff, the Goldbergs, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jeff Garland. Uh, uh, here are some unspoken rules everyone lives by. You do not initiate small talks with someone with their headphones on. That is right. God. You yeah, don't. It's harder now, though, with the earbuds. Uh, I just can't even tell. I was about to say that. In my house... You know, since we're in the townhome, I don't have my space, so I'm always with the earbuds in. And my I will space. see my six, 17 year old walking by me and his mouth's moving. I know I'm the only one in the room, so I'll pull it out. And he's like, Did you not hear what I said? And I was like, uh, No, I had these no. I'm, going to university of, I'm going to University of Toronto. Yeah. Tell Mechie I got in. <laughs> was he yelling, Dad, the meatloaf? <laughs> Dad, the meatloaf. Uh, another unspoken rule everyone lives by, you don't microwave fish in the break room at work. Oh, gosh, you know, somebody did that in our old place of business. Did, did people really microwave fish? Uh, like, somebody did it. Reheat it. Yeah. yeah. Somebody did it From up there one night. day. Yikes. Mm. And the way that place was wired... You you got the air from like the right. the break room came yeah. into our old in studio. Our old studio and it smelled like woo. So somehow hot fish. it just yeah it was hot fish coming through the vents. You're like oh, another awful. unspoken rule everyone lives by when using a stud finder you must first point it at yourself and go beep. That's right. <laughs> oh, it, <went> off. <laughs> it works. Another one when using tongs you must always click them together a couple of times. That is so true. You I do that. Do it, yeah, hundred percent. I do that. Uh, another one, you don't get a bless you after sneeze number three. I try to wait till somebody yeah, do too. the they cycles do the double over. Because yeah. yeah. I think the majority of people do the double sneeze, don't well, they? Well, I'm a single sneezer. I'm a single. I'm, I'm a not. double. But my, I'm a, I'm a two, two sneezer. My brother-in-law does like rapid fire, like, <laughs> like that. So you have to wait for so him. So you now know to wait. That's right. And then the final unspoken rule everyone lives by in a long, awkward hallway as you walk towards someone and they walk towards you, you don't make eye contact or oh. make any kind of greeting till you're about 10 to 15 Yo, feet apart. we've got a super long hallway here yeah. outside at, our studio. At least 200 yards. Yeah, and you can go from one end to the other and you're like, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. When do I yeah. say something? When do I make eye contact? It is awkward. I give them this down the hallway. I'm always like... <laughs> He called, it, he called the for the slider. What the hell is that guy doing? <laughs> Here are the best comedies according to Ranker.com of all time. I like some of these and some I don't. Right. Number 10, My Cousin Vinny. Very good. Yeah. Fantastic. How's that 10? So funny. Number 9, Trading Places. Very That's good. good. Yeah. Very good. It was on the other night. Yep. Number 8, The Naked Gun. I like it. The first one? Yes. I mean, they got worse as they went, but the first one was fantastic. Well, they all good, but the first yeah. one was awesome. Yeah. Uh, number seven, Caddyshack. Uh, I, terrific. I, I'm not a fan. I, I liked it a lot more as a kid. I still think it's good, but I think, I, it's, I think it's overrated. No, I think right it's now, hilarious. Right now, you need to invert the list. I'd, I'd almost go yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7 in my ranking so far. It'd uh, be 1, 2, 3, 4 instead. Oh, so you like, you like My Cousin Vinny better than Caddyshack. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, My Cousin Vinny's very funny. Uh, number six, Young Frankenstein. I haven't I've seen never it. never seen that. Is that oh, Peter yeah. Boyle? Yeah, Peter Boyle. Uh, yeah. Marty Gene Feldman. Wilder. Yeah. yeah. Marty Feldman. Yeah. Marty Feldman had books. some, uh, some uh, Tom Ritter eyes, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He <laughs> <laughs> very good. Doesn't belong in this list right now. Uh, number five, Fantastic Office Space. Love yeah, it. It's a very good movie. Love yep. it. Uh, number four, watched it uh, the other night for Thanksgiving. Best Thanksgiving film, in my opinion, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Yep, that's yeah. a funny one. Fantastic. I think it's uh, John Hughes' second best behind The Breakfast Club, uh, which is not on this list. Number three is Christmas Vacation. Terrific. Oh, one of my terrific. favorites of all time. Yeah, yep. My opinion, very overrated. You, you've never liked it. Uh, number two, Blazing Saddles. I don't know if we're allowed to say that movie's funny. Oh, um, yeah. 
Yeah, it did not age well. Yeah, it's still funny. It is funny. I think could Mel Brooks had a lot of Larry David in him. Oh yeah. Could Larry David get away with making something like Blazing Saddles? He's gotten away with a lot this season on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Boy, that, yeah. that one episode we talked about. But yeah. when Blazing Saddles was made, he was... 1974, by the way. He was being ironic with the way it was... You know, oh, much yeah. like Archie no, Bunker. Yeah, all in the family. Ar- all in the yeah. family and Archie Bunker. Were no, yeah. it, was, right. it was a satire, no a doubt. A lot of those jokes were written by Richard Pryor. He was supposed right. to play the main role. Right. right. He would have been a good sheriff. Yeah. He would have been. Uh, and number one, the greatest comedy of all time, according to Ranker.com. Again, this is a different... You got to like this kind of comedy. I think it's funny. I'm just not like belly laughing all the time. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yeah. From 1975. Very funny. Very funny. Um, but boy, my cousin Vinny should be higher up that yeah, list. I'd right almost there. have a number one. Yeah, me too. All right. That is Trash Today brought to you by. Hey, the holidays are here. And so is the chance to put some extra money in your pocket by getting a cash out refinance with Mortgage Right, whether it's college tuition, home improvements, or a one way ticket to the North Pole. The refinance experts at Mortgage Right can help you use your home equity to get cash fast. They're committed to bringing you easier and faster cash out refi experience. So visit mortgagerightcom slash TNR to cash out before the holidays in NMLS 2239 equal housing lender. Uh, Jay says, I'm usually at least three sneezes. Back to the conversation about baths and showers. Brooks says, to quote Schmidt from New Girl on baths, I don't want to soak in my own testicle tea. Oh my. That is the debate about baths, you know. I feel like I'm... Soaking them on filth. I've never Stanley it. from the office loves that in his novels. Any time, I don't know about you guys. Any time I've taken a bath and it's been years, I get immediately from the bath and get in the shower. Oh, oh I, I see. That, that just seems yeah. superfluous to me. Well, I mean, I think you can relax in a bath yeah. if you have. But you, you know, need to clean in the shower. Yeah, if yeah. you have uh, your bath bomb, I guess, and yeah. some candles, and you just want to hang out, but you got to shower. You just want to yeah. hang out. <laughs> you, you soak and then you get clean. I'm right. just saying. Hey, yeah. it's in the Farmfolio chat room. If you're worried about market volatility, let Farmfolio show you how your investment can turn into cash flowing farmland property. See more at farmfolio.net. Follow Brownie on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan Brown Live. Hello, Vulcan here. Can we talk? Sure, I'm the biggest thing in Birmingham, being 56 feet tall, but big isn't always better. It's what you're big on. Like the great community banking at First Bank's new financial center in Homewood. Their reputation for customer service towers. Bank where you stand tall. Without birds perching on your head. No, no. They're building a nest. First Bank. Now open at 404 Hollywood Boulevard. Member FDIC. Fans of Twin Peaks, make sure you stay up to date by signing up for their e-club. Stay up to date on all things Twin Peaks and score free stuff. Signing up is easy. Just visit TwinPeaksRestaurant.com backslash Peaks dash club to get started today. Hear that? That's the plumpest, juiciest hot dogs you've ever seen getting their grill on. But we both know what'll make it sound even better. Oh yeah, it's a Pepsi to go with your hot dog. Because when you're chomping on America's favorite meal, relish, mustard, and onions perfectly blending into a crescendo of flavor, there's only one thing that makes everything about that moment better. A cold, refreshing Pepsi. See what I mean? It's like music to my ears. Hot dogs. Better with Pepsi. That's what I like. Ah. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. I'm absolutely loving my Alfa Romeo Stelvio that I've been in for months now and right now. You can get up to $3,500 bonus cash plus 1.9% financing for 72 months on the all-new 2021 Alfa Romeo Julia's and the Stelvio's in Alfa Romeo of Birmingham. Come experience the passion and performance of Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo USA of Birmingham.com, 1837 Grants Mill Road, exit 27, right off of I-459. There are few things in life more important than getting a good night's sleep. Ryan Brown here from the next round. I learned that after going to Sleep Outfitters and getting my sleep outfitting. What is an outfitting, you might ask? Well, I simply went to the Sleep Outfitters off Highway 280, sat down and answered just a few short questions, and in moments, they had me laying on a mattress in the store so I could pick it out myself. The delivery was so easy, they set it up right there in my home, and I have an amazing night's sleep every night, and my life is better because of it. You can get that same night's sleep by finding a location at sleepoutfitters.com. And right now, you could win a $1,000 MasterCard gift card from Sleep Outfitters. This is a special sweepstakes, and it is just for our listeners. So go to sleepoutfitters.com forward slash Ryan to enter. That's sleepoutfitters.com 
slash Ryan. This is exclusive to the next round audience, so go try to win. Discover more about Sleep Outfitters and how they can help you complete your personal sleep profile, and you can start sleeping better too, and you can sleep with a $1,000 MasterCard gift card in your pocket now. Sleepoutfitters.com slash Ryan. Hey, for the best pizza in Birmingham for lunch or dinner, make it Slice. Go see the Bajaya Brothers, Jeff, Jason, and Chris. Slice Pizza and Brew is as local as you can get from the ingredients that go into every pizza to the beer on tap. Two great locations, Lakeview and Vestavia. Hello, I'm J.L. Shea, and four generations of Shea's have run our business in the same spot in downtown Homewood. People ask me from time to time why we do what we do. I can tell you that it's just not all about the clothes. Although we are a little obsessive about the brands we bring into our store. No, we do what we do because of people just like you. And through all these years, I've learned one critical lesson. The most important part of a man's wardrobe is fit. When your clothes fit, they feel like part of you. Not just something you put on in the morning. You move more easily. You feel more confident. And fit is not an accident or a matter of luck. It shows whether you're buying a made as your suit a jacket off the rack, or a pair of jeans. We're going to ensure that the fit is perfectly you. Come see us at Shea's. I promise you'll notice a difference. That's Shea's in downtown Homewood, where we have been since 1922. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about one of our favorite places for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is Hamburger Heaven since 1982. Hamburger Heaven has been serving Birmingham's best hamburgers, cheeseburgers, french fries, hand-spun milkshakes, and sandwiches made fresh to order. All of their ingredients are fresh and prepared daily. This includes their beef, always fresh, never frozen, hand patted each and every day. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, visit any of the four locations, Highway 280, Irondale, Gardendale, and Homewood. I don't know if there's anybody having more fun than Luke Fickle these days. You'll see his celebration from the locker room. We'll talk a little Luke Fickle in just a second. Todd Furman at the top of the hour. Later this afternoon, I'm going to be stopping by to see our friends at the Alabama Men's Clinic. And I'll ask you this question right now. Have you noticed something different in your workouts lately? Not getting the same results? Is your energy down? Uh, Your libido has changed maybe over the years. Um, You're not sleeping as well. As we get older, our testosterone level changes. When you have low testosterone, all of that and a lot more can be impacted. Simple solution at Alabama Men's Clinic, and you can get a great deal from them right now. If you go by there and you get a medical consultation with the doctors at Alabama Men's Clinic, get some blood work done, and if they medically advise you to start your low T treatments that day in the office, your first visit is free. You can set up an appointment and find out more details about that and what a low testosterone treatment entails by calling 205-598-7000. Listen, just ask some questions. Go by there and find out how it can change your life. 205-598-7000 or go online to alabamamensclinic.com. There are a lot of uh, side effects to having low testosterone. One of those is depression. Um, And a lot of people in America deal with depression, especially at a certain age. That sometimes can be fixed by just correcting your testosterone level. Don't wait. Get your life back. Call 205-598-7000 or alabamamensclinic.com. You deserve to be living your best life, alabamamensclinic.com. To the locker room, Cincinnati uh, stays unbeaten. They get a win this past week against East Carolina. Look at Luke Fickle celebrate here in the locker room. Pop it up, Rockstar. Hit that thing. Look at this. Pulling them out. Well, that's a lot of faith in that bar. I mean, yeah. if that's like a gas line or something like that. <laughs> yeah. play, play, it blows the whole locker room up. <laughs> hey, we ain't got to worry about Cincinnati <laughs> anymore. Right. The yeah. committee like, was pulling uh, for that. Yeah. He looks like Adam Sandler and uh, Ben Affleck. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you Start, go. Started over again. Oh, now now everybody's on the roof. Oh, everybody's gosh. on the roof. Started over from the beginning. Wait, well, I need, to, I need it to be on camera when you start. It started over again, Rocky. The the expression you can leave it up just leave it up it's it's okay we uh, we all know we're rewinding and seeing it yeah celebration there from Luke Fickle uh, guys excited Cincinnati he's in a tough spot right if Oklahoma wanted him or Notre Dame wanted him he's got this little problem of the fact that they're going to be in the college football playoffs uh, did yeah. not bother brian kelly one bit but look we didn't know how this works behind the scenes his reps can take care of this 
if they truly want Luke Fickle, here's the deal. We're going to negotiate this without Luke. Luke will take the job, but he's got a job to finish. He has brought this program way too far. His focus is 100% on this. We're representing him. We'll work out all the details. We're not even going to bother him with it. But if you want him to be his coach, off record, he will do that. Got to keep this thing quiet. But but we are, we've are we got to move this early signing period. We've got to move it because that is where all of this has been fast forward. And when is it, Brown? Is it December 6th or is well, it like the, next Wednesday, right? Yeah, I think so. The tw- is that the 12th? Next Whatever Tuesday is, yeah. or Wednesday. I think yeah, it's, something like that. It's I very close. I think it's like next week. We're right? knocking on the door. So it's too quick. Uh, the early signing period should be before the season starts. And then we have the normal signing period in February. It should be like, you well, know, I, August 1st. They don't want that, Jim, because the, before the season starts is almost the only downtime these guys get. What little downtime that is. And that just eats up all their downtime. I don't think the coaches would ever want it right before the season starts. I think they'd rather have it now. Uh, it's it's. I, I don't disagree with what 12, you're saying. 12, 15. So it's coming up shortly. Yeah. After, so we're two weeks away from today. Two yeah. weeks away from today, from National Signing Day. Now, I'm Luke Fickle. And if Notre Dame wants me, I've, I'm obligated to coach these guys here. I'm obligated to coach these guys here. If we're going to have an early signing period, forget all that stuff. It needs to be in the summer sometimes. It needs to be before the season starts. And then the season is played, we finish the playoffs, and then we have another signing period. It cannot stay where it is. Well, I don't disagree with you. I do think Oklahoma and both Notre Dame will wait until Sunday to make a decision. Because Sunday you'll know everything you need to know about Luke Fickle. Well, you can know it Saturday if they lose to Houston. Then immediately you can name him your head coach because season's pretty much over for Cincinnati. But, and even Sunday if they win, Brown, they could still be left out of the 14th yeah. playoff and then Luke Fickle could take this. This early signing period has accelerated how quickly coaches get fired and how quickly coaches get hired. Yeah. No. The, I mean, that's the, other, that's the other side of this, whereas coaches probably hate it right here. Brian Kelly loves it right here because he had a lot of leverage over LSU because of this signing day. Yeah, LSU you, had to make that about they, quick. Get, they get fired quicker, like a lot more in season firings. That'll continue to grow because yeah. you've got to fire a guy so you can have a guy as soon as it possibly can at the end of the season so they can have some kind of signing. That's class. right because now you used to you could wait to the end of the year fire them and the new guy had until February to get this turned around. Part of our show, as always, brought to you by our friends at Champy's Chicken this hour. Champy'sChicken.com, Highway 119 in Alabaster. Swing by today for lunch or dinner. Tell Sterling and the crew that you, we told you to stop by. You'll absolutely love it. I guarantee it. it's one of those meals that you'll want to go back time and time again when you're in the area. Highway 119 in Alabaster. A couple of Cowan Equipment poll questions out from yesterday and out today. A new one out. Brownie, update us on the poll questions. You just sent one out. What was the one you just sent out about? Uh, if you're an Alabama fan... Yeah, using or selling your SEC championship game tickets. Dunaway and Lance said, no way you guys use those. I didn't say all no. of you. We no. were just saying no. the crowd's Dunaway going to be 70-30. 70-30. Hey, Dunaway and Lance said, it's going to be like yeah. those FedEx packages. Yeah. You're going to find and them in a ravine. We know another one of my characteristics you're doing right now. You brought up about 70-30. Alabama yeah. fans think they're going to lose that game. Yeah. Right. Uh, that poll is just out, so I, I want to hold off on the oh, yeah. uh, announcement. Hey, yes, it was 50-50 right now. Barry Jones gunned ahead. Who would he take? Uh, Georgia. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Barry should have said I would kick you in the groin, take your gun, and take Alabama is what he should have said. Um, <laughs> yesterday, though, uh, the, interesting question. Who's, who had the better hire, LSU or, or USC or Florida? It ended up being LSU with Brian Kelly, 43%. USC with uh, Lincoln Riley, 39%. Billy Napier in Florida at 18% is where yeah. that ended up. For a while, I kept looking at it throughout the evening. It was around 41, 41, 42, 40 most of the night. So a pretty even split there. But LSU ends up winning out. We'll get – Brian Kelly coming up after we talk to Todd Furman. We'll listen in a little bit. He's about to be introduced at LSU at the top of the hour. That's our Cowan Equipment poll questions. Hey, if you're having a hard time finding that new plastic on the seat piece of heavy equipment, check out Cowan Equipment's rental fleet hit list for a wide range of well-maintained equipment from the rental fleet. For sale now, visit cowan.com slash featured used equipment or call 800-239-COWAN for more information. All right, so up next, Todd Furman with all the games going on. He'll join us from Vegas, and then we'll listen in to Brian Kelly being introduced as the head coach down in Baton Rouge in the next round. Follow Dunaway on Twitter and Instagram at Jim Dunaway. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about one of our favorite places for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is Hamburger Heaven since 1982. Hamburger Heaven has been serving Birmingham's best hamburgers, cheeseburgers, french fries, hand-spun milkshakes, and sandwiches made fresh to order. 
All of their ingredients are fresh and prepared daily. This includes their beef, always fresh, never frozen, hand patted each and every day. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, visit any of the four locations, Highway 280, Irondale, Gardendale, and Homewood. Cardinal Roofing would like to inform you of a few cardinal rules for roofing. Shingle roofs should be replaced every 10 to 15 years. Damage from storms may be covered by insurance. Leaks are typical where vent pipes come through the roof or in a valley where two slopes come together. But the most important cardinal rule is to always call Cardinal Roofing for all your roofing needs. Cardinal Roofing is your home for financing one-day jobs and more than 500 five-star reviews. 205-900-ROOF. That's 205-900-7663. Mention the next round and get $100 off your next roof replacement. Hey, Lance Taylor, with the next round, I want to tell you about our guys at Chorus Smart Secure, local smart home security company in Hoover with over 200 five-star reviews. I made the swap from one of those big security companies to Chorus, and the cameras and automation are awesome. Tell them the next round sent you and receive a free Sonos soundbar with the purchase of any smart home system. Call Chorus Smart Secure today, 205-920-1020. That's 205-920-1020. It's non-stop gaming action at Birmingham Racecourse Casino. Come play over 900 of the latest and greatest games around, featuring fun bonuses and big jackpots. The Birmingham Racecourse Casino seven days of giveaways is going on right now. We're giving away $100,000. That's right, $100,000 will be given away at Birmingham Racecourse Casino. The more you visit, the more chances you have to win at Birmingham Racecourse Casino. Located at 5459 exit 31 Derby Parkway. Must be 21 or older. Must be present to win. When it came to furnishing the new facilities here at the next round, there was only one call we made, and that was to Richie Hamer at Business Interiors right here in Birmingham. Richie and Business Interiors have a true passion for interiors and the talent to bring the client's vision to life. Through their vast selection of great designer furniture, Richie and BI will stop at nothing to make the experience great for the client. Repeat clients trust Richie and Business Interiors because he does what he says and the guys will deliver on their promises. Leave it to Richie and Business Interiors to incorporate creativity into every space in your corporate setting. To set up an appointment, call Richie today. 205-837-2497. That's 205-837-2497. Or just go visit Richie at the BI Showroom today. They're located 2309 5th Avenue South in Birmingham. Again, the entire studio's here at the next round, furnished by our friends at Business Interiors. Go see them today, 5th Avenue South in Birmingham. What's new at Beef O'Brady's this holiday season? A new location. Beef O'Brady's just opened a new location at Brook Highlands Plaza on Highway 280. A great happy hour, food specials every Monday through Thursday, and great food and sports all week long. Open seven days a week with more than 22 televisions and the Sunday ticket. It is your place to unwind, relax, and watch your favorite team play. Beef O'Brady's in Hoover, Helena, and now in Brook Highlands Plaza on Highway 280. Beef O'Brady's. Good food, good sports. Boy Frank 796 to Mike. In school, I thought I might want to be a lawyer or a therapist. <laughs> Mom always said I could talk to anyone. But being cooped up in an office all day didn't really appeal to me. And then I found a job working as a deputy in Shelby County. Now I spend my days helping people, sometimes on the worst days of their life. Nearly always, they just want someone to listen. And I've always been good at that. Plus, it pays great. Plenty of time off, great benefits, and each day is a new challenge, and I never stop talking <laughs> or smiling. If a flexible work schedule, a take-home car, paid vacations, a gym at work, and 51000 plus a year to start sounds good to you, maybe you should think about a career as a deputy in Shelby County, Alabama. Change your life. Change your world. Look us up on Indeed.com and on Insta. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. In the Farmfolio chat room, Steven says college football starts its offseason before its postseason. That's stupid. That is true. On the early signing period and the coaching carousel and all that. 
Um, we'll hear from Todd Furman in just a second on all the big games happening championship weekend and a little NFL as well. This hour, or at least the headlines, being brought to you by our friends at Bromberg's. Hey, family owned and operated since 1836, Bromberg's established that solid reputation as a fine purveyor of quality diamonds as well as jewelry, timepieces, and gifts. If you're in the market to pop the question this holiday season, make sure you go see the diamond experts. That is our friends at Bromberg's, two great locations, Mountain Brook at the Summit. You can also shop online right now. Go to Bromberg's.com. Mark Stoops, contract extended at Kentucky. Urban Meyer, no interest in a college football job at this time. <clears throat> Manny Diaz, likely to keep it, keep his job at Miami. And Brian Kelly has arrived in Baton Rouge. He'll be introduced momentarily inside Tiger Stadium in the Bill Lawton room there at the stadium. Uh, we'll jump in and listen to some of that coming up after we talk to Todd Furman. I thought you said the Bill Walton room. The Bill Walton room. I was trying, I was trying to figure out why Bill Walton had a room in, in, in I thought that would be Pistol Pete room. Yeah, Baton Rouge. It is Bill Lawton. Furman is with Outkick and also BetTheBoardPodcast.com. He's on the Pepsi Hotline. Todd Furman, what's up, man? How are you? I'm doing very well this morning, gentlemen. How are you boys holding up? Doing great. Thanks a lot. This uh, SEC championship game, I think the first time we started asking you about it, you thought it would be around three. It has done nothing but climb since that time, and it finally hit the market much higher than three. Uh, where do you think the game will actually go off? Yeah, the more data points you have and you realize some of Alabama's struggles, odds makers' hands were forced with this particular number to keep driving it further with close calls against the likes of LSU, Arkansas, and Auburn down the stretch. And here we sit with that number sitting six, six and a half, depending on the shop. I think you're going to get some books that cater more to recreational bettors that may go as high as seven to try and see if they can get a bet back on the underdog. From an X's and O's standpoint, of course, the biggest question, and it's not telling Alabama fans anything they don't already know, can their offensive line hold up in the trenches against this Georgia defensive front that isn't overly complex, but it's loaded with four- and five-star athletes there? I think the real matchup, though, that will determine who ultimately wins and covers, what is this Georgia offense? offense led by Stetson Bennett look like against an Alabama defense that's kind of flown under the radar for stretches because so much of the attention is paid to Bryce Young and company you know Furman typically I'm a guy that won't bet a money line um, and you know if it's over four or five I just really don't take those shots but if it's around three sometimes I'll just play the dog outright is this a situation where I think Alabama's plus 200 on the money line if you're going to play Bama would you take a shot at just taking a, a live dog well, I mean, for me, when it comes to betting, if I'm going to take an underdog in both the NFL and college, I'm always going to have a little bit uh, in terms of money line value and exposure. So you get a game like North Texas, for example, last week in the land, it can offset a lot of your other missteps throughout the season. I'm not going to have a position on this game, but I can understand why people may want to take a shot on Alabama. It's going to be uncharted territory as far as Nick Saban catching this many points against a program that he's really had ownership of in the last six meetings. And the other narrative that's starting to creep into some of the dialogue, and I've talked to some folks in the industry, they're trying to figure out if you're going to get a Georgia team that's as desperate to make a statement and get a win here as Alabama, who knows a loss probably removes them from the college playoff discussion, where Georgia would more or less have a mulligan, even if they stubbed their toe on Saturday. I'm more interested in the total. Um, you know, who wins the game may be already a foregone conclusion. Uh, do you see this under a 50 or is it over a 50? It's always a fast track at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, so it's tricky to go under, but for me, that's the only way to look. I think you're talking about an Alabama defense that's a little bit underrated. We know how stout Georgia can be there. The one concern I do have, though, will Georgia and Todd Munkin be able and willing to break tendency early? Could we see a scenario where they allow Stetson Bennett to throw early to set up the run? And then when you look at an under bet, you always want two teams that can stay committed to the ground game with Alabama, some major concerns, if they're even going to try and run run the ball at all so that would be the only hesitation but you're not going to get me to the window going over the current number 49 and a half Todd Furman is with us he appears on the Pepsi hotline you can see more with him at outkick.com and at outkick on Twitter also bet the board podcast.com is what you need to download for Furman bet the board podcast.com Oak State and Baylor we've already seen once this year a 10 point game before what has changed in these two teams because and I know you wouldn't set the line at 10 just because we saw this but it's at five and a half right now with Oklahoma State favored I feel like Baylor's a better team now than they were then they definitely are, but I think Oklahoma State is as well. And that number, when we saw the game take place in Stillwater, Oklahoma State scored a late touchdown to extend what was a three-point margin. 
out to 10, they close in that three and a half, four range. So you're already seeing the market give Oklahoma State a lot more credit for their body of work down the stretch than Baylor. The big question with the Bears is what we're going to get from their quarterback position. Will it be Blake Shapin, who I think is going to be the starting quarterback, or could we see Gary Bohannon, who's dealt with a little bit of a hamstring injury? Shapin, more of a pocket passer, although he has shown an ability to take off from the pocket when things break down around him. But the big concern I have with Baylor can they shore up that secondary that almost cost them last week against Texas Tech, where they gave up a few explosive plays over the top? Meanwhile, for Oklahoma State, they're going to do what they've done all season long, and that's sell out to stop the run. If Baylor's not able to establish uh, Smith and Ebner on the ground, do they have a secondary punch? And quite frankly, I like what I've seen from Oklahoma State and Spencer Sanders, but the problem I have here laying the points with Oklahoma State, Mike Gundy referenced it in some of his comments already this week, they're not going to be able to replicate the energy and the effort potentially that they showed against Oklahoma. I like this game under the total a bit. FedEx guy is at the door, Furman. You may need to go get yeah, the door. Yeah, apparently. You know, it's amazing. As you guys know, uh, the girlfriend leaves town, or I should say the fiance leaves town, and I have to deal with the onslaught of Amazon packages. We're <laughs> buying gifts for people I didn't know even existed, but apparently that's how <laughs> things work in a healthy relationship. Hey, so not only has Michigan put themselves in a situation to get into a college football playoff for the first time, um, So they've won a lot of games. They're also covering a a great number. I mean, they're 8-2 against the number this year. And it looks like a situation where laying the 10.5, the public's going to be all over Iowa. Is this one of those lay it or don't play it? It's so interesting because you wonder again about Michigan being able to recreate that same environment, that atmosphere, that emotion that carried them to the outright win against Ohio State last week and arguably the biggest that Coach Harbaugh has been able to accomplish and to even suggest there could be a letdown in a game of this magnitude. It's so hard to quantify. From a number standpoint, I can tell you we made this number closer to two touchdowns. So if you're looking to make a case for Michigan, I understand completely. And the crazy part about this Michigan team that's kind of flown under the radar this year, it's actually been an extremely dynamic offense. They're not relying on the same playmakers week in, week out. I mean, you get Hassan Haskins with five touchdowns in the win against Ohio State. The week before, it's Donovan Edwards catching 10 balls out of the backfield for 170 yards. So when I look at Iowa, this team has been a lot of smoke and mirrors. They really struggle offensively. But we've seen Kirk Ferentz's teams raise their level of play and be very good on the defensive side. As it stands right now, I can't make a case either way. I'm just not sure I want to suffer through three and a half hours of watching Iowa play meaningful football. Uh, (laughs) uh, There's a, a portion of America, and it may include my seat, That'll be cheering for the Houston Cougars this weekend against Cincinnati, just to make it simpler for the selection committee. Does the Cougs have a chance against Cincinnati? I honestly don't think so. When you look at Cincinnati over the last couple of weeks, ever since people said they needed those style points and they struggled against the likes of Tulsa and South Florida, they've reminded us how good they can be defensively. They completely shut down SMU two weeks ago. They were very good on the defensive side of the ball as well in their win in Greenville last week against East Carolina. And when you look at Cincinnati, the way to beat them this year has been actually running the football Unfortunately for Houston, from an EPA standpoint and a lot of other efficiency metrics, they haven't been that stout with Alton McCaskill. I think they're going to get bullied at the line of scrimmage. And when you have a team that relies so heavily on one player, like the Cougars do with Nathaniel Dell and his 70-plus catches, Sauce Gardner could tr- find his way to him, matching up you know, nearly every single offensive snap. I think Desmond Ritter and company do enough offensively, and in a game where I think the defenses can have their way, I actually lean towards the favorite despite the number coming down. I get the feeling Cincinnati's been a little bit undervalued over the last couple of weeks. Todd Furman is with us at the boardpodcast.com. He is also with uh, OutKick, and he is on the Pepsi hotline. I wanted to go Heisman with you, Furman. Um, obviously going into last week, CJ Stroud, you said was a fairly considerable favorite. I think I saw where it flipped back to Bryce Young. How do you evaluate this thing with Stroud sideline and Young with another game here? Yeah, it did indeed move that way. And I might be a little bitter and jaded as someone who's sitting on a 30 to one ticket with CJ Stroud Mm. thinking he got a unfair shake because the defense couldn't do what they needed to. But Bryce Young gets full marks for that incredible drive he put together at Jordan Hare, despite an otherwise uninspiring performance. He's right now the 220 favorite, so you'd have to put up $2.20 to make a dollar. C.J. Stroud right behind him at 9-2. to two. And that's where things start to get interesting with a tandem of players in the next quartet, and Aiden Hutchinson and Kenny 
Pickett, who may have a chance to make another statement game along with Bryce Young over the weekend. Matt Corral and Kenneth Walker have been nice stories, but I don't think there's enough data to support what they're going to do. So I think it's Bryce Young's award to lose. It's just a question of how much luster could be off of him if Georgia were to go out there and absolutely obliterate Alabama this weekend. Hey, completely off the board here. Is it just me or is, is it impossible to handicap the NBA right now? <laughs> the, the NBA is always a little bit more challenging. Typically for me, NBA season doesn't really start until Christmas time. Uh, but the one thing I can say is a lot of these injury moves with players being ruled out, whether it's COVID situations or anything else, have not come home to roost. I think the perfect illustration last night, you see the Lakers end up taking a ton of money against them. They put together a huge second half. And for the NBA, it's so much about identifying those spots and trying to pick five to seven games a week, maybe more so than getting involved in the nightly grind. But it is no doubt the most volatile of the professional sports when you look to try and identify your edge night to night. Um, as we get ready for an NFL weekend, there are some players that won't play for Dallas. Thursday night, we got the Cowboys and the Saints. The Cowboys, I tab- tabbed them as the best team in the NFC a few weeks ago. I think they've lost three or four cents. Where's this Cowboy team? Where's the desperation? Can they win in New Orleans limited? You know, I think it's a great question when you try and figure out what Dallas is going to give you on a week-in, week-out basis. The Thanksgiving game, a little bit more of an anomaly. We know about the countless flags thrown on Anthony Brown in critical third-down situations. The Cowboys clearly were a little bit undermanned without CeeDee Lamb and Amari Cooper, but you begin to wonder what the ground game will look like if Ezekiel Elliott is going to have his workload limited. Going down to New Orleans can always be a tough place to play, but this is a Saints team really desperate to try and find an identity that they haven't at the quarterback position. We know Taysom Hill will take some reps there. Mike McCarthy, of course, won't be calling plays uh, for the Cowboys on the offensive side. It'll fall all on Kellen Moore's shoulders. I like this game under the total a bit, uh, but I still think Dallas is the most talented team in the NFC East. I think they'll ultimately get healthy. And when you're trying to figure out the pecking order in the NFC from top to bottom, for me, it's Tampa number one, Green Bay number two, and then a drop-off. And that drop would include the Arizona Cardinals just because of my skepticism around Cliff Kingsbury in a winner-go-home type scenario in the postseason. All right, BetTheBoardPodcast.com. Outkick at Todd Furman is where you go to follow Furman. Thank you so much for the time, Todd. Always great talking with you. Always a pleasure. And LT, good luck trying to figure out the Rubik's Cube that is the National Basketball <laughs> Staying away from it, man. <laughs> Stay away. Thank you, Furman. Discretion, Take the better source of valor, Jess. I'll talk to you next week. <laughs> See you, Furman, with us on the Pepsi Hotline. Hey, a reminder, for more than a century, Alabama Power has served our state, helping attract business and industry and quality jobs to Alabama. Part of Alabama Power's mission, along with providing safe, reliable, cost-effective energy. Learn more at alabamapower.com slash betteralabama. Alabama Power. Power. For a better Alabama. All right, Brian Kelly, when we come back, he's being introduced down in Baton Rouge, has yet to make it up to the podium, but he is in the room, so they're about to do the introduction. We still have a three and out and our upset alert still to get to today, but we'll jump in to the Brian Kelly News Conference in Baton Rouge next. Follow the next round on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Next Round Live. It's that time of year again. Don't miss Bromberg's storewide free Christmas sale. Get 20% off throughout the store on diamonds and gemstones, designer jewelry, fine timepieces, fabulous giftware, and more. Find gifts from Bromberg's increased inventory of beautiful, timeless jewelry she will adore for a lifetime. And get 20% off during Bromberg's pre Christmas sale Wednesday, December 1st, and Thursday, December 2nd at Mount Brook and the Summit. Make Christmas wishes come true with a silver Bromberg's box under the tree. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Think about this scenario for one moment. You wake up, step on the floor, and you feel water under your feet. You got a leak, you got a problem, I've got the answer. Ryan Brown here from the next round. Dry Tech Water Restoration. They respond quickly and reply within 20 minutes when you call 205-637-0143. They've got crews ready to go at all times, 24-7, and they work for the customer. It's always the number one priority. Your first call isn't the insurance company. It's Dry Tech Water Restoration, 205-637-0143. Banking isn't just about your money, it's about you. It's about getting help with what you need when you need it. AmFirst was founded for members just like you, and they've been putting those members first since 1936. Putting you first means services that grow and change with the times to serve you better. Now, every bank has their own app, but that's just it. It's theirs, not yours. The AmFirst app was made for you, so it's easy to pay bills, 
deposit checks, or transfer money to friends and family from anywhere. You can even customize the app, which means you can personalize your dashboard, create usage alerts, and redeem points for rewards that will make you feel like the number one priority you are. And you can do it all on your own time. So what are you waiting for? Get the app made for you from AmFirst. Visit any AmFirst location or AmFirst.org today. That's AmFirst.org. America's first federal credit union, federally insured by the NCUA. Fall weather is the best time to be on the golf course, and Jerry Pate's design at Timberline will not disappoint. The course is in fantastic condition, and if you don't have time for a round of golf, come use Timberline's TrackMan driving range. You can practice, play games, and play virtual golf all on the practice tee. Come enjoy your day on one of Alabama's top 10 courses you can play. It's Timberline Golf Club. Timberline is easy to get to just off I-65 at exit 228. Book tee times online at TimberlineGC.com. Tee it up at Timberline. Say you had the greatest job in the world, which everyone knows is crafting pumpkin fresh frozen custard desserts at Culver's. Here would be your typical day. Pour farm fresh dairy into the custard maker and run continuously all day. Add real pumpkin puree and pumpkin pie spice. Then craft our pumpkin spice shake or salted caramel pumpkin concrete mixer. Yum! Serve with a great big pumpkin loving smile. Just like that, pumpkin's back at Culver's. But not for long. Welcome to Delicious. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at HydroLive Therapy. Boost your immune system today with HydroLive Therapy. IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. Mention next round at checkout. Save 20% off any service at the Birmingham and Tuscaloosa locations. If you're unable to make it to HydroLive, a nurse can actually come to your home or office. You can visit them online today. HydroLiveTherapy.com. HydroLive Therapy open seven days a week. Homewood 9 to 6 in Tuscaloosa. Calusa 10 to 6. Did you know there are many different causes to erectile dysfunction? Causes like a heart condition, diabetes, a reaction to medication, or simply low testosterone. I'm Jim Dunaway, and I'm so glad the Alabama Men's Clinic is right here in Birmingham. They've treated thousands of Alabama men for ED. And listen, men, this is one game you never want to be out of. And that's why the Alabama Men's Clinic staff will find the problem, and some of you will be back in the game the day after your first appointment. Set up that appointment by calling 205-598-7000, 205-598-7000, or go to the website, alabamamensclinic.com. As I told you, there are many reasons you could be having an ED problem, and you want to find out the answer. Most men wait years before they even address the issue with a doctor. Get rid of depression get rid of anxiety, make a new connection with that special person in your life. Again, the number 205-598-7000 or get back in the game at alabamamensclinic.com. This hour of the next round is presented by Cardinal Roofing, the Cardinal Rule for all your roofing needs. Your home for financing one-day jobs and more than 500 five-star reviews. Call Cardinal Roofing today, 205-900-ROOF, and mention the next round to receive $100 off your next roof replacement. Hey, do you want to become more flexible and more active? Our friends at Stretch Zone Birmingham can help, and they're offering two Black Friday deals you don't want to miss. Visit StretchZoneBham.com or call 205-509-2349 to learn more or book an appointment. Boy, it's like uh, they have invented oil down in Baton Rouge. There are a 1,000 people speaking for Brian Kelly, before Brian Kelly down there. Scott Woodward is up there now doing his victory lap. We've heard from the president, and these are not short speeches. These are long <laughs> speeches, like they're running for re-election. We'll get to Brian Kelly uh, in just a moment down there as he gets introduced as the head coach. But first, let's do our three and out today. It's brought to you by our friends at Vulcan Tires. Brown just saw him this morning. I did. About to go see him again. Pick that vehicle up too, Jimmy D. Yeah, hey, four locations for you. Anything you need, winterized, bumper to bumper, these guys can handle. Brown, I don't know what you got done. Maybe brake pads. New tires, brake pads, and rotors. Lance. Wheel alignment, tires. Somebody I was asking what they wanted for Christmas the other day. They said new tires. So the place we will go is obviously Vulcan Tire and Automotive. For, for more information, VulcanTireAuto.com. First down. I uh, I do need a ride to the Hoover location for one of you two later. Better chance of a 10-point underdog win on Saturday, Iowa or Houston? Houston. 
uh, Iowa. I'm going to lean on that defense and just think uh, maybe that quarterback, Cade McNamara, has the same problems that a lot of people had on early in the season. You turn the ball over a lot to the Hawkeye defense, and that's how you stay in the game a little bit. So I would go Iowa. I will be surprised if either, but I will lean Houston. Wow. That would uh, make it easier for the committee for sure. Second down. More receiving yards on Saturday. John Mechie or Brock Bowers? I'll go Mechie. Oh, yeah. Alabama, if they can keep young upright, can find some passing yardage on that secondary. Yeah, well, I mean, Brock Bowers is is can be a, a fatal blow to Alabama's defense the way he has played this year. But even an Alabama win, Mechie will have a big day. An Alabama loss, they'll have to be playing catch-up, and Mechie right. will have a big day. That's so I'm right. going to go Mechie. Uh, and, I, and listen, I think there's a tendency here for Kirby Smart to be very conservative in this game, very tense. I think the answer is Mechie. I mean, the thing is, as good as Bowers is, he's been underutilized. You know what he's averaging per game as far as reception number? What? Three receptions per game. Yeah, that is underutilized. I would agree. I mean, that guy should be getting at least six, yeah, seven touches. Maybe your best game. receiver. Third down. Okay, bigger number Saturday. Trey Sanders' rushing yards are the longest field goal in the game. I'd probably go longest field goal. I mean, if Sanders had 40 rushing yards, I'd be <laughs> stunned at that. Well, he's the only have... running back that's going to play, though. Well, so, I know. So you but... think Alabama's going to have less than 50 yards rushing? Probably. Well, he had 23. I think Bryce Young runs for some yardage. Bit, yeah. Um, I don't see any other running back running. Um, I don't think they try to run a lot. I, I'm going to go with the longest field goal, too. I yeah. think I would lean Sanders. I'm going to go longest field goal or Bryce Young leads the team in rushing. Fourth down. Okay, more sign. points Saturday. Jaden Shackelford against the Zags or Alabama against Georgia? Uh, oh, more points Saturday, Shackelford or <laughs> Alabama? Uh, I think I'll go Bama football. Um, I'll take Bama football. I mean, 16 for Shackelford, 17 plus for Alabama. Well, Georgia hadn't given up 17 yet. Yeah, they haven't played Alabama yet. That's right. You are <laughs> correct on both of those. Yes. <laughs> You're the one that's got the snake on Georgia. That is three and out. Brought to you by our friends at Vulcan Tire. Uh, again, get a look at those brake pads, wheel alignment tires, and more. They can do a bumper to bumper for you and your family. Four locations and online, VulcanTireAndAuto.com. And our trip down to Baton Rouge is going to be brought to you by our man, Tom Beckby, who took a trip uh, into entrepreneurship one time, if he, he was a real person. He did. I think he is real. I'm going to stick with Tom Beckby's real dude. Alabamian, too, man. He's from here. He wanted good-looking hunting clothing that could be worn in the field and in the city. Couldn't find it, so he made it himself. That, from that first jacket in 2015, it's a whole line now. You can see it for yourself in the Tom Beckby store in Mount Brook Village or go online, TomBeckby.com. That is B-E-C-K-B-E, TomBeckby.com, or right there in Mount Brook Village. I was hoping to catch Brian Kelly question and answer part here, but he's still in his introduction, so let's listen in. He is uh, about three minutes into his opening statement as the new coach at LSU. Let's listen in live. Excited um, to take on once I was able to um, uh, get an opportunity to meet Scott, spend time with Scott, hear his vision for the university, and see how it connected um, so much with mine. Um, I think it just comes down to, for me, an alignment about excellence. That's what I'm about. Excellence in academics, excellence in academics and athletics here at LSU and seeing that, feeling that, and, and now knowing that we can go off uh, together um, and fulfill that goal. So an exciting day for me. Um, an incredible opportunity for everybody associated with LSU, um, the LSU family. Um, we will have high standards here, and we will fulfill those standards. So um, with that, I'll um, certainly uh, be able to answer more of your questions, but I know we have uh, some other things that we need to do, more picture-taking, I'm sure, but... Um, with it's the jersey an here, and we'll and, talk a little uh, bit about an Brian. Exciting privilege for me to be here. Talk about Brian Kelly a little bit as we stay in and watch this uh, live feed that's being provided by the folks at LSU. So we may get a little. Let's stay with the feed if we can, guys. We'll. Uh, they're going to pull out here probably and give us a shaky camera. There we go. Move it. Yep. Hand left. 
get a little bit of uh, it's the school president and AD Scott Woodward there. And uh, it's always the number one. Always yeah. the number one. Yeah, what if he said, you know, I want 73. They yeah. give him 73. You know what's got to be one of the difficult tasks? I guess Stafford goes out and gets his family gear to wear. Yeah. I don't know if you saw, I guess it's his kids on the front row. It's like the staffer went to Bourbon Street. Like one of the kids has got a tie-dye LSU. Yeah. Did you get that Razoos? <laughs> yeah. I, I did notice that when he walked out. I thought it was one of the players. I did too at first, yeah. but it was his son apparently. And they, they made him leave and come back in with his dad a little bit here. Yeah. So Kelly's going to make his way hopefully back up to the podium. You hold this jersey that I'll never wear and can't fit into. <laughs> uh, here, here's Brian Kelly hopefully getting a little few Q&As and and here. Um, and we'll listen in as the questions come. They have to Brian, uh, over here, Wilson Alexander from The Advocate. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. You've mentioned over the last couple of days that also, in addition maybe to alignment, you were ready for just sort of a new opportunity. What was it about maybe at this point in your life and your career that you felt ready to take that next step? And what was it additionally about LSU? You've mentioned this already, but that really drew you to this place for that new opportunity. Yeah, again, I think, um, you know, there, there was no um, – plan in place uh, as I entered the 2021 season that I was, you know, looking for another opportunity. Um, I had a great football team that we were developing. Um, but, you know, when, when you get um, an opportunity to talk to um, Scott Woodward and he presents a clear vision of the plan here and the opportunity, it was it was an exciting um, uh, vision for me um, to look at, and as I got a chance to, you know, speak to more people um, about this opportunity, I just felt it was something that I had to um, take on. And when I talked to the boss, who was sitting in the front row there, um, and and she was part of that uh, decision making process, um, there was no turning back. Hey, Brian, Michael Cobble, Hi, uh, Michael. Channel 2 here in Baton Rouge. Great. We'll see a lot of each other. Absolutely. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, you know, a lot of people are going to wonder why, right? The, you could have been very comfortable in South Bend. Yeah. You have a team that has a chance to make, or had a team, excuse me, that had a yeah. chance to make the playoffs. I, yeah. I think that is the big question. What drew you so passionately to walk away from that opportunity to come here? Yeah, it's never easy, right? I mean, these decisions are – it's my choice. You know, I own it, right? And, and um, it's 100% my decision. Um, those young men I love dearly. Um, and um, it made it for a difficult decision. But when I was able to look at it, uh, and the opportunity here um, was one as I got a chance to really, uh, as I mentioned earlier, talk to Scott about the resources and the opportunity here to really make a significant change. I believe that I can make a significant uh, difference here. And, and you want to be able to make a difference. Um, and, and I, along with the support, our president, President Tate, the administration, um, collaboratively can make a big difference. Brian, back here. ABC 57 News, Anthony yeah. Tochi back at South Bend. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, mm -hmm. congratulations on finding the fairy godmother you talked about a couple of weeks ago. A <laughs> um, couple things, as far as the departure, how do yeah. you feel like that impacts your legacy Jeez. back at Notre Dame? And then which assistance, if any, from Notre Dame are you interested in bringing with you? Yeah, you know, leaving is, is never easy. It's, it's, it, it could never be done in a, a fashion that you could – like say that, hey, it's always the right way to do it. It was just, you know, brought up, right? You know, this, this team at Notre Dame is, a, is an outstanding football team, um, and they deserve to be in the playoffs, um, and, and you're not going to be coaching them. So it's, it's never easy when you leave. Um, we did our best. Uh, I wanted to get in front of them, and I, I was fortunate that I had that opportunity uh, to um, get in front of them and tell them that I was coming to LSU face to face, uh, because that's everything that we've done in my life, and I'll do the same thing here at LSU. We will look you in the eye, and, and we will tell you what we're doing. Uh, we'll be transparent. Um, I, I don't. Legacies are not 
part of what I spend time thinking about. People will, will evaluate me based upon my life's work and how I've treated people um, and make their own decisions. As far as coaches, um, you know, the coaches that, that are on staff there at Notre Dame are, are still employed there. Uh, are there coaches there that I would like to join me here? Certainly, but that's a process that we'll have to work through. Um, there are teams to coach on both sides. This team is, is going to be preparing for a bowl game. Um, hopefully, um, you know, Notre Dame gets a chance to, to, to play in the playoffs. They have to be prepared. So um, this has to be done with, um, you know, uh, great communication uh, and, and understanding that th the players are part of this as well. Ron Snyder, News 15 in Lafayette, welcome. Thank you, Ron. I'm sure you're aware of all the expectations here and the scrutiny. So what's just your plan to get the ground running and get to work and, and really start working on your goals? Yeah, I mean, there's not enough hours in the day right now. Uh, if you can give me a couple more hours, uh, we'd be fine with that. I, you know, I really think it's that, you know, we know the things that need to be done here, um, but we'll be measured, uh, we'll be thoughtful, we'll be intentional uh, and and you know, checking each one of those off as we go. Um, you know, investment in, in, in people is important and making sure that we are doing that the right way. Uh, lives are involved here as we make transitions, so we want to take care of that. We certainly want to take care of the recruiting and make sure that um, all the young men that, that have made their commitments here, that uh, they know where they stand. So there are important matters that need to get to, and I think everybody understands that um, – you know, we've we've been on a whirlwind here the past 24 hours, but we got to get to work, and and uh, we will do that in uh, short order and and get to the very important matters. All right, that's a, a live listen in to Brian Kelly. He'll continue to um, take questions in his introductory press conference. I was hoping to get one about Nick Saban. You know, one is coming eventually because Nick Saban did so much to build that program into a national power, won a national championship, left for the NFL. Then Les Miles and Ed Orgeron won one. Um, I think Brian Kelly's the best coach they've had since Nick Saban. I don't think that's out on the limb much. Yeah, I don't think it's close. And I, I think Brian Kelly, I, I said it the other day, I think right now, just based on what he's done, resume-wise, second best coach in the SEC. Now, once Kirby, if he wins a national championship, then you can flip those around. Brian Kelly's that good of a coach. I did think it was interesting you had the guy travel in from South Bend to ask the fairy godmother question yeah, because okay. it was just last week when Brian Kelly said, look, unless there's a fairy godmother that's going to bring me a $250 million check, I'm Notre Dame's A coach. little bit of snark in that question, obviously, which would make him a hero back in his market. Yeah, but I thought he was going to go ahead and stick to landing. I thought it was going to be his Mike Rada moment, it right? It was not, though, right? Yeah, if, he, soft -pedaled if, he did, if he had yeah. a soft pedaled it back, yeah. it was a great moment for ABC 57 in South, <laughs> in South Bend. Yeah, I, um, I would go a step further – it's the best coach they've ever hired. Now, I'm not saying he's a better coach than Nick Saban, but when you, based on accomplishment, when you hire him, LSU's oh, yeah. never hired a coach this good. Ever. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was more accomplished than Saban when he That's was coming from, right. from Michigan State. Yeah. This guy's a great football coach. Absolutely. And if, if I am in the SEC West or whatever we're going to do in the future with the pods and stuff, that guy in Baton Rouge with those people, that money, that commitment, that recruiting – is scary as hell in the SEC. Yeah, and as long as Saban stays there, I mean, to me, there's three teams that you fear. It's Alabama, it's Georgia, it's LSU. Absolutely. That is, this LSU team, this LSU program will not misstep and step on its own toes like it used to. That guy will have LSU prepared. Unbelievable, successful hire for Scott Woodward. Could not compliment him more on getting that guy to the SEC away from Notre Dame. Quick break here. When we come back, we'll do our upset alert today. Part of our show being brought to you by the great folks at Odie's. It's Wednesday already. Rockstar, that means? That's trivia. That's trivia. That's trivia, Lance. Odie's Team Trivia. We do it every Wednesday night. Come join us if you've never been before. Last week was a ton of fun. Uh, bring the family. Bring the friends. Enjoy some of the great food from Rodney Davis, including the burgers, award-winning wings, delicious sandwiches, including my personal favorite, that Diablo sandwich. We'll get started a little after 8 o'clock but it has become a tradition. It's Odie's Team Trivia every Wednesday night. Birmingham Institution, Odie's located right there in Crestline Village. Follow LT on Twitter at TheLanceTaylor.
Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about my friends at Michelson Laser Vision, located conveniently UAB Highlands. Almost 20 years ago, I went in for the procedure. Only took 12 minutes for both eyes. When I went in, I had 2200 vision. I was legally blind. Now I have 2015 vision, still 19 years later. Make the call today. Schedule a hassle-free consultation. 969-8100. Dr. Mark Michelson, Dr. Jen Michelson, Michelson Laser Vision. Make sure you tell them the next round sent you. 969-8100 or Michelson and laservision.com. Ship happens. Give us a call to get ship started. Call Griffin and Jeff today, 205-605-8101. You can always go online. Go to getshipstarted.com. Ship happens to get ship done. Don't you ever have an accident to ship yourself. Don't you ever have an accident Ship yourself. Go to GetShipStarted.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Wayne's. Look, fall is here. You want to enjoy that outdoor weather. Imagine sitting out there on the Saturday manning the grill. You're watching football. You don't want to deal with the mosquitoes. Don't let the mosquitoes ruin your perfect day. The professionals at Wayne's can protect you, your family, and your pets. Call today, 1-866-WAYNES-1. You can always go online, callwaynes.com. Fall weather is here. Enjoy it with the family. Mosquito-free. You can do it with our friends at Wayne's. Did you tweak your shoulder pulling down the attic ladder? Feel a pop in your elbow working out? Or feeling pain in your knees getting up from the couch at halftime? Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics has nine locations in the Birmingham metro area, affiliated with Brookwood Baptist Health, to get your life back on track. Your health can't wait. Call Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics at 855-219-6200 or visit precisionsportsortho.com. If you're looking for a fun golf atmosphere that is laid back with a peaceful environment, the Meadows Golf Course in Harpersville, right off of Highway 280, is perfect for you. Just a short drive from Birmingham, this 18-hole, 200-acre track with rolling fairways and ample greens is the definition of peacefulness of the country just miles from the city. Enjoy a great lunch before your round and a cocktail on the wraparound porch after 18. Come see us today. The Meadows Golf Course in Harpersville, right off of Highway 280. Hi, this is Wes McClooney, owner of the New Balance Birmingham store. Getting the whole family into comfortable shoes can be an incredible feat, but not at New Balance Birmingham. We have the largest selection and inventory of any specialty shoe store, and our fit specialist will match your feet with the perfect New Balance shoe. Come see us at the New Balance Birmingham store, located on Highway 280 next to Chick-fil-A. Experience the difference a custom fit makes today at New Balance Birmingham. One Man in the Toolbox has provided professional handyman services since 1997. Honesty and reliability are qualities that embody every one of their employees. From residential to commercial, One Man in the Toolbox has the background to help you with almost any project. 823-2111. One more of the next round. Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the next round app. Cookie Dough Magic is a locally owned dessert shop serving 13 flavors of edible cookie dough by the scoop. Visit today and try their delicious safety cookie dough in a homemade cone, milkshake, or sundae. Cookie Dough Magic also offers their cookie dough by the box, which is perfect for holiday parties, for work, classrooms, and family get-togethers. Three locations, Birmingham, Trustville, and Huntsville, and they offer nationwide shipping, of course. So visit MyCookieDoughMagic.com to order. That's MyCookieDoughMagic.com. Hey, Lance Taylor with the next round. I want to tell you about our guys at Chorus Smart Secure, local smart home security company in Hoover with over 200 five-star reviews. I made the swap from one of those big security companies to Chorus, and the cameras and automation are awesome. Tell them the next round sent you and receive a free Sonos soundbar with the purchase of any smart home system. Call Chorus Smart Secure today, 205-920-1020. That's 205-920-1020. Our friends at Nichols Outfitters, they bring you uh, the next round every day, and uh, we're so excited for them. And, boy, they keep us clothed whatever time of year it is for our outdoor needs. They absolutely do. So if you've got that outdoorsman in your family or you're the one in the household that loves the outdoors, get the hookup this holiday season at Nichols Outfitters in Pelham. 
one of the largest firearm showrooms in the state, the best botanical team anywhere. Nichols Outfitters has the best inventory and expertise to get you just what you're looking for this holiday season. Off exit uh, 242, I-65 in Pelham or online, NicholsOutfitters.com. You know, Brian Kelly's news conference continuing uh, the impressive stat. Now, a lot of this was not at a Power 5 level. I think he has 92 wins at Notre Dame, which is still a lot. But Winning us all time there, right? Uh, winning us all time at Notre Dame, but he is the third active coach right now in winning, 267 for Saban. 265 for Mac Brown and 263 for Brian Kelly. And you know, Mac's not at the program that Brian Kelly is now or where Nick Saban is. I mean, that is a that is a clash of the Titans. And people are gonna say, Jim, you're overreacting here. This guy's lost by two touchdowns every time he's played in the in, in against another power five team in a in a playoff situation. Yeah, he has, but he was with Notre Dame. Uh LSU puts different Jimmys and Joes out well, there. He'll he'll if he can get there again, at least this time he'll bring a gun to a gunfight. That's right. right. Yeah. I mean, it was really almost eleven on ten when you look yeah. at the rosters. Yeah, just so different. So you cannot judge what Brian Kelly is going to do in Baton Rouge by the team he put on the field in South Bend. You should actually be just amazed at how good the teams were he put on in South Bend. Now imagine him being able to recruit with both hands and the guy's a good football coach and he may not be a great person you know he may invite you over to a party and have you shoveling snow off a sidewalk at some point that has happened that is a great story Are you gonna tell it um i don't have it in front of me i mean if you guys can re- remember it was it's, it was leffler uh no matt lafleur matt lafleur and uh, robert, robert Saylor. Saylor. Yeah. yeah they head coach for the jets and the head coach for the packers yeah, yeah. they were gas for him at central S- central michigan and he was having good step yeah, yeah. yeah. No joke. so the guy, knows, coaches. Right? the guy knows the guy knows coaching talent, talent yeah. right he knows yeah. talent he can put together a good staff so he was having a party and he invited the two guys over they think we're gas the head coach is inviting us to a party they get there he hands them a shovel and says hey can you guys sh- <laughs> you, i need you guys shovel off the driveway for me yeah. it was almost like semi and uh what was uh coming to America. Akeem. Yeah. Akeem, yeah. It's me and Akeem. Yeah. They got to come to the Christmas party and then they they're did. sitting out in front parking cars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Freezing. They're going to They're shaking. Uh, and we and instantly, when we told the story last night in our live, our live show from walk-ons, everybody's like, oh, like Nick Saban wouldn't do that. Uh, Nick would never make you feel like you were coming to the party, right? Yeah, that's right. He would have yeah. been up front. You would have been to shovel driveway. Hey, I need you to come over and shovel our the snow off our driveway. <laughs> I will tell you, like, Nick Saban's not a guy that's going to be afraid of a lot. You remember when Lane Kiffin got the Ole Miss job, and I think Feinbaum was on with us, and he said, look, the one guy he didn't want to get the Ole Miss job was Lane Kiffin. I guarantee you he would have loved for somebody other than Brian Kelly yes, to get this yes. LSU job. Yeah, I'm sure he respects him. Yeah, uh, I, and uh, it's interesting, you know, because a lot of people talk when, though, you know, when Rich Rodriguez got the Michigan job, Dunaway declared it a bad look. I watch this, and it feels right. Not a bad look, a bad fit. A bad just, fit, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it Just it was, didn't it was, look right. As yeah. I said back then, it was country yeah. come to town. I right. mean, Rich Rodriguez right. yeah. from the coal mines was yeah. in Ann Arbor with all the, the, the yeah. smoking jackets and the blue bloods. This looks a lot better, and Dan Wetzel, uh, our friend from Yahoo, made a phenomenal point. He's like, everybody's calling Brian Kelly, or not everybody, a lot of people are calling Brian Kelly a bad cultural fit. He said, LSU just had the best cultural fit of any college team. And they fired the guy. Oh, and yeah. by the way, was Saban a cultural fit? No, before he and took that was LSU? his point. He said Saban was from Michigan State. He couldn't have been a cultural I, I fit. I will tell you, whoever the staffer is that picked out the kids' clothes and now his tie, because they went to the men's store, and the only purple tie they could find, is that a green stripe or is it a blue stripe? <laughs> it's got the purple. Yeah. It's, got, it's got no yellow, though. It doesn't. But, I mean, is that a pu- purple suit? I think it's a navy suit. It's a navy suit. Purple suit would be awful bold. But you would think the the purple tie with the little gold in it, right? Yeah, Yeah, sorry. You usually should have those around the bookstore. You would think you could find it in Baton Rouge, yeah. Uh, All right, Brian Kelly's introduced. Let's do our upset alert now. It is brought to you by our friends at AmFirst, the big button rock star for the spotlight. The America's first federal credit union spotlight. Sound the alarm. Woo, woo, woo. College football's upset alert. Hey, what AmFirst knows is banking is not just about your money. It is about you. That is why AmFirst was founded for you. And they've been putting you first ever since. Am I in the lead now with the Super Bowl? Well, let's look at the standings. Forrester is about to bring up the latest standings updated. Even when I lost last week, they right. you get on me for not updating the standings. I do. Eight and five for Brown, but 17 points. Seven and six for Lance at 17 points. I can't see mine yet, Lance. You're five and eight, nine points. Uh, I, can't, I, still, I can't hear you now. I can't Man, see I'm, you or I hear you. I might want to change. I've got an easy winner. I do I, too. But, oh. You, you just need to win. You just need to win. Do you want to change? Well, I'll, I'll start us off since okay. I am out of contention. 
I want to give you time to, to change, though. You don't have to worry about a fancy drawing. You know, I just want you to get this right. I kind of like I'm my not drawing. Cheering. I'm Can not I cheering. show my drawing and then erase just it? Just show your then, drawing. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. We'll, yeah. Do we'll do your drawing. This is not his pick. This is his okay. drawing. I was going to go with this. <laughs> Oh, that this elephant is, looks like his um, face is on backwards. <laughs> it is. It's a good elephant, though. Wasn't there a cartoon where the elephant? What was that cartoon? Babar. Babar. Yeah, Babar. Babar. Yeah. That's what yeah. that elephant looks yeah. like. So I was going to go with that. Um, I do think Alabama's going to play a really, really competitive game. I think the defense will keep them in them, and I think Jamison Williams is going to have a couple of big plays. Yeah, so, but, but I do competi- like Alabama. Competitively speaking, though, that is not your official pick. No, because I I, I know an outright dog winner. Okay. And so I want to go on and win this thing this year. Is it so. getting is it getting more than three points? I'll just go on and I'll just I'll just draw that for you. How draw about it that? for us, Lance. Don't they do the uh, symbol? You saw it out when you were in the desert. They do it like uh-oh. this. Yeah. They do oh, Oregon. and they'll walk yeah. up and scream in your face. Oh, yeah. Oregon will oh. win Friday night, and then uh, I don't know how, but okay. Mario Cristobal will win another Pac-12 championship. Utah's a better team. Oregon will win the game, though. Uh, that's an easy plus three. Don't need the points. Oh, is it plus three? Because I'm looking at it plus two and a half. But well, if you're looking at scores and odds, you're not. Okay, I was on covers. Yeah. All right. Well, it's been uh, three. It looks like all week. It opened at two and a half. Okay, I'm just looking at it right now. Live two and a half. <laughs> just looking at what it says live. The, the website you taught me to go to. No, I yeah. thought. Do we not? Me. Yeah. Do we not typically go to scores and odds? Yeah, I, I didn't teach I, you to go there. I don't care. I don't that's care. when that's when the, you dicked up the old Jimmy Landmine <laughs> when right. we started to go to covers. Yeah, of money. The, the, yeah. old, the only you taught me to go to covers. No, that's where I, I am. Not. I'm just saying that. I, I just need a little clarification. Our rule is three, right. but since it's championship week, we are limited in games. I'm okay with two and a half if you're okay well, with him I really playing. Don't care if you are or me. aren't because it's three. I'm looking at it right here on scores and okay. I. Okay, here we go. Okay, what about yours? You got to counter that now. I do have to counter that. And Rockstar, it's my best drawing of the year. Don't say it. It's my best drawing of the year. Y'all ready? Okay. My best drawing of the year. Mm. Oh, Lance, don't don't it's kill this. It's good. No. I I thought your beaver was better. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I take pride in my beaver. More fresh. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I miss? I like old school when we used to do the little angry uh, uh, I don't mascot like with a beanie but cap. The, Looks like out of BC from Oz. The yeah. Auburn the Auburn tiger with the little beanie it's cap is their blue. best logo. I agree. When people wear that T-shirt with that throwback logo on yes. there, it is so good. I never I mean, understood how the hat sticks. I don't right, either. it's bobby pins. It's on yeah. his ear. But, but the problem with that is, is that LSU's is duplicate. So I think they duplicated a lot of those back in the day. Oh yeah, and probably that's not so. good. That's not good. Uh, Baylor is catching five and a half. We've actually already seen this, as it happens every year in the Big Twelve. It is always going to be a rematch. It was a ten point game the first go around. Bohannon's health worries me a little bit. Baylor is able to run the football. Oak State is really good against the run, but I don't think good enough. The pressure gets to Oak State of knowing their win and their end possibly. Rockstar, I'm catching five and a half. You know what you can do with them? You can throw them out the window because you're not going to need right them. Right out that window over there. I don't need them. Baylor wins this thing straight up. You know, if they do, do we start to get to a point where anyone can win at Baylor? It's like anyone can That's win right. at LSU. <laughs> you, you go from Briles to Rule to now Aranda. It's, it's pretty crazy when you think about the – how Texas can't get over the hump in Baylor every Bay- other year. Three straight guys are playing for the championship. I was going to take Oregon, but I went to the wrong website, so I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it fell into our criteria. Uh, so I have taken this team. It's out of my window of my comfort of taking it here when I look at this crappy site called covers.com. But I'm going to take Utah State Wow. plus the five and a half. Opened at three and a half, according to covers.com. I've got it live at minus five and a half. Yeah, as you'd they get play six if you went to the uh, <laughs> legit. <laughs> so basically, basically, I'm about a half point off. Covers, covers is nothing but a contest between people. It's a contest between well, people. He so, goes there to see what percent of the money because he it, it, you, it messes up his thinking. It does. It has screwed him up. Yeah. It's actually it screwed up the state bet. The state bet was way more fun before Dunaway started paying attention to percent of money. <laughs> yep. Seventy three percent of the money's on San Diego State, so I'm gonna go with Utah State. Why? Why? Jim? I don't know, because LT one day showed me covers.com and I went there. I think you looked over my shoulder one day. <laughs> I did when I was difficult dunaway fashion. <laughs> I did when I was seven stakes down. I saw the cool graphics and I was like, hey, covers.com. Yeah. I'll go there. And it's been uh, number three on my save list ever since. That's right. Number four now that we started the next round that moved into the top three. Hey, what Amherst knows is banking is not just about your money. It is about you. It is why Amherst was founded for you. And they've been putting you first ever since. Easiest logo to draw right there, by the, the you way. You in the state? Yep. I uh, thought you. my elephant was pretty good. I did, too. Uh, I liked cool. your elephant. It was neat. Yeah. Babar, Clean and neat. Babar. 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 A couple of bees in there. Not together. Okay. 
I think that's one of his sayings. Everyone's oh, saying that in the Farm Folio chat room. Oh, I've never watched Two it. Bs, just not together. I don't have any. No children. No. No elephant books. That's what Gaston says. Two Bs. It's Babar. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Babar. All right, here we go. When we come back, our final thoughts. Is Brian Kelly still talking? He, uh, no, that can't be live. Is that it, live? It says live in the, in the mm-hmm. icon there. He was like, y'all he just is, ask your question. He is looking around. Are we going to take more? Is the entire hey, state of Louisiana? What's this the population? is the, <laughs> the whitest I've ever seen him. No yeah. color at all. Well, yeah. It's middle of winter in South Bend. You can't get out in the heat. Yeah. Plus, he hasn't had any, any of the uh, Cajun food yet. Not yet. Boy, I bet he's mean as hell behind closed doors. <laughs> Here's a shovel. Uh, final thoughts when we come back. Stay with us. Follow Brownie on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan Brown Live. Hey, if you're looking for a local agent to handle all of your insurance needs, you need to call my good friend James Anthony at the James Anthony Agency, 205-985-7717. Hoover, Birmingham, Northport, and Tuscaloosa has been in business over 20 years. The James Anthony Agency. There's nothing I like more than a unique, delicious meal. And that's what you get at Champy's World Famous Fried Chicken right on Highway 119 in Alabaster. Those great full fried chicken plates, the tenders, the poor boys. But I love the southern staple chicken on a stick. It's perfect for a tailgate or watching the big game. And then the authentic Mississippi Delta recipe, homemade tamales, the best I've ever tasted. See the whole menu or order online at champyschicken.com. For blues, brews, and bird, it's Champy's Chicken, Highway 119, Alabaster. It's that time of year again. Don't miss Bromberg's store-wide free Christmas sale. Get 20% off throughout the store on diamonds and gemstones, designer jewelry, fine timepieces, fabulous giftware, and more. Find gifts from Bromberg's increased inventory of beautiful, timeless jewelry she will adore for a lifetime. And get 20% off during Bromberg's free Christmas sale Wednesday, December 1st, and Thursday, December 2nd at Mountain Brook and the Summit. Make Christmas wishes come true with a silver Bromberg's box under the tree. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Vulcan Tire and Automotive. Four great locations right here in Birmingham. The team at Vulcan Tire and Automotive, they feel it's important for you to know they don't employ any salespeople or technicians that are incentivized with your commissions. When you are getting your vehicle serviced, the team is only incentivized to take care of you and your vehicle. That doesn't happen everywhere, but it does happen at Vulcan Tire and Automotive. Again, four locations right here in Birmingham, Hoover, Moody, Trustful, and Gardendale. For more information, Vulcan Tire and Auto.com. It's time to start thinking about employee holiday gifts. Consider getting your hardworking guys a pair of Red Wing boots. Each day, your employees are on the job site helping your company succeed, so reward them with comfort at its best. The Red Wing Mobile Shoe Truck can visit your shop and fit your employees with a great selection of boots. Or Red Wing gift cards can be purchased at your local Red Wing store available in all amounts. Whichever program you choose, your employees will appreciate the quality service and selection from Red Wing Shoes, and they'll also be thankful they have such a great boss. Reward your employees this holiday season with Red Wing Shoes. This hour of the next round is presented by Cardinal Roofing, the cardinal rule for all your roofing needs. Your home for financing one-day jobs and more than 500 five-star reviews. Call Cardinal Roofing today, 205-900-ROOF, and mention the next round to receive $100 off your next roof replacement. I want my lawn to look better than anybody else's on my street. Ryan Brown here for the next round. Here's one problem. I play a lot of golf, but I'm not a greenskeeper. It's why I depend on my friends at Wayne's. And now is the time to make sure your lawn is properly prepared to grow healthy and lush when spring rolls around. Let the lawn professionals at Wayne's set you up for success as your lawn enters dormancy for the winter season. I depend on them for my lawn. You should too. Get Wayne's treating your lawn now so it looks great in the spring. 866-WAYNES1. That's 866-WAYNES1. Hi, it's me, Electra. Being Birmingham's goddess of electricity, I know the magic city didn't grow by magic. Its growth is powered by connections. Now that First Bank, a southern bank known for great connections, opened in Homewood, you have legendary service and great digital banking to power your growth. Uh, if I could just connect with that big guy on the horizon. First Bank, now open at 404 Hollywood Boulevard. Member FDIC. Iron Mountain Construction is an industrial services company with over 500 people available for your situation and needs. They are committed to safely supporting the operations of your facility through their execution of quality-driven maintenance services and on-time, on-budget small capital construction work. And they offer support with plumbers, pipe fitters, millwrights, iron workers, laborers, operators, and more. Call the office of Iron Mountain Construction, 205 781 1170 for Jeremy Purvis and Iron Mountain Construction. 
After years searching for a classic jacket that was functional in the field and the city, Tom Beckby couldn't find one he liked, so he decided to make his own. Since designing that first jacket in 2015, Tom Beckby has continued to draw inspiration from natural settings to produce classic outdoor equipment with time-tested rugged materials. Visit the brand new Tom Beckby store in Mountain Brook Village, a local business, with the goal of outfitting you for the outdoors here in Alabama and wherever the road takes you. Mountain Brook Village or online TomBeckby.com. That's Tom, B-E-C-K-B-E.com. LT's going to send your winner out a little bit later on for the lock of the day at the Lance Taylor and all of his plays at Lance'sLock.com. Lance'sLock.com and the lock of the day is brought to you by Iron Mountain Drains and Plumbing. Jeremy Purvis is the head guy over there. He's the owner, and he promises you world-class service from them. They've been doing it forever. They handle all your plumbing and jetter services. He also offers many, many things under the roof of IronMountainWorld.com. That includes Iron Mountain Construction, where they can help you on your construction site with build-outs and um, on-budget small capital construction work. and help you with plumbers and pipe fitters, millwrights, iron workers, and a lot more. If you need construction help, he's got the team to help you with Iron Mountain Construction. You call them up 205 781-1170. If you need plumbing service, both at your home or your business, you can call this number, 205-516-4927. Everything under one umbrella on the website, ironmountainworld.com, ironmountainworld.com. Just drain it. A great, great service there if you're looking for a plumber. And sometimes you don't have one on standby like me. Those are my guys on standby. You have a plumbing problem? They're the guys you go with. IronMountainWorld.com. Jeremy and the guys there. All right. Brian Kelly's officially introduced. We're still looking for the new coach at Notre Dame, though it does feel like Marcus Freeman could be the guy today. Yeah, it Uh, feels that way. I mean, it's just they are so late on the carousel. It's weird, this Notre Dame job. I don't know where you guys would put it. I say it's easy, a top 20 job. Oh, yeah. I mean, again, they've They've been in the playoffs. Outside of Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State, and Oklahoma, they've been the most prevalent brand that's actually been in the postseason. Now, I I, I say it could be Marcus Freeman today because Jack Swarbrick, the Notre Dame athletic director, um, is not – he's not at the college football playoff – expansion meeting in Dallas he stayed in South Bend to meet with Marcus Freeman because Brian Kelly wants to make Marcus Freeman the highest paid coordinator in college football more than 2.5 in Brent Venables he wants to bring him to LSU as LSU's defensive coordinator he wants to bring Tommy Reese to be the offensive coordinator so Schwarbrick is back in South Bend trying to hold the team together hold the nation's number four recruiting class together um, I don't know what you promise, Freeman. If it's not the job, do you promise we will make you the highest paid coordinator if the new coach keeps you? I mean, yeah, but you, don't want, you, don't, you don't want to hire a coach and say this has got to be your defensive coordinator, well, Exactly. Do you? I mean, that's not fair to your next head coach as good as Freeman is. I mean, you don't know that the two are going to butt heads. And if you're Freeman, you don't know that. I know I can work for Brian Kelly, or I assume he uh, believes that, right? It, yeah. If I'm Swarbrick, I don't get painted into this corner. What I do is I tell Marcus Freeman, I want you to continue and be our coach, our interim coach here. I go out and try to find whoever my guy is. If I can't get that guy, although Marcus Freeman might be gone to LSU, I still think Freeman would go to LSU and come right back if you offered him the head coach. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He would go Did, work for five days. So don't, don't be paying Gary the Patterson, yeah. Didn't Gary Patterson do that with Alabama, sort of? Wasn't uh, he well, going to be the D.C.? Yes. In Tuscaloosa when Franchoni left TCU? As I remember it, Franchoni had already said he was bringing his whole staff and TCU circled back with Patterson and he changed his mind. I I think he had already been introduced as part of the staff as I remember it. Now, what, what a great hire thinking back for TCU to keep that guy. Yeah. I mean, off of Dennis Franchoni's staff, he yeah, becomes your iconic coach that leads no you doubt. from where they were all the way to the Big 12. And Franchoni eventually went Carl Torbush, right? I think that was the defensive coordinator he I ended up so. hiring instead of uh, Gary Patterson because he had that opening on his staff. Otherwise, most of that staff came with him. So sometimes you can make a knee-jerk hire, and it yeah. ends up being the iconic coach. Right, so right. Marcus Freeman may be that guy. Because I guarantee you, back in Fort Worth Talk Radio, they were like, huh, we're going to keep the defensive Morgan. coordinator? Gary Patterson, who's heard of that yeah. guy? Um, interesting show today. Thank you guys all for being here with us. Thank you to our friends at Mortgage Right for supporting us. We're back with you tomorrow and then Friday live from Atlanta as the next round hits the road to the SEC championship. Until next time, God bless you and God bless America.